I don't know. Well, 800 is normally... Well, I don't know. I'm not sitting down yet. Tell you if I'm... Ah, uh, I'm back! I'll build one Ah, oh, fuck. I'm a little bright. I'd go 640. I think that's what we did last time. What's up? How's everyone doing? Perfect. I think we're live. We're definitely live. Oh, all right. Definitely live. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, how are ya? Uh, this why, is why from is Ricky uh, Chino. Talk, Ricky's talking to a man with the last name of Organ, which makes me feel uncomfortable. Donor, if he keeps talking. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Dan's got to turn on his nightlight. <laughs> Bro, I'd like to, if we could just light, apparently we light this whole bitch with nightlights, she'll look great on camera, you know? Yeah, a thousand percent. <clears throat> okay. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkie. It's Tuesday. Some, get some new shorts? No, I've had, found these in the back of the old thinger. I almost bought some of these the other day. Back Come of the old out. thinger. I have like a short thing, and this was in the back of it. Ah, uh, short drawer? I have a cool knife, a new one. I know, I played with it earlier. I like it. It wasn't $800 like your automatic Protex normally are, but. So what I've learned is I like the top thumb stud rather than the side oh, thumb Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, axis. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's. When I when you meet me in person, I look I like a wear normal black person. for this reason. It and just then, makes me look extra. And then the problem is. Realistically, you we have to color correct. I turn orange when we color correct, trying to get Sean's skin oh, color. Oh, yeah. What, uh, what picture profile I don't use? One? It's the most saturated one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was playing through uh, picture profiles. I was like, the only one that's saturated? Picture profile two is that. People would be like, what's going picture on? Picture profile two is the good shit for editing. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's that good and good. That's how we make Sean not shiny white. Just, yeah, just white. Just normal, normal white. Normal white. All right, Edward Fulmer just said, is Sean's nose sharper tonight? Yeah, that's why I did, did this. Did get some work done? Sounds a tad low. We can turn this up. Bump we're, it. we're cracking yellow right now. I don't know if you can turn your shit up, but. I mean, you can max it out. I can control it on the board, actually. I think that's what Will and Grease do. All they right. Keep it maxed out. Watch, hold on. All right. And then they control it here a little bit. I don't I, know how. I how, can add oh, gain wow. to that, so. On in OBS. What's up, Don Thompson? How you going? Hey, what's how happening? you going, buddy? Fuck, you know, fuck t- English. Fuck this week. He dude. dropped both. <laughs> I'm with you. He, he dropped both teams, though. That's fair. Oh, the guy. Yeah. Sean looks like he's been working out. Well, um, ground style shirts will do that to you. So, I lifted today. Yep. <laughs> Did you not hear me almost fall over when I squatted down to get a box? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, it's close. <laughs> you lifted today. We're at home. Yeah. What'd you do? Squat. I'm trying to do quick workouts. I like that, yeah. So, Monday benched, bench triceps. Mm-hmm. Just squatted today. Really regret that. Almost blew up both hammies today. Yep. Me. Uh, By myself, I would have died. Safety squat? Under a bar, yeah. Oh, yeah. Safety squat bar. It'll do it. I got to the hole. I swear to God, both hamstrings got so tight, I thought it was the end. Swear to God. Never had that happen before, ever. <laughs> ever. Good Never. thing it's very easy to bail. Burn Fines, what's up, buddy? Hey, I hope you picked a good bullet barrel, man. I wish that we could have hung out. Oh, um, we got all the good ones. We didn't know you guys were going. You didn't know we were going. But then when we knew you were there, we were leaving. It's a whole thing, man. But I hope you guys had a good time down there. Um, we tasted fix through. Projector. Yeah, Sean fixed a projector. Um, by supplying power to it. So, anyways. It was a fuse. It was a fuse. It was a fuse. <laughs> It was a fuse. Yeah, we had to replace the outlet. Our fuse is fucking blue. We had to replace <laughs> we the, they... the breaker box back there had a problem. We got it rewired and, and shit. Um, the climb base <laughs> pick was interesting because Sean and I, I think they pump each other. <laughs> That's what I was reading. Uh, oh. Bourbon finds. We'll eventually hang out with Mark and Sherry. Every time that we go down there, it's like a down and back trip. Yeah. And they're like, dude, come come hang out. And we're mm-hmm. just like, we can't. I know it's it's a it's such a bummer because last time we were there, they were they ended up being there the day after we were there and we were leaving. And then I know that they were you guys hung out with them or you hung out with them after Bullet, but we were on our way back when we found out you guys were even or yeah. you were even going to Bullet. So I think you found out through Insta Story or something like that. Yeah, we were already there, mm-hmm. and you were like, "Look who's coming!" Yeah, it was and cool. then my wife texted me and goes, "Bourbon Fine's going to be at uh, yeah. Bullet," and I was like, "Damn you it! Know. Damn it!" Bourbon Fine's message. <laughs> Ryan Bur- Angel. Sorry, that sounded better in my head. <laughs> no, it sounded great out loud, too, if it helps. Um, uh. So, Bourbon Fine's message on Instagram was like, hey, guys, come hang out. We're with the Carters. 
And I literally, I just for for full transparency's sake, I typed back one word. I said "motherfucker." That's all I said. It's from Jason Nelson. I know he's been asking the last couple times if we've tried this. How many Sean's can you bench? Oh yeah, I don't know. Two. Easy two. One. Two for a, probably a single rep. You're like one sixty. Yeah, about that. Yeah, probably two Sean's one time right yeah. now. Probably. It'd be a rough rep too if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I'm a little bitch right now. Um, I really just gave you the benefit of the doubt. I said too easy. I'd get two for one. Yeah. We got the old two for one. Not deal. live weight though. We got the two for <laughs> one deal. Yeah, if you put Sean on a bar and distribute him evenly. Uh love the Nulu pick, Mr. on the Rift. There will be other things damn. for all you do. Martin. <laughs> Martin, thanks, buddy. Um, I know that it's been a shit show. This week's been a shit show, including the pick, just not including the pick. Just just all around, realistically. Um Saturday afternoon. Yeah, that was when we were there. Yeah. That's literally yeah, that when we were there. Yeah, we're there at like two ish. We left at four ish. I don't know, something like that. Mike Oxa flopping. That's <laughs> now you're getting it. Hey, so I, I'm I, gonna, I, Aiden. I'm giving you credit. That's the best one I've seen by far. People on the Titanic sure took that ice bucket challenge serious, oh huh? Oh my. Okay. You know, I'll read it. You already read. First, first off, the cocks are flopping. That's the <laughs> best name I've seen when it comes to a joke like that. That's easily the best one. I haven't seen a better one ever. Uh, Bo fuck yourself. So, anyways, what I was going to say was, have y'all had 48 number four? I don't think. We, four. Number four is an old one, man. I think they're on 13, 14, somewhere in there. Four wasn't. Is that not the first Kelvin? One that they did. I don't, dude. Four is old, old. They're on, they're in the teens. I know that. I just don't know how far. I don't know. Ian just <laughs> waxed the Savant blend, and the next day or two, the blends barrels will be headed your way. Hell yeah, man! Is, Looking is forward that to that. What dude. this is, by the way? <laughs> no, 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 no. This, uh... No, dude. Ah, uh, that is. That's the mead. The mead. Yeah. Okay. Ian, I don't think Ian was talking about mead. No, no, no. Okay. I, I. Oh, you that, saw a different comment. Yeah, that okay. just. Made me think of that. Um, so uh, <laughs> that was the funniest package I've ever opened in my life. Why is that? That. Because it's just a fucking beer bottle yeah. with no label, no name, and handwritten on the top. You just got to search our email. Yeah, I, I eventually <laughs> went and found it. And then he, he said, did it get there safe? I go, did you send a beer bottle with writing on the top? Back goes, four with yep. split stave bourbon. I don't okay. know if we had the first split stave. I honestly don't know. I'm going to read this one out loud. Let's let's play the word game. Barry McCall... Barry McCalkiner. <laughs> Barry McCalkiner. <laughs> so good. Oh, these are way better My name's than what I'm used to, man. Bush Podcast said, thanks for uh, sending me the real link to the new riff. Good idea, send out that frustrating goat rodeo of a link. Can't wait. Motherfucker, man. I know you got one. Uh, I'm glad you... Uh, I know. I'm glad you got one in Bellish. How many? How much canes... Did you actually destroy Dan? A cane. What's that? What do they call that thing? The six. The box. Yeah, the yeah. six pack with two breads, two sauces, and fries. They call it a caniac. That's what it's called. There the caniac's go. the move, bro. Extra bread. Three of those, and then I got the mm-hmm. the one below that. So I got the box. I don't need six chicken tenders. Four was perfect. So honestly, I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. I ate four, saved the other two, ate them at a gas station. On the way home. Drink this. This is from Jason Nelson. <sighs> okay. What did you put in there? A Glen. Oh, we got extra Glens. Yeah. The ones were clean. We took eight. No slaw to... extra toast every time in there. Yeah. We didn't get any extra toast, though. Um, You know that, right? We got extra toast with the Caniacs. You didn't get extra toast because you got well, That makes box. sense. Yeah. thought you said extra toast around. I did. It's and cool. they only put it with the Caniacs for That's some reason. That's nice of them. I, I would have liked another I'm gonna sandwich. I'm going to be honest, bro. The, the bread is, sandwich. See, you guys are saying fuck Canes. You guys are, number one, you're haters. I don't care what you say. I don't care it's who you toasty. are. you haters, right? Second, what I'd like to say to you is when you say fuck Canes, you don't know how to eat Canes correctly. That's your problem. You, you, you don't understand. If you go to Canes with me, I'll show you what to do. It'll change your life. That's crushable, dude. Is it? So what is this? Um... Driftless Glen. Driftless Glen. Straight bourbon whiskey. Single barrel. Oh, I like the smell. This is 56 months age, 96 proof. Bottled by Casey. 56, 12, 24, 36, 48. Oh, damn. Okay, we almost five. up there, yeah. Okay. 
This is a pick? Yeah. <gasps> Can we do these picks? I don't know. This smells That's fantastic. What, uh, it does. It smells very toasted. What the fuck? Z- what the fuck? Bo- wow, this was distilled and aged in Wisconsin. Really? This is the best Wisconsin whiskey ever. It's, oh, I'll, I'm, I'll <laughs> say that on the nose. I haven't even put it in my mouth yet. Uh, hey, Chino, thank you. I love the shirt. Chino. Would have went for blue, though. Chino. Black's the, a little the, rough for me. Chino, the grunt style shirts are good, man. They I never, are. I didn't own one. I see, I've seen them. I've heard of them. And I haven't owned one until you sent that one. I, I love it, Yeah, because I didn't realize what they were mm-hmm. until you had one. Right. And then it was like, wait, We've seen Bobby the logo was wearing shit, one. Yeah. yeah. Nick Bernard. Oh, no. Love the show. It's following the price of my girlfriend's engagement ring. So dusting off my 2019 WLW Mictor's Barrel Strength. Well done. Rye for 125 Do I pay? Oh, that's two questions. Wow, I read that in one. There's a punctuation <laughs> I, in there. I listen to you read it. There's yeah, there's, no a, punk- there's a period after WLW. So. After WLW, there is. Oh, yep. There is. It's a little period, but this it's a period. This fucker keeps, like, dying or something, which is great. Oh, we have this issue again. Yeah. Oh, cool. Great. Of course we do. What's today? Fucking the 17th Friday of the first month of the year? I don't I'm even know. I'm going to lose it today. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's the table. Barrel strength, right? 125? Probably. Yeah, that's a probably. If one twenty five is in the end of the world, that's a yeah, you know. Um, okay. No, both shut the fuck area. up in this chat right now about Popeyes. Oh my gosh, both you don't even understand food, dude. I swear to God, man. Liz Cat asking me questions. Uh, right we now. fixed the projector because it wasn't plugged in. If I'm being sure, transparent tell with people you that. guys, I don't think it was all the way plugged in. Like it looked like it was, but it wasn't. Or it just wasn't at all, and we're done. I wonder how he got unplugged. That's the mystery now. You? No. Dustin Macklin. You know Burt Macklin? Uh, he said, can't wait to try y'all's new riff. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. I'm glad. Listen, here's the, the shitty part about the whole thing is. in, oh, in fifth sleeves. 15. Oh, I, I think okay, the. Um, okay. They're just, they're definitely, they're nice shirts, the AM man. shirts feel the same way. In like the, the, the slightly tapered, mm-hmm. like around the bottom. They feel more cut and sew. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's the thing about the new earth pick. So I don't have to talk about it more later here on this stream. McDougal's says win. Keynes is the meta, but if you come to Nash, okay. See, now here's the thing I'm with you on. I'm, we're just talking big boy fast food restaurants, right? Yeah. KFC Popeye's, uh, Jesus chicken as Brandon calls it, which is uh Chick-fil-A and then Canes and Zaxby's in, in Canes. If you eat it right is the best one. I don't care what anybody in this chat says five Look, guys are in and out five guys every day of the week. Real quick. Rob R said, I hope you guys are getting a cut from that Scotch malt whiskey society, American release. Those things sold out quick. We are, we are not, not, but we do like I'm sure. Them. It was all thanks to BJ community. Just got mine today. Which one do you get? Just tag us. You want to soup chat. Rob. Like we work with them, but we don't get like, they don't like send us five bucks when they sell a bottle. <laughs> They're like, here's a fiver. We sold one today. Bug, bug to bug. Please give a shout out to my brother-in-law and first-time viewer, well, good Haywood job. Jablom. On the spot, you hit bro- that brother-in-law abbreviation. Uh-huh. What's up, Haywood? How you doing, Sir Jablom? Haywood Jablom. Is that one of those names? I'm trying to figure out if that's one of those inappropriate names right now. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No. That would be a good way to trick us, though. Be like, hey, it's my brother-in-law. Just hit Do it real quick. Do not pay $750 for a cigar blend. Unit poke. You put woo on every video we put out. You're the first comment every time. Yep. Do not pay seven hundred and fifty dollars, sir. All right. Talk about the the new riff. All right. So listen, dude. Can we do? Picture? It was a fucking disaster, <laughs> and we're working on it. Here's the shitty part. The shitty part is it would be nice to celebrate the pick. Yeah. Because people still got them, right? That's the thing. Yeah. They did sell out, um, in the fifteen dollar tier, so. Oh, it um, was a fucking. Hey, would, hey, would you, you blow, blow me? me? I, see, I'm starting to pick up on shit that usually goes over my head. It's supposed to be, hey, would you blow me? Okay, I like that one too. That's a good one. I told you the brother-in-law is a good way to sneak it in. A hundred percent. That's such a good way to sneak it in. Um, <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, <laughs> scroll off real quick. Yep, go ahead. Sorry. Womb stretcher, Sean. How many trend baloney sandwiches <laughs> do you eat today? Three. <laughs> John Finley just picked up my first 1920. Last one on the shelf. About to crack it. Hell can't yeah. Is it the new label? Because I don't think I like it yet. I, I can't do this with the the, the things that they're going to make me read. And half of them are going to go over my head. I know. I don't like it. Used to be in every phone book. That's funny. Um, Tommy D, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm glad you found it, buddy. I'm glad you're here. So, basically, the New York pick had issues with the site, unfortunately. But... 
The good part is what I'd like to celebrate is everybody getting the bottles who got them, right? Because we still there were still, what, 180-ish people that got new riffs, which is great, right? So yep. I'm glad that people do still get to experience it. It's This is all a work in progress, and there's a lot more picks on the way that have already been chosen by Sean, me, Chris, Brandon. Oh. Hell, we did the Starlight pick. Ryan's helped us on all these picks. Yeah. Um, Ryan, Ryan's the man. We've done so many picks I'm pretty now. sure that's what I tagged him in the, the video was the man himself. Yeah, I did watch it. I like that Monday video, and I know that it didn't get a lot of views, but I like that it's, I like switching up a little bit. I know. Uh, I even tried to use uh, Denoiser. Those people were just a cackling in the it, background. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Because I didn't see your editing it. Yeah. I watched it, and I didn't It was, I didn't uh-huh. bother me at all. Andrew okay. Cannon, sorry, Mr. Soup Chat. He said, y'all's new riff pick is going to be my first ever bottle from new riff because I don't get it in Texas. Cheers, guys. Hashtag Team Dan. Well. Jermaine Compton said, just open your own distillery. Hey, buddy, Zach, I sent you a good. message, so please see the message. The one's not good. Yeah, I, um, I need about what is eight yards of dirt brought in to level my lawn Do not my bring lawn up out. the lawn. It's bad. Sean, don't. Ryan Elvis said, sold out another barrel in a... Com- <laughs> in a combined sure. two to three hours. Don't know if I'll call it a shit show, but nevertheless, sure. everyone will feel a certain way no matter what right. happens. Very true. Got a lot of nice emails, though. Thanks to those people. Ready to try it again soon. Yep. Fair. Um, so that's the thing. The The good part is is it's not like it got lost in shipping or they all broke, right? We didn't have that. That wasn't the case. Um, there's a lot of people there, and the picks go really fast. So people get extremely excited and, and wait and try really hard to get them. And then get really frustrated when they can't, right, for, for whatever reason. People get frustrated when they sell out and we don't have site issues. That That's a thing that happens, too, unfortunately. Limited supply. So that's why we're doing more picks, right, try and help everybody out. What's up? No buddy? idea where the, the cork is right in front of the bottle. You just can't see I, it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, listen, I hope that the people who got it enjoy it. Thanks, there Ryan. are some held back that will be raffled off like we've raffled off the last ones, <laughs> right? And we're working on that situation for the for future picks. Uh, yeah. Next sticker, Sean's over on lawn. Trim the bush. <laughs> That's not the next sticker, Zachary Jones. That was a bad comment. Uh, it could be my sticker. You don't know my life. Hands on my cock. That's the name. Sorry, Hans. Hans on my Hans, cock. yeah. Um, I'm not guys... reading that, Ian. Okay. That's the one I wrote down to you. Remember? Or last week? Austin said, keep working it. Looking forward to BTAC 2023 <laughs> picks. Ryan is the man. Uh-huh. Ryan works his ass off. Ryan, yes, you does. didn't have to super chat a fucking hondo either, by the way. Love you. But um, Ryan's the fucking man, and Ryan works harder than all of you probably think he works, doing really cool shit for this community. So keep that in mind. So, Alec, yeah, I did last week, but yeah, 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 I mean, don't worry about it. Man, I couldn't make it here. Uh, Chino, we do hold <laughs> bottles back normally. Chino, and- I like how you just said what I already do after every pick. Buddy. Yeah, so... <laughs> It, so, you know, it, last time it was 20 it yeah. makes, or 15. That's what gets held back for in case anything breaks in shipping or anything gets lost, whatever. We keep some back, and whatever we don't end up using just gets uh, auctioned or not auctioned, randomized off to the lower tiers. Yeah, like raffled, basically. Yeah. Uh, Justin, we did a Friday video, right? Yeah, I did the shot. I did the vomit comment. Yeah. Yeah. I released that. It's fucking disgusting. It definitely came out because I, I, like, a <laughs> part of me was like, did I forget to upload that? No, I no, I saw I saw um people were talking about you taking the, the shot like a champ. And it was really? like people don't know that I cut out ten minutes. Oh, you should have left it in high time lapse that shit. Bro, Just it was literally you it's took so it gross, bro. At two and a half minutes on right. the raw. It was twelve and a half minutes. Well when we, we chatted started, for a while. Yeah, we I gave you some time. Um, okay, so... Oh, it was a terrible guess. Tonight's live stream, by the way. What's up, Alec? How's it going? Tonight's live stream, by the way, is sponsored by Alec Bradley Cigars. Yeah. I, you know what? We got to get some I'm pointing more. to the screen. Not. You know what? I meant to text Alec this because I looked in the humidor and there's one Prensado left and I was really feeling a Prensado hmm. because swear to God, if, if you don't mind spending what, eight on a stick? Yeah. Good stick. I don't know what the hell else you're getting a box press at eight and enjoying the I shit was, out of Do we have coils? Coils? I haven't had one in a uh, while. Coil. Coil. Can we turn the C into an H, Alec? What are your thoughts on no. that? Let's talk to the marketing department. Let's see if we can. Hey, make we it put out a video on Calumet 15, Distilicious. I like your name. Nailed it. Um, don't really want to try the vomit comment, but kind of do it. So here's the thing the comment, vomit, or sorry, the vomit comment was supposed to be what? Malort. Oh, fireball. fireball. We didn't, have, we didn't fireball. have fireball. So I had to, I substituted in St. Cloud. Someone actually messaged us and goes, 
that how bad I was about to buy one. I was like, oh. it's very expensive for oh, it's it. Let's put it this way: there are people who like it. Yeah, th- they're selling whiskey. They like Dickel too. The but that's the wildest, funkiest whiskey I've ever had. That's all I'll say. Ryan, we don't see the sun. It's Michigan. What are you talking about? Until bro? about I'm like tan. a probably a month from now. Yeah, it's it's also it's not even spring here. It was like forty something this morning. Hour. That's true. I get tanner in the summer, like when it's actually like summer. most people. Yeah, enjoy your melanoma. <laughs> like normal people. <laughs> So this is fantastic. This yeah. is a Woodman's Market pick. I don't know if you said that already, but I did not say the pick. This is a Woodman Market Woodman's Market pick. The Woodman's Market. I pick. feel like, dude, I could have swore we had Driftless Glen. Didn't like it. I don't think it was a pick. We might. Have I'm just sure had you're the right. Regular but offering. This is actually really good. You said it's crushable. I thought because of how dark the whiskey is, yeah. that it's a higher proof. Ninety eight percent. Ninety eight proof. Ninety eight percent. Ooh, be, a little be love. You will not be disappointed in those Project Forty Maduros. Uh, listen, I. I know I'm a broken record. Mm-hmm. Those Product 40 Maduros, for me, Project 40 Maduros, put Alec Bradley value in a whole different world than most other people. I think they're like five, six bucks a it's stick. It's so hard to find a $5 stick that you can enjoy, experience, and have with whiskey <laughs> all at the same time. That's one of the very few. Maureen Franchi said, whatever doesn't get raffled off, Dan tosses all over the hot floor. Favorite bourbon or rye cocktail when it's hot as shit out? I normally just default to uh, an old fashioned. If I could learn how to make a Manhattan, I would do that because those are my favorite. Yeah. That being said, I'm shit at cocktails. <laughs> we so, should do more cock. Joe I- Sullivan, if I actually, what happens is I turn red, <clears throat> right? Yeah, and then a week later you. I molt and then I'm back to white. You sent Prince out like two weeks ago? What? Did you send them to Klein? This is why we haven't gotten them. We haven't gotten any cigars, Alec. The last ones we got were Tempest Naturals. Piros. Nika Tempest, Piros. Tempest. Na- Tempest. No. Yeah, you said buddy. Nika Piros. No, those long, temp- the big size Tempest Naturals. And then the Nika Piros. True. Touche. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm I was like, yeah, he sent the shorter Nika Piros. My bad. You're right. The and then before that like was that? the Tempest Naturals. Yeah. Um, can I please raffle your new approval for me? Can you raffle off if we have any left? Uh, we, don't oh, have, we don't have any. Like, here's the thing. The ones that are kept back are kept back for insurance one and each. then raffled the Patreon. Yeah. We each get one, and that's it. Uh, I tried my first Alec Bradley the other day, Tempest Nicaragua. Excellent. Um, What's the Tempest? See, oh, those ones are spicier, pepperier. I don't know. Because I always got the naturals. Then the naturals. Yeah. Um. Josh Pence, I have a 120 proof drift. Holy pick shit. That's excellent. Need a BJ's pay? Interesting. That's super good to know. Uh, we did, I didn't even know they did picks. That I've seen this label. Different. I mean, yeah, because this is, I could drink half this bottle and just rip it right now. Grant said, hey, Alec, you sent those to me. Two Sorry. bottles of Burr Rye? Uh, well, you're pretty lucky because those are now distillery only. So, yeah. Depends on which one you found is how lucky you are. Yeah. <laughs> Alec said, I never sent them. I was hoping for a live fight. Motherfucker, Alec. <clears throat> he comes in here, okay? It's not his birthday anymore, even. Well, you should have said, should did Dan take them all? Because if you would have sent him what, to our drop, if, if you want, then Dan would have saw If it. you want to start some shit, what you say is, I sent a bunch to Klein and told him to give them to you. Mm-hmm. And then you don't say anything else about it. And on the 4th, we, we go to his meetup and you beat the shit out of him. Who's meetup? Klein's. He's having a meetup? Yeah. Oh, the garage Local Mahal group. one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Cigars. I thought you meant like money. he was putting together a meetup. I'm like, oh shit, really? No, no. Damn, I genuinely thought Klein was too lazy for that. I think there'd be 12 people there. That's a meetup. <laughs> that's true. At this point, that's fucking, that's a concert. That's, that's popping, that, yeah. It's a concert. Um, You got a, some Driftless Glen Rye picks that are stupid this. good? Really? Hmm. This is so good to know. What a I mean, cool experience. We need Who's to get our guy these? on this. Jason, thanks for sending this. Our, <laughs> our guy's in chat. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> our guy don't know to hunt, though. So. Um, Really good, 124 proof on a ride. Fantastic, Jeez. man. So what's what's interesting whoa, is whoa, 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 I don't whoa, know about whoa. this choice. Lemonade and whiskey. Oh come on, Kelly. You know what your team, Sean? I get it. So um, what your team is weird, Lemonade man. Lemonade and whiskey. Team Sean is full of weird people. That's a truthful statement. <sighs> Nothing against you guys. Everybody's a little weird. You guys are just Sean weird. So the fingerprints on the sides of this bottle yeah, is like very that. weird. Yeah. I don't like how it looks, but for holding, it's fantastic. I'm just telling you how to hold it. Pinchier. Pinchia. Yeah. Pin's tight. It's a good bottle. You got a little uh, iced coffee, actually? Got a little iced coffee. Fuck it. Got some... Uh, it's late. Fuck got, it. got a little milk in there? I got to be up at 6.30, and today was a shit-ass day. Oh, look. Jamie was just commenting. Is that iced coffee? Looks like it. Okay. 
The other bottle I wanted to drink was the label. Thank God. I wanted to open this for like three weeks, and we keep forgetting because we have stuff to do. So, um, this is a lot. I didn't even know this was a real thing. Chris guys. Dunning said he just ordered a box of Blind Faith. That's good for you, sir. Oh, he said thanks for turning yeah. me on to those. Even my wife likes them, dude. Blind oh. Facer. That's how you end tonight. No, no, no. Blind Faces are the best Alec Bradley cigar available. Just chill on out. I'm excited for it to be actually warm out again so I can go out onto my deck and enjoy a cigar. So every once in a while right now, like our Mother Nature sprinkles in decent days for us. And when you <laughs> walk outside and it's one of those, you're like, what do I do? What do I, I got to get everything in today. We had one day that was like, like 79. Nice, yeah, you walk outside, you're like, holy shit, I have a few hours to do something cool. Jerry Black, he said, was uh, gifted a Driftless Glen straight bourbon store pick that's 120 proof. Nice. It's fire. So, yeah. Um, okay, I didn't hey, realize all Brandon, these were so good. Shh, shh. Chris asked this earlier. Shh. He said, is it Gay's Party or Gay's uh, Hops and Schnapps pick night? No, it's not. Because we bought five <laughs> and we didn't even like one of them. Andrew, uh, someone tell Michigan that it's mid May. That's yeah, fair. They don't, they don't care. That's fair. Is that a Project 40 whiskey? It will go well with a lot 40 cigar. Did you see what he did there? I know, because we always I fucking don't, do you it. Do. Yeah. I've never done it once. Okay. We're going to put that on Maybe the shelf? Once. Put it on the shelf. Just put it behind us. You're going to say throat? That's bad. That's real bad. It wasn't even my fault. This is physics, you know? So, your lawn said, get off the deck and trim me. Hey, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> Jason sent us this note with this driftless. Oh. Oh, this was the M and M, the Stan yeah. one. Okay, yeah, I read this. He said, "I can't guarantee it doesn't taste like Cleveland." That mm-hmm. was the bottom of that yeah. note. All right, so thanks for sending that, buddy. Now, yeah, it is snowing in Colorado. Tommy's got it pretty rough right now. Except he gets to look at mountains and shit. That's cool. Ramiro Robago. We don't like Elijah Craig eighteen. Nope, not our. We, we like real, the old ones. Real oaky, we pretty like thin. I, it's kind of tannic now. It, Every it just time dries them. Every old time somebody one. sends us a sample, they send us old ones. We're like, this is fantastic. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, that's the old one. All right, cool. And we have had like three new ones, and we don't like any of them. Yeah. Have you tried Backbone Bourbon Uncut Fantastic MGP? I thought, and I could be wrong, that, that was Jim Beam. Um, the fingerprints on the Driftless Gunner from the owner and his wife, that's cool. That's okay. There's some Mariah is distillery only now, Alec. Yeah. So was rendezvous. And somebody asked if we got a new rendezvous. We don't. I saw on Instagram somebody holding one, meaning they're selling it. Um, we haven't had Ooh, it. I've not seen that it. That's adorable. It's got a little baby cork, dude. A little yeah. real one, too. So this is a lot 40. Dark oak, 100% rye. We've had the lot 40 cast ranks. No and barley. 100% rye, literally. Mm. Aged twice in new oak barrels for depth of flavor. So it's basically a double oak rye. Finished in number four char barrels. So, um, Don't they have to add um, whatever enzyme is in barley when they do 100% rye? I don't know because it doesn't it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Um, did they talk about that at Whistle Pig? Might have. I it don't remember. Have. So this was like sent to us by James Craig, Aiden's brother apparently. And he <laughs> – I've never even heard of this bottle ever – We've seen the normal Lot 40 because that's local. Yeah. The Lot 40 cast strength is ca- uh, Canada only. And he said, can I send you a Dark Oak? And I said, please do because the bottle looks gorgeous. It's got this really cool black label with like a copper inlaid text down here and down here. What is it? It smells like maple syrup. 48% ABV. Yes, yeah, so they have to add the enzyme 100% rye. Okay. Sean knows things. I, I, from time to time. Um, you know, let's just we did drink the Stellum. Whiskey, dude. Screw it. Um, we really liked them. What'd you say? With the Stellums, they'd sent us the, those. We samples. have the media samples. Yeah, we can talk about them on the point. stream. Yeah. Um, but I can just tell you right now, we enjoyed them. The media samples are really good. Which are the normal bottles? Apparently. A Prinsado Churchill pairing. Oh, Sorry, I don't know if we ever had those in the Churchill. Can they be in a church? Is a Churchill a size? Yeah, it's like the the, the seven inches, the big boys. Well, Prinsado means box press. So it's got to be a box. There's such thing as box press Churchills. That's weird. Alec, help. Alec. <laughs> Alec. Dad. <laughs> Doesn't that bottle come from a shithole country? I don't. I think just Canada. I think we like Canada, though. They're our friends. We like Canada? Yeah. Like you and me personally? No, no, no. Oh, like, okay. Like America likes Canada. Yeah, America. 
We haven't heard anything about the Russell 13. Other than I want it. We haven't had Redwood Empire's 14-year uh, haystacks, haystacks either. Yeah. But I'd buy, I'd just buy them. Bin. Ramiro, if you see it, just buy it. Bin. Oh, my gosh. That smells good. I like that. It's really sweet. It's 100% rye. And it's, That's breakfast, It's dude. a little subtle. It's a little sweet. Churchill's a size. Yes, it makes box pressers. All right. I've never had a box press Churchill. Ever. In any, I don't know the ring cigar. gauge, but I think a Churchill's like seven inches. So it's so the Churchill statement isn't about the roll, like a Robusto. Um, Prince Otto Churchill got number one cigar in the world. So yes. What? That was a church. I thought Churchill's were way bigger. The Pledge is not a Churchill, is it? The Pledge was a box press, but it was small. It was short. Or I guess maybe the Pledge I got was just a different size. Seven by 48. There you go. Interesting. Big dog. Not ring gauge, but isn't that what uh, pinkies out are? 48? They're a weird size. This is so damn sweet. I just got peach rings on it. You should try it. Just you see Chino's video? You see Chino's video about the edging? I'm going to call it edging. Chino. <laughs> it was definitely Chino, edging. That's <laughs> edging, buddy. We're just going to use that term. Okay. I don't hate it, Chino. I agree with you, Zachary Jones. <laughs> I think there's just one, but it is shitty. I just read that. That smells so incredibly Did sweet, we open this dude. Last time? Hmm? Did we open this last time? Oh, is that that funky one? It might be. Yep, it is. Prensado, not Pledge. It got... Oh, okay, okay. So the Churchill didn't... I thought you meant, like, just one. And I'm like, what the fuck? The Pledge just won, and it was small. Alexi, listen, buddy. You know, I'm not a historian, right? Bubble bath bourbon edging means exactly what I think it means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm edging this whiskey currently, and it's about to come in my mouth. It... Bye. <laughs> uh, wow. So it's very sweet. so full circle. I'm a little proud. There is a little bit of black licorice on her. Really? Uh, it's more in the palate. After I um, taste it, I can, I can taste it a little bit or smell it a little bit. People like that. That was good. That was off the rip, too. If we're being honest, that was off the top of the head. That's not bad. You know what I mean? All top right. of the head, huh? You just you just won't stop, Keep will you? Demonetize? <laughs> not monetized already, so. What in the damn? <laughs> oh, Kevin just got here and heard that. I'm so sorry for people who just arrived. That's my bad. Let me say shout out to uh, James Craig. Yep, three times. Oh, yeah, you said for Aiden's brother. brother. Yep, fuck. Bryce said, Dan's a 10%, man. You heard it. He's always about the 90. <sighs> I'm in on that 90. All right. <laughs> Kelly said team, Sean. That's Thank fair, you. Kelly. Um, I don't know. I feel okay, about that. I, I, I like how... I almost... I Please gotta, stop. I'm trying... I actually was trying to stop. I don't like how it tastes as much as I like how it smells. Does that make sense? Like, it's, it's twice so the sweet, oak man. barrels. Okay. That's why it's So it's a black. double oak rye. What double oak? We like Sagamore double oak a lot. Is that new oak both times, though? No idea. Yeah. It said level four char on there, too. So she's on here? Dark, yeah. It's it's so... It's almost... It, 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 it's almost leathery. The char comes through so strong. It's not drying, though. No, but it, it's like overwhelming. That flavor is overwhelming Puts a little bit. Put the palate on your tongue. Put the no, like a wood palate. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. Now, here's the thing. I will say it's not boring like the normal Lot 40 rye, I think, is. I think the normal Lot 40 rye is very boring and, like, very, like, easygoing, not a great, neat drinker. Um, Hey, hit the like button while you're here if you don't mind. It feels a Please. little all over the place. Yeah, I think the finish is pretty damn one note, but I feel like on your way there, you just hit a pinball machine. But, like, sitting on it a little bit longer, I get a little menthol. I get a, a little spearminty. I get a little the black licorice. I get that sweetness up front. 
Like, the, it's just but, all but there, the and it's just right on top. The sweetness is such a flash in the pan. Yeah. It's like, boom, boom, gone. Like, here, back. Dude, what's up? It was like Klein's hair. <laughs> That's what he get. He said, I see Dan losing tonight. Justin or some shit. Caselli, here's more of my money since Patreon like messing with me. I'm totally. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm in a totally different level. You are. Hey bro, you're not and even. And I bought that crazy James brand knife. So nice. And Justin, that one. Justin, you're on that fucking fuck you money type shit. Did they give you your money back is what's important. Uh, we hope so. If not, we can figure it out, obviously. So let us know either way. Springer said, I've been trying to stop sexual innuendos, but it's hard. So hard. What's up? You read it. Yeah. I get it. I put some stank on the so hard for you. Oh, did you even know Klein was still alive? I did. I talked to him today. Oh. Well, right, message that him. must be nice. Got a message back. Got his table still. What? For the garage moment. Oh, the, the barrel. Yep. Uh, yeah. Klein, you're going to have to go get that, buddy. Uh, Until open Sean it, buys Jay. a truck, it ain't getting to your fucking house. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, yeah, hey, open that Kentucky Alabama Street. I mean, it's fantastic. It's really good. Klein's got a truck. I know. You live in. Are we going to open those blue runs? The B and We're just the gonna F go at it. and the E. So this game's going to take us a little while, but it's time. You need to read the rules. Only the rules. Okay. Well, not one the of us. No, Thanks. I tried not to. I didn't want to make it real obvious that I was going to win. Okay, so, Leah, I like this idea. You know what? First, I. Risky. What if, though? What if the camera's like, it's muted. Rip it. <laughs> Fuck. Sean gets a truck. Yeah, I know. I priced one out, and then they instantly emailed me, called me twice. Oh, of course they did. The general manager emailed me and said, what are we doing wrong? Of course they did. I was did. like, whoa, bro. Like, just hey, wanted hey, to know I'm what price. I'm around right now. I regret putting my email in there. Non-fungible. Still love you guys. Not in a weird way. Well, I love you in a weird way. Now what do we do? What's the game y'all are playing? It's a game that was sent to us. It's called Who's in My Mouth? <laughs> Dane Cook came up with it years ago. When does the new Into the AM shirt drop? Uh, I sent all the feedback you guys had to them. I had feedback for them. I sent them that. And we're waiting. They sent that to their design team. We're going that route. Um, okay. So, Aiden, for what, my dude, what charity? Oh, Damn, I'm usually, Strawberry. Good not, I'm usually good at not reading other people's conversations in chat, and I just failed that. I haven't had this in a while. We're going to share this because I don't think you and I are going to enjoy it much. What is it? I just need you to try it. and con we're just. This I is already a picked that up board. earlier. Yep, confirmation And board. I read it, but I don't remember because okay. I cleaned the table off. So this is like just as much for you and oh, I as it now for I everybody what it in is. chat. Yep. Everybody. 100% real. In, including us, the, you know, and Klein. There's always been a question whether Klein screw with our angels and be misery not here. at cask yeah. or not, right? So, because of that, Gary Franchi <laughs> is a pickle. saint. I gave him the rest of our angels and Mizunara that didn't spill when I bottle flipped the decanter that opened. So, <laughs> at least knock me out. <laughs> Now he's gonna let it bust in your mouth. <laughs> oh my! Oh wow! That's so on the head. That go ahead. <laughs> there's just too much. Um, so uh, Gary gave us a real sample of his angels, which Klein was not allowed to touch. Hey, anyone asking if you want to open up a bottle? Wrong chat. We're just gonna tell you to rip it. True. Yeah. Yeah, we're not. Ko Batch Nine are open and enjoy. Open. Where's the well, dead it said, Should I open or open? <laughs> I like where your head's at. Gary Franchi said, A is at my house waiting to get to you. That was the weirdest sentence. Angel Envy. He tagged Gary like he's talking to Gary. Mm -hmm. But he, then he said, said. Like he like he was saying it. Like <laughs> an idiot. You know what I mean? All right. Hey, Kelly, we'll be there. We will be at Whiskey Weekend Match 4. It's truth. That's way better than ours. I just smell cotton candy now, and I don't know why. Is that your liquid IV I'm smelling? Oh. Why is that better than ours? Why, hey, Klein. Klein, why does that not taste like nutty bullshit? It's slightly nutty, but it's not nutty like ours was nutty. But that's like, gotta. did you wash that with liquid IV? Oh, no, that's got dark rye in it. I rinse it with water. 
No, that's just plain water. I feel like I'm more confused now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like this made it more suspect that Klein opened that and apparently spit in it. He shit in it. I'm assuming Klein put Dickel in his mouth and then spit that into the bottle. This is sweeter than ours. By a landslide. Mind you, nope. I just got the naughtiness. It's a okay. little bit thin on the nose, but it's not in the palate. Cheech, Cheech is just nailing it. If you guys want a liquid IV, there it is. Okay. Fresh Glenn. K- Kelly doesn't have a wrench by my choice, Eric. By Sean. Hey. So when she bans somebody, you guys can... I'll send you Sean's phone number. You can call him. <laughs> nope. It tastes exactly... 100% that taste. I just let it sit on my tongue and basically dissipate. It's 100% the same shit. We would shit on that in a, in a review. I want a fresh Glenn. Tommy, that's a good question because it literally could have just been both. Okay, uh, that was your Glenn. No, no, that's yeah, why. Yeah, smell it out I of know, this that's one. That's what I'm saying. Now I'm getting it. Like now that the water is apparently dissipated out there. Here. No, I believe you. I'm good. I don't like it. It's just not for me. It's still sweet on the nose. Is the rabbit hole Mizunara? Anybody had that shit yet? Is it good? What's in that glass? That was real Angel's Envy Mizunara cast. Oh, that's the glass. Yeah, yours had some sweetness left I'm over. I'm telling you, it tastes like shit on that last little sip there. So, in the end, finally has. Both, damn it! We're gonna talk about. We got out of there on the 18th. We're gonna we got some. We gotta talk about some into the AM stuff in our Monday video. How about Sean's mom's phone number? We know you got it, Dan. I didn't say that. Robert said that. Robert Bonin. I swear to God, that's his name. What's up? I swear <laughs> to God, his name's Robert Bonin, and he said that. I know that. I know the rabbit hole's fifteen hundred dollars. I just there was one here in town. I just want to know how much. Or if you it's better not order anything ever. Delete your order. Sean won't see it. Just don't order a glass. Uh, we accidentally fucked up someone's order, by the way. I didn't. Oh, you did. No, I didn't. Well, it was the day that you marked a bunch of coins off, see, right. and he had a coin. Mm-hmm. Didn't get that those glasses. He was like, got my coin. Okay. <laughs> Remember I said, do all the glasses, I'll do the coins? You I said did. the glasses are done. So I did the coins? Yeah. Genius. I, I think you accidentally Genius just me. ripped one out. I don't because it was it was it until you're done. Never. It was the day he ordered the day before I did. Uh, Without the exception, coins, or the the glasses. I am flawless in this right. Are you ready to drink good whiskey? Right. That's garbage whiskey. That's that angels is still not very good. I'm gonna be honest. It's okay. It's blue. Don't shut your dumb mouth. I'll drink both of those right now. This one's better. You'll like that one. Yeah? It's, okay. uh, that one's actually a little dusty. Okay. So let's... Okay, so these are samples from Blue Run. Don't know... I don't believe they're putting this out or anything. They're just samples from Blue Run. Yeah. Um, Not for resale. This one is aged 13... Well, obviously, we can't I don't. sell their two-ounce bottle. So... Well, I don't have any information on this one. I only have one thing more than you do. Age. <laughs> uh, age is 13 and a half years on this sample. Barrel number 10, single barrel cast strength, a proof 124. What is that one? Um, so I got no batch, no age, proof 130. Okay. Barrel number five, single barrel cast strength. So they said that one of these is like a black cherry bomb. And I don't remember what they said the other one was. Oh? You like that a lot, don't you? launch this into my mouth, dude. <laughs> How? Put this on the market, send it to my house on pallets. That one's a little dusty. I'm such a fan of like... The other blue run, and this smells like a better version of the other blue run. I could, oh my gosh, I could see this being their their black cherry note. I haven't, I, that. I haven't I, even smelt that one yet. Um, I get a good amount of cherry, but it reminds me of the uh blue raspberry of Fago. Oh, this one's like sh- confectionery, sugar. very, very specific, <laughs> like vanilla frosting on uh sprinkle cake. Oh, I guess. Oh my gosh, these are both, dude, 130 and 124. That one um, smells, it doesn't smell 130 proof. How about that? I got you, Chino. Oh. Oh, bro, it tastes how you want it to taste when it smells like that. It's like, if it was more of that, it would be perfumey, but it's not. It's so sweet and it's like a, it's like, have you ever seen the, I know you've seen it, the Great British Baking Show? Of course. This is their desserts, dude. With whiskey in it. Holy okay. shit. I'm gonna give, nah, it drinks 130. Toshi Bake, have you, hope you guys are having a great week. Excited to meet up with some bourbon buddies on oh, Friday yeah. for the first time in over a year. It's awesome. Ah, it's, it's rough. 
Planning to drink some great bourbon. Opening my 2020 WOW and Will It 15. Damn. Them some bottles. Cheers to you and your friends for enjoying those. Cheers, buddy. Thanks um, for Super Chat. That's got a bit of the dustiness in the background. It's almost that's like, kind um, of it, it's kind of like potpourri, mm-hmm. like dry. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I said. I think if it was more of whatever that flavor is, it would be like perfume. Like if you just ever saw some at your grandma's house, that dry old fucking thing of potpourri. Mm-hmm. Like, you smell it, like, oh, if I tasted it, that's what it would taste like. I think that 130 proof is a little drying, too. Use MC Tech. Oh, my gosh. Try that one. Hate, hate it that I missed you. Well, then you read this. USMC Tech. Hate that I missed you guys at Justin House of Bourbon. Went to Bluegrass Tavern. Crazy. Over 1,100 whiskeys. Couldn't find a bourbon that they didn't have. Go there next. That's awesome, man. Hey, listen. At some point, we'll have a meetup, and we'll get to hang out. It'll be a good time, dude. What's funny is I think this one has more ethanol in the nose than the 130 proof. It drinks a little warmer too, but it's so good. Is how is campfire becoming a distillery only? No, I don't know about that, Trevor. Well, that's better. Didn't they cancel campfire? No, they canceled Yippee. Uh, Blue Spot, hands down. Hoodoo Voodoo. Those are so good. That's 13 and a half years old. Barrel proof whiskey. Damn, those are good. Blue Run has some really cool stuff coming, and it's going to be, I'd bet, based on now the three Blue Run products we've had, I bet it's going to be awesome. I think it's old. Old Heaven Hill? I don't know. It's very possible. Feels that way. It's possible. It's like well aged Heaven, Heaven Hill? Those are your options. I don't think it's Beam. It's one of those three. Uh, Alec Dustin asked how much he has to super chat for Sean to smoke an entire Texas Lancer. 100. Oil. I mean, you know what? Let's see how these are together. But they're good. Ugh. All right, we're going to play our game. It's going to be a different day because I got shit to do tomorrow. What was on the bottom of the dance gland? Probably a letter. Labels. Stickers. Um. Oh, my gosh, dude. Try that. Now it's oaky, but the cotton candy stayed around, like that really sugary, fluffy vanilla note. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so... Hey, you're supposed to be my team. Kelly? Yeah. I laugh. Okay. We got answers. Don't have little right hands. A, B, C, D. <laughs> Answer sheets and rules, scoring, how to play. So, we've got a game to play tonight. It's sent to us by Sir Jorge. All right. Went well. Ebisida. Let's get some of this stuff out of the well, way. Well, I have one extra, Glenn. I got three dirty ones, four, four clean ones. Yeah, I know, but four. for you. Oh, I have that box. Oh. I just sat on the ground so it wasn't in the way. There. Okay. Is there going to be collusion this game like there was last week? What was the collusion? I won. Was that the collusion? I don't know. Oh, because uh, both sent Did it? you watch Friday's video where I told you you just went? I didn't even look at the right shelf, so it doesn't even matter. I know. You looked at half the shelf and then gave me shit when I turned around. I was looking for my book. Yeah, yeah. The one that was in front of you. Which I didn't know, clearly. Gosh dang. If I'm going to cheat, I'm just going to fucking cheat, man. I'm not going to pretend to look for my book. Well, when I was cheating, I was telling you. So, post this favorite. What's everyone's opinion on Rumble? I don't know what that is, Tristan. Um, so, we're going to get into this game. For, I remember a little while ago, somebody mentioned they bought a James uh, knife. And I just, this is my newest one. I got a little micarta scale, black, James, this is called a James, and then it's called a Carter is the model. This knife knife is fucking amazing. It's so great. It's got (laughs) axis locks like the Benchmade Bugout does. And the thumb studs aren't on the sides, they're on the top of the blade, and I like that way more. It's so great. Andy Leary, finally caught you guys on a live stream. It's been fun finding bottles you two recommend comparing to what I think your viewers are. Take care. Hey, thanks for being here, man. Glad you enjoyed it, buddy. This it's just knife fun. is humongous comparatively, which is kind of funny because it's not the micro tech or the pro tech really isn't that big. No, but it is a lot bigger. It's a lot wider than this. Little uh, I thought that was closer to that. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's not far off the, the bug, bug, bug out. Yeah. Um, this is supposed to be like a beater EDC and it's fan freaking tastic. It's aluminum, bro. It. Yeah, we found out. It feels like plastic. Come to find out it's metal. And then I thought about it, and I was like, fuck, he's right, because my link feels the same way. Mm, okay. It feels almost plasticky, but it's aluminum. Because so, when I got it, Gabby was like, why does this feel like 
cheap plastic. Sure. I was like, it's aluminum. Uh, and then when and it's we, painted. Yeah. And I was like, fuck. So this game is so intense. He sent there's us a timer. A die, what a the? coin, and basically a chess timer. I'm surprised you know what that is. I'm literally grandmaster. I so <laughs> I don't Anyways, think I don't think you use that word. I'm a literally grandmaster. All right. How do you become a grandmaster? Uh fucking wrecking kids. <laughs> uh, I was gonna throw up, but I don't want to. Okay. So we have a timer. I'm gonna read you guys the rules here in just a second. They're not that complicated. Got a timer, a die, and a coin. Now, we have four whiskeys, A, B, C, D. I really don't like James Brand. Why not, Aiden? It, it's a two pence coin. What's that mean? I don't even know where this is from. Bo, this is not going to be a shit show. The, I got promise, the queen on it. The rules are not complicated. Because he sent the email and said, I sent a bunch of stuff. You can play the game without <laughs> the timer, the die, and the coin. If you need, if it's too okay. complicated. So I read the, I read these beforehand, and it's not too complicated. Tommy said, "Wait, I need a refill. Pause this stream." Hey, Tommy, go get your drink. While Tommy's getting his drink, chat. If you guys wouldn't mind liking the stream, that would be really helpful for us. Thank you for doing that. All right. I think I got it out. Tommy, are you too old to own headphones or speakers or like what's the situation here? Oh wow, he's literally eighty-five. I don't know. It seems a little high. He's older than my grandfather. You know what I mean? Who's passed away twice. Anyways. Michael Mariano said some MTG right there. Magic the Gathering, I think. Oh. Well. Why do you say D&D, bro? Nerd. Okay, anyways. So. Read the rules. It's based on like a normal whiskey war. Okay. With guessing, right? Yep. Correct finish. One point. Where's your book? Yep, that's a good idea. I'm looking for my book on the back wall, if you're okay with let me that. Check it, let me check it. Let me check it. Uh, right I stole one of those out of your bag. Oh, that's nice of you. I think it was yours, so. Well, I, I scuttled out with, like, three of those because yeah. Ryan was like, here you go. Yeah, I think you just took one of yours because there's I, – I took one. Yeah. And uh, there were three in the bag, so yeah. I assume. Well, mine, yours, and Ryan's. He goes, I got a stack of these. I bet he does. <laughs> okay, so scores. There's four whiskeys. I'm just going to put A, B, C, D right off the rip. At the top of the page, so I can guess down them. Dude, the the, the rules are kind of fun because they're actually going to force us to not take forever. Okay. So, uh, correct finish is one point. I always do. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Correct finish is one point. Age. If you get exact, it's three. If you get within three years, it's two. Within five is one. How many? Oh, wow. There's a lot. So, here's the thing. If whiskey's it. blended with different ages, he uses the oldest stated age for the age. The oldest? Well, you so got to do the youngest. Pick the... No, he's saying pick the old... Because they're not age stated if they're blended, he's saying, basically. So, pick the oldest whiskey in the blend. Okay. So, we need to do finish. Exact is three. Within three is two. Within five is one. Okay. Five, three. Age. All right. Proof. Proof is the next one. Exact is three. I'm not writing that down. I have it written down. Yeah, that's fine. Within three is a two. Within five is one. That's just like age. Same point system. Bourbon or rye? Or whiskey. Is one point. Burb. Re. Dub. You had to shorten up rye, huh? Uh, made in Kentucky. Wait, well, how many is that? That's one point. Okay. Made in Kentucky. Is the distillery itself located in Kentucky? doesn't matter if it's sourced whiskey somewhere else. All that matters, matters is where is the, the distillery, distillery selling it? That's it. Where is it sold? What distillery's name is on the bottle? Are they in Kentucky? Yes or no? One point. Motherfucker. That's a dumb one. So I'm going to put KY. That's a point. And then distillery. Um, guess the distillery. This is optional. You can lose points guessing the distillery. Oh, fuck you can that. choose to not answer this question. If you choose to answer it and get it wrong, you lose points. If you do attempt to answer it, the scoring is right guess three, wrong guess negative three. Whoa, there's no no. Nope. Now there are there's a reason because I said the same thing you were just gonna say, which there's no reason to guess it right. So, 
Time. This is a timed game. The BJ with the shortest time is rewarded one extra point. <laughs> ah, fuck that. For every 45 seconds that you're oh. that you're done by. If Sean has two minutes, Dan has 245, Sean gets one point. Okay. So, the dice. The BJ with the most attempted answered questions. <laughs> so, this is why you guess the question. This is why you guess distillery. Or why you would. Okay. The BJ with the most attempted answered questions gets to roll the die. The BJ will be given the amount of what they roll. <laughs> so you get one through six there. Bro. Wow, that one is on there. So if you get if you roll four, you get four points to your final score. Tie game. In the unlikely event of a tie, the winner will be t- determined by a coin flip. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, after all this. The fastest time will flip the coin. The BJ with the longest time will call heads or tails. So those are the that's the point system. How to play uh pretty much a lot of that explain how to play. Answer these to the best of your ability. Timing. Choose who goes first. We can flip a coin. Uh, set everything up. Four samples poured, ready to go. Player one starts the timer, starts drinking. Sample A writes down their answers. Player two cannot start until player one. It's like I chess. guess I go first then. Yeah. It's like chess. Player two cannot start until player one has started their turn. Don't turn that on and start it because you can't reset it without turning it back off. Okay. Player ends their turn when they click the timer, stopping the timer. Player can only write down answers when it's their turn. No Sorry. pen in hand during not turn. These are rules. If you break them, you lose, he said. A player can change their answers only when it's their turn. When player two finishes their last answer, stop the timer, points are tallied, questions are counted. Okay. The finish. On the answer sheet, there's a list of finishes that were used. Only pick finishes from that list. I used four different finishes. Okay. So, here we go. Roger, I'm way smarter than you. Know that. Okay. You, you okay? Yeah. I'm just. Oh, you're figuring out how it works? Yeah. Like a chess timer. Yeah, I know. Like how you'd think. I played with it earlier. So, yeah. So, this. That's your side? Yeah. So, when I click it over there, it'll yep. start my timer. Okay. Shoo! Let me pour mine before you do it. Why? You can just do a while. Because then, no, because when you hit it, it's my turn right away. You see what I'm saying? I think soon I can as, pause it. As soon as you, when you hit it, I go. This is a race. Yeah, but I'm not going to get done in the next minute. I don't know, bro. You, It's a timed game. It's literally a fucking foot race. All right, you already got them. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a little light on this one, chat. I can I go? No. Why? Ooh, I'm I, not gonna get through. Can I be honest? I like that it's nine a fucking race timer. Wise. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Optional six. Right. That's twenty four answers. I'm not getting twenty four off before we can pour two more whiskeys. You don't have to answer all those. Can I start? No, you gotta flip the other way, and I'll start. It doesn't start till you flip it. One of them. That, you that's your timer now. Some of these are dark. Oh, yeah. So, it looked like they're taking a test. Roger, listen. I'm about to ace it, if you know what I'm saying. Here. All right. It says, on the answer sheet, there's a list of finishes that were used. I don't think I'm supposed to list. On the answer sheet, there are a list of questions related to the sample. Are we supposed to look at the answer sheet beforehand? Uh, that sounds like fun now that I'm already ripping it. Well, there's... So here's... A, there's this thing that says answer sheets. But then there's answers for each one individually with letters on them. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to flip back and forth. Yeah, all those rules and Sean's confused by a timer. True. Oh, he gave us this. We didn't have to write it down. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Well. Whoa, what the fuck? For uh, finish sake, these are your options, by the way, on the finish. Oh, that'd yeah. be great. You can rewrite because that wasn't on. Well, great. I mean, I'm already. Don't go to B. Why? You only do A. Oh, Okay. Somebody didn't listen to the rules, chat. Somebody didn't listen to the rules. Matt, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I don't really have a better way to... Stop touching it. I'm trying to make it better for you, asshole. You're a minute 44 and you ain't got shit done. What's up, Trev? How you doing, sexy? This game's stressing me out. Roger, no, no, no. It, 
once we get ripping, it all makes sense. It really does. What it's not very complicated. Basically, guess the finish age proof, bourbon, rye, or whiskey. If it's distilled in Kentucky, yes or no. If it's a distillery, or what distillery it's it's made from. If you guess that, you can lose three points though, so you don't have to guess that. And then time. Oh, Sean's got two fifteen into sample one. Fuck, oh, I'm gonna crush him. This is hard. Um, dude, it's another time to vet. Matt taught me how to do these, and I did well the first time. Well, I mean, I also was going blind, and then you're like, oh, by the way, here are all the fucking finishes. I didn't know either. Yeah, but it didn't count against you. I'm not. It, you know what? Here. There we go. You want to get them out? Let me know when you feel sufficient about this. Go ahead. Cool. Okay, sounds good. Fucking asshole. I'm trying to help you. I looked in the answer sheets with a risk of finding <laughs> answers, dude. No, it says answer sheets. Right. Why didn't you open it then? No, you opened it. These are clearly, very clearly labeled A, B, C, and D. I already explained all this to chat while you were drinking. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yep. Excuse me, sir? <laughs> oh, that has more flavors than I'd like in my whiskey, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, Wasn't Sean in a hurry to start? Well, clearly, because he didn't listen to half the rules, right? He tried. He thought he was going to have to go A through D before he stopped the timer. Yeah, I thought it was the whole thing. Southern Dan is my impersonation is my favorite, Ryan. All right. I like it, too, honestly. Have a good time with it. This is hard, actually. Yep. There's a lot of questions, which is what makes it so difficult. Mm -hmm. Grant, shut up. Here. Damn. Sean was almost done by now, if I'm being honest with you guys. 215 really fucking flies by, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know if that's the right proof or if I'm drinking it too fast. You know what I'm saying? I've had four I can tell you mine's row. wildly different. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, Do you know those Clyde Mays? I didn't, I forgot to tell you this. Those Clyde Mays were 102. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Fuck. That one was I found out after too. the video, so it didn't yeah. matter, but. Um, because uh, I'm I'm stuck in my mind about the Burr Rye from Friday. Sure. Yeah. Uh, because it, it drank super spicy, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. I can change this. I got to be within five to get a point there. You're allowed to change when it's your turn. Oh, that's weird. He's, well, if you listen to the rules, you would have heard that. Um. Man, it's so light, which makes me think it's not bourbon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's hard. You know what? Bourbon and whiskey might be hard. Yep. I don't have a guess on distillery on that. I passed on that one. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm passing on that too. I don't. I can't afford to lose three off the rip. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I, I need didn't to do score it. And I go fucking three. first. <laughs> I need to score three. All right. So I I got to do finish age Beats proof. Being that. I'm so happy watching you guys play my game. Hope you enjoy. Yes, dude. Thank you for sending it. It's fucking awesome. Made in Kentucky distillery. Okay, not doing it. Done. Done. Age done, proof. Done. I just need finish. finish. Okay. Yeah. You are now a minute and 30 seconds past me. You get two points then? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I like it. You gave me well, shit. White. Done. Fucking yep. pause her. No. I paused it. No. You got to fucking flip it. No, we, no, we did. He said, you didn't listen to the instructions. He said, go through the scores and then move to the next glass. Shut your dumb mouth. I think These we got to. I don't. It's okay. Turn off. Turn it back on. That's all we got. There's a switch on the bottom. Hey, it's gonna be. Hey, no, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through this together. I don't know how to start though. You guys need, okay. Do you, have you guys ever seen some of the worst anger issues? Go ahead. Sean playing a game. I said port, six years, ninety eight proof. I said bourbon. I said no, but I should have said yes. I thought it was angels. Angels, it's all finished. It's not that light. It can't be that clear. All angels is dark. Even the cheap no, it shit. isn't. The cheap yeah. shit isn't. The cheap shit is light. dark because it's port finished. What'd you say? I said white wine. I sent that one into oblivion, buddy. When I looked down and saw that time, I went, ah, that's <laughs> Chardonnay. I don't know, man. White wine, eight years. So that's pretty close. You said six. Yeah. Uh, I said 108 proof. Scratch out a 114 on her. Yep. Uh, I think drink. White I drink wine it. would fit. 
because we had that um, the the Chardonnay. See the redwood, redwood, and that I was weird. This that. is kind of funky and sparkly. Yeah, it's probably not finished at all. So I'm sure we're both right. Uh, I did bourbon as well. What as do we you? write if there is no finish? Wait, are they all finished? I don't know. Hey, they've got to they all, all be finished? finished because not finished is not an answer up here. <laughs> Dan, Sean seems like a sore loser. Chino, you have no <laughs> fucking clue, buddy. Glad you guys enjoyed the gift list. Glad I sent you. Thanks for the review. It's awesome, man. Jason, that was amazing. And now we want to do a a, a pay. So oh, thank on you, the amazing buddy. race would be priceless. Yes, it would be. Oh, no. I would literally rather jump out of the airplane without a parachute than do that <laughs> race with Sean. I'll let you. <laughs> oh. hey, dude, we're at our third hey, airplane. He said they're all finished. He said they're, they're all finished. finished. Okay, thank you, buddy. We're at our third airplane. I'm ready to send all it right, off. All right, so you also said board, bourbon. Not, can, not Kentucky. Not Kentucky. So. You and I had three, two of the same answers. What is it? He's, That's not even no, fit. No, he, no, he said on here, umbrella terms for cognac is brandy, chardonnay is white wine, etc. How about Armagnac? Armagnac would be red wine. Is Armagnac red wine? It's not tequila. It is a 113.7 proof. Should have kept it. I guess one for days. It is made in Kentucky. Fuck it's me. It's 18 years old. Oh, it's a barrel then. Yeah, barrel it's product. barrel. It's, can it, it's, not, it's whiskey. It's not bourbon then. No. Did we get any fucking points? Is it whiskey? I got points. Motherfucker, I whiskey guess. Whiskey finished. Armagnac What'd is, you get points for? Uh, proof. I'm within no. five. Oh, I thought you had to be closer than that. If you're within, if you're exact, you get three. Within three, you get two. Uh, five is one. So you get a point. Uh, check a point. Um, I one said, zero. <laughs> unfortunately, I know Armagnac is not white wine. Apparently, it's brandy. Armagnac um, is brandy. Okay. 18. You know what? It's weird because I wrote a one. You just didn't see it in front of the eight. Oh. Yeah, I wrote a one. I guess Eight, let me look six. At this. 18 years old, my asshole. I mean, I should have guessed old because it's fucking wild as fuck, but it's so goddamn light. Barrel Craft Spirits, private release, Kentucky whiskey finish and Armagnac cask. Made in Kentucky. We both said not, damn it, it's not Kentucky whiskey. Oh, I get two for time on that one. He does. I can confirm. He gets two for time. Let me check it. <laughs> he gets two for time. One, two. <laughs> Two to one. <laughs> Come to find out, everybody, this is only a foot race now. It has nothing to do with our guesses. Just reset it every time. Yeah, that's fine. Ready? You want, you Was want? it supposed to be at a total or just each one? I guess I I had that wrote down just in case it's that. No, because he, he mentioned if it takes you two minutes and Sean two forty five or whatever. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Ready? You want loser or winner go first? Uh, you just want to switch it up every time. We can switch it. Okay. We just assumed you went first the first time. I did. We're supposed to flip a coin on it. Rip it. You gotta push and it. fucking ship it, bro. All right, fucking asshole. Now you have a whole second. I know that's gonna make. I'm break fucking it. behind. It's gonna make or break it. <sighs> oh, oh my. I, okay, so these are all finished. So I need to consider when you smell them that they're all finished. Uh, Jason, I have two points. Thank you very much. Because Dan took a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's butterscotch candy. What the hell tastes like that? I just, I don't, I don't want to re-drink that. I don't. I'm in a place where I don't want to re-drink it. I think I know what exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I can't, I, when you taste this, you're gonna be like, what in the actual fuck happened in my mouth? How many were there? It smells fantastic now that it's kind of chilled out a sec. I know exactly. I, I'm guessing distillery, bro. I'm oh. guessing. Oh, we're going big. I got to. You're up by two. No, you're <laughs> up by one. Yep. Don't look at my answers. Okay. Just guess you fucking asshole. I'm just getting ready. What is this? Fi- my, it's throwing me off. Oh, I'm a minute in. It's throwing me off that it's um finished. You're going to smell this and go, it's definitely finished. No shit. In bullshit. <laughs> Oh, you're not within five. You're 5.7 away. Thank you. Who the fuck in chat's doing that? <laughs> this is... Ed. Tu- it's Tuesday night, Ed. <laughs> to have a I drink. Do math. And shut up, Ed. 2 Ed. zero. <laughs> Fucking Ed, bro. I swear. You know what? Scratched up my point. Two minutes. <laughs> you interrupted me to scratch my own point, which makes it worse. Okay. <sighs> Got most of them guessed. 
I'm sure this is fucking. I guess that's it's the old Protec I got, bro. operator, TR3. People keep asking me what that knife is. I'm like, it's a Protec. It's a Protec. It's a Protec. It's an op. It's an operator. I can't wait till I get my Vero. Vero? Yeah. About six more months. <laughs> <laughs> Finished in Werther's Original. Wait till you drink that. I've never had a butterscotch flavored whiskey in my life. You might make this a little bit faster than round one, though. I am, because I'm almost done. Dude, it's got to be. They're all finished, which is throwing Dan, me off. Yeah, Zachary, we'll look at Dan's chicken scratch after this. What's my chicken scratch? My you writing. Oh. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, Done. 13, point seven. Bitch. Oh, I'm a great chess player. You guys see the reaction time on that shit? Why are the pens and paper out? This is so Michigan. Well, <sighs> Will or Grease, whatever you your oh. guys' names is are. Isn't that wild? Bro, did that throw you for a loop for a quick sec? <laughs> I didn't realize that was one of them. Is that what you wrote? No, but oh. I don't hate that guess at all. I don't hate that at all because it's very funky. What's up? Will and Grease. Or, well, it's probably not both of you. I can't imagine you two are sitting together. It's probably the wrong way to put it. Are you guys ready to get your shit pushed in a few days? I don't think it's scheduled yet, but it will be. I almost started talking shit to you in on an Instagram message the other day because you were talking shit, and then I thought, I'll just save it for the video. <laughs> okay. I'll take the two points. <laughs> Is that three points? One to three minutes. What's up? 145, two and a half-ish. Okay, it's only two. Thank God. All right. Two minutes gets me. Two points. Two points, right? Fuck me. You're going first next time. Yeah. That's way easier than you go second when you know no you, shit. you get points on time. Come to find out we we're both going to be wrong. Okay. B. Are you ready? And go through your answers first. Okay. I said tequila finish. I said rum. Uh, seven years. 15. 100 proof. 118. Whiskey. Whiskey. No. Nope. <laughs> no distillery. Didn't guess. guess the distillery? Nah. Dickle. <laughs> Dick, it's so dickle. On this episode of Savant Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I, I was just going, I thought I got extra for extra time. I might have gone back at it again. <laughs> okay, so Will or Grease? Uh, it's Grease. It's, I'm, I'm assuming it's Grease hanging out. Could be Saul Turner finish. Dude, that's, I don't know about that. That's something. It's funky as shit, man. Okay, listen. Grease, we got a game, right, that was sent to us. And we got to guess the finish age-proof bourbon rye or whiskey if the distillery is in Kentucky that sells it and where the actual distillery is or, like, what distillery it is. And then we get points for time. We have a timer. It's like a chess timer. We get points for time. And then whoever answers more questions gets to roll the dice. And, and there's if there's a, a, tie ball, a tie ball game, we get to fucking flip it. It's a whole thing, dude. All right, what do we got? Oh, that's why it's so funky. Damn it, we were both wrong. Bardstown Bourbon Company, Pfeiffer Favit Reserve. Um, uh, red wine red finish. Wine. Yep. It's 10 years old. You I, say? I get a point. I was 15. One to five? Mm -hmm. I don't know where the fucking rules are at. Oh, we're so bad at this, dude. You get two points or seven points or something? Oh, you get minus three. You guess Dickel. Fuck. This is not. What's going the proof well. on it? Hundred. I get that point too. I'm, what did you get? I get on at a hundred. You get five points. Proof exact gets me three. Three points. So that's one, two, three. I get two for time. Fifty-two to two fifty-nine. One, two. So you got four, five, six, seven. To what? <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> What's the minus three ring? You now do zero. <laughs> <laughs> so negative, negative two. one, negative two. You get, get one for age. Why? You had one before, didn't? Oh, you we we had to I scratched that it. point. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. Yeah. And I'll give you the point seven. So minus two. Now here's what I will say. Uh, Woo! Five, <laughs> you're gonna need that dice roll, here, baby. Now here's what I will say, and I don't know the rules on this, so if you're in chat still, please clarify. It is okay. dickle. So do you get to roll each round? No. No. To beat you with the most attempted answer questions, it doesn't matter if you got them right. We'll get to roll all the dice. Of them. Overall. It's just an overall thing. 
You can't, to his final score. Right. Okay. Yeah, so it's just overall. once. So now I got to try to guess fucking distillery at some point. What's the rules on this? Do I get distillery I get or seven. no? Distillery is a big swing for me. I don't know if I get it. Why would you get it? It's, it's Dickel. It's known Dickel. But it's Bardstown. But it's sold by Bardstown. So when he said it's, do you guess the distillery? Do you guess where it came from or who sells it? Because the Kentucky one is who sells oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Can I get a little credit and guess the Dickel on that? That's not bad. I didn't like it's it. Finished so I just fucking ripped it's her. It's finished yeah. Dickel. That's not bad. So the first one. Listen. Maybe. What was it? Oh, it, was, uh, it could be. They source from five places yeah. now, though. Who sells it? Okay. All right. Oh. Well, that's not the man who... Yeah, uh, he sells it. Who sells yeah, it? it? Okay. Beef paying it. <laughs> Suck it. Damn, I guess so, Dickel, too. So Fuck me, man. It, Matt said, of course you got the distillery. Bro, it's Dickel. It's mm. Schmickle. Did you say, mm? No, I'm right, actually, for real. It's your turn. Ready? All right. Ready? Set? Go. Well. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Anticlimactic. Oh, damn, Yeah, bro. so this will make my timer run. You ready? Yep. I can't believe I guessed Dickel and I'm right. Fucking A, I'm good at this. Grease, I'm a little behind, buddy. I'm like negative two. Sean's um, positive nine-ish. Catch a niner in there. Um, You know, it's just not. Dickel bourbon's not bad. I haven't had a good one yet, Graham. Mike, I, Sean's beating me, but I just guessed the distillery right. Fuck, man. Dimitri, I just did the, we just opened that tonight, buddy. At the very beginning of this, um, we drank a Driftless Glen. Right after we drank that Driftless Glen, we opened that lot for you and talked about it. Robotics said that Sean won't appreciate this, but I do. Robotics said that should be six point for guessing the distillery behind the distillery. Real talk. How are you not impressed? I agree. I agree. Oh, it's my turn. Go ahead. <laughs> See? Woo! All right. Oh, it smells like shit. Hater gonna hate. You think it smells good? Yeah. Did you say meow? If you took a distinct Tennessee bourbon, George Dickel, aged it for nine years and then finished it in Piper Vat, Cab Solve in all barrel for 19 months, you'd have the Bardstown Piper Vat. And I'd still guess Dickel somehow. Figure that yeah. out. I was confident enough to guess the distillery, which is a bummer, but Dickel hasn't ever finished a whiskey, so I shouldn't have guessed it. Dickel's never finished anything. Barrels. No, I was going to say they sell it. Bardstown has finished And then people were like, fuck, how do we make this taste yeah. better? I shouldn't have guessed Dickel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is no Caribou Crossing to bail Dan out in this game. I guess Dickel. Like, that's a little impressive. Like, I don't get points. I agree. I'm on board. I get the rules. But it's a little... It's not a lucky guess. I fucking wrote it down right off the rip. He wrote Schmickle. <laughs> <laughs> the that, fuck does that, that mean? That real doesn't count? Okay. Uh, Tabasco Taba finish was not on this list. I don't even think that's real Dickel. They're saying that's the that's the finished Dickel. That's not real Dickel. That's oh. hot sauce. Okay. Oh, my gosh, man. That's that's something. That's I like the how that tastes way more than I like uh got my two already. No, you don't. Yeah, time. No, you don't have two on points on time right now. Why not? You're not a minute and a half up. I gotta be a minute and a half? I didn't read Forty five seconds per point. Oh okay. No. Getting my one though. I like this one on the palette the most so far. 15-year dickel is actually good. The other dickels I used to clean my jewelry. <laughs> done. Oh, doesn't matter. All right, he gets one point for time. I guess. Yeah, literally. You're one minute up. That's one point. Fucking cheater. Okay. C, what were your answers? I went with port. Same. 12 years. Exact same. 93. 108. <laughs> right. Oh, I went whiskey just because I didn't know, and I saw the timer, and I said I have to write something, so I wrote and whiskey. And then I said yes. Me too. Guess. I feel like this is going to be the first. This is no. a bummer because I can't get any <laughs> points on Sean. Unless it's whiskey. And You know what? Just fucking scratch it, buddy. <laughs> nah, you won this one. <laughs> nah, you won the game. Give me the nah. we're, not reading, me, we're not reading notes the anymore. Fucking... Where's the lighter? I will light this on fire before I hand this bullshit to <laughs> your fucking dumb face. 
<laughs> High Wire, something you and I have never heard of. High okay. Wire New Southern Revival Tawny Port Finish Rye Whiskey. Port. You and I both get port. Rye. Proof. Port. Uh, 90. 90. So that three is two points? No, three right. is two. Yep. Three is two. I have it written down right here. Okay. Three is two. One, two. Um, you and I can both knock the one off the age because it's two years old. Two? And you and I both. Guessed. I just fucking balled out because these two were both ultra age. Right. Same. And it's dark. It tastes Oh, great. I actually, that's actually a, a little tick in front of my 12. Same. <laughs> Not same. You guessed the distillery too, huh? Please start. Kentucky? <laughs> South Carolina. All right. Nothing there. I guess high wire. Thank God. So I get, <laughs> I get three. Um, one, two, it is a rye. You got a point for calling uh, rye too. Yeah, just yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Duh. Negative one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to rock a six at the end here. I need to literally, if I clear the fucking board right now, <laughs> I can almost catch up, man. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you get to go first on this one, too. Just fucking rip it, bro. I feel like... Is there not a way to fucking... No, I couldn't figure it out. Rip it, because I'm going to smell this right now. Okay, what? I like how you're cheating. Listen, does it fucking matter? I literally don't know if I can win with any amount of points. I just dump whiskey all over my fucking book. That's where we're at in life. All over the fucking place. Uh, Dan, so you're saying. A <laughs> there is a chance. I don't know if that's true. I'm only 13 ahead. <laughs> you have to answer more, right? And get the roll of the dice. Well, I mean, you've already answered more, so you can get six off that. So you just need to make up like... At least we both guessed the finish right on that one. Seven-ish. Finally. Yeah. Oh, I know the finish on that one. 100%. Do you? Nope. I think you said that about B. <laughs> I literally said, I know what B is. I was right. I got punished for it. That's no, where we're at. You didn't know the finish. No, thought, no, no. I thought that's what you said you knew. Oh, no. I said I know what whiskey this is. This is fun. Burn begins when Dan is timed. He's no good. I Did you not watch Matt's stream? Because I clap shit. I mean, Bobby down. got like 400 points. And a different scoring. Oh, Fuck you. No, I'm it doesn't matter. Do this. It does matter. Yeah, that is true, Zachary. <clears throat> there's no way there's 60 likes. Typically, typically, when Dan gets like this, he smashes a mouse or a keyboard. That's fair, actually. That's or both. Fair. What's up, Abby? Abby who winks. Message retracted. This Even really, she this is really good. was disappointed. Whatever this is, this is really good. Okay. This is my favorite one, easily. Oh, that was good. That felt good. It was about that. Holy shit, this is going to be the fastest we ever get a fucking game done. Yeah. Throw that out there. Yep. Or a whiskey war. <laughs> he was like, you know what? The only way that is getting done tonight, timer. I don't know where the, I think this came from. I don't know where it is. I don't know where they're located. All right, I'm done. I don't know where that's at. You fucking... Yeah, what? I just saw him look. I was looking at your time. I saw him look. Okay. Springer. Sean has 47 points to Dan's negative three. Sean, this is fun. This one's good. This is not nickel. It's really sweet. It's very, very nice. This is a great idea to include the timer. We're going to keep this timer. If you guys would like to implement this timer in games, you send us. Let us know. <laughs> the timer's so much fun. We could literally, timer's a must here. I kind of agree, Mike. We could, like, switch it up. Like, you only get two minutes, kind of like Matt's game. That'd be cool too. So I'll get you. Sh you should have taken more time, honestly. I don't really fucking matter, it does it? I'll take my point for the timer. Skirt, skirt. Sean had a free eighteen seconds on the timer. Yeah, and didn't take it. Nope. Well, I think I undercut proof too. Abby, I'm happy to hear it. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. D for. I think we guy. should always use the timer. D, oh, you weren't listening. No, we just had I was actually thinking. I just said we should use the timer <clears throat> for everything. Timer or timer guesses. Last place didn't win. These are just my guesses. I scored probably fucking flat zero in this game. I said brandy, cherry. I thought it was really sweet, so I think very like sweet. Apple brandy. Either, I think it's either brandy or cherry. Those are my guesses. Uh, eight year, twelve. 108 proof. 120. Yeah, I think I undercut it. I should have guessed like I 112. Said I said whiskey is also. I think it's bourbon. I said no. I think it's Joseph <laughs> Magnus, but I didn't write that. 
Oh. I literally can't afford to. I mean, you could. You stick it a dice roll. It's barrel. Barrel, Oloroso Craft Spirits, Private Release, Kentucky Whiskey, Finish, and Oloroso Sherry. Yep. You got that, right? Yep. Yep. I get... Age? Sherry. Neither of us get age. It's 18. Jesus Christ. All their shit's old. That's Fine. how it works. Um, I get proof. It's 120.8. Really? I guess 120. I get whiskey because it's whiskey. whiskey. It is made in Kentucky. No. I need to know if the rules allow me to get three points one. for the proof or what? Two points because I'm within point eight. I think it says exactly. Check it. Uh, no, he's in chat. We'll exact ask him. proof. Three points. I guessed 120. It's 120.8. Well, I mean, if we were going to round, Let it'd be 121. Know. Let me know. You know what? You take it. You take it. He said I get three. Fuck you, Sean. I. Okay. I get to roll the dice. You do. I need a six, I think. I don't think it matters. Fuck. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. How many points do you have? Oh, God. Off, off the time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> off time? <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I, seven plus six is fifteen. Nope. What is it? Twelve? <laughs> thirteen, sorry. So, this is why we're bad at math. This is an eight. This is an eight <laughs> side. I get two rolls, they said. <laughs> uh, what are the rules now? I just roll it? Yup. One. Five. Fiver? Good for you. 12 points. No, because I didn't subtract the three from the seven, so I got nine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, give me the three, though, right? For guessing nine. dickle? You got nine fucking give points. Give me the three for the dickle. You know what I'm saying? With the three. No, no, because that's a six-point swing, though. Okay. So it's not just three, it's six. You'd be at 12. That's not bad, though. But that's getting five points from rolling. That's acceptable, though. That's getting 12 you points. You got seven points from time? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Damn, dude. Oh, I'm getting some D&D real estate. <laughs> this is fucking, this is a blast for real. I like this. Also, I don't know what to do you. with all my fucking time. Thank Minus five for Sean guessing distillery wrong. I didn't guess distillery once, bitch. <laughs> Sean's a little bitch. Dude, three points is a fucking hell of a swing. Six point swing, literally. Yeah. It's a sixer. Yeah. Either way you look at it. You get wrong, negative three. Get right, big big three. Six point fucking swing. Feels now, good to really win when nothing's on the line. I really think, realistically, you should have made a bet with me because I would have taken it right off the rip. Drink the worst shit in the hot. You want to drink the worst I shit would have. You didn't make the bet. Thank God. Um. Okay. Listen. What I believe is because I picked not only the I picked the sourced distillery, like the source. Yeah. I think I should get nine for that. <laughs> I think I should get nine. Give or take. Give or take. I'll give you eight. How about that? You know what? Seven. If you guess the source distillery, these are my rules to this game now. If you guess the source distillery, what were you actually at six, nine. No. No, I was at nine for. I finished at nine with oh. the negative three in there. Okay. So. What's up, Night Angel? How's it going, buddy? Listen, what I, what I think is... Whiskey Wonder Podcast in here just plugging their shit. Okay. So anyways, what I think is you should... I said 13, Eric. If, I corrected it. If you, he, Sean said thir 12, then said 13, then said this is why we're bad at math. Yeah. Now, this being said, if I think if you pick the source's source... Oh, my gosh. Hear me out. Just hear me out. I think it wipes all time points for the other person at the time. I think that's a good rule. And I think most people in chat agree. <laughs> Close chat. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make up a rule. I'm going to be where honest. That was fun. It would help me out. That was a fun game. Well, I mean. Okay. Quick maths. <laughs> if you would have picked the distillery one of them came from, I'd be like, that's pretty impressive. Now, do you get points? Unfortunately, no. But it is impressive at least. Too much. I'm just saying I, what I did was slightly. I'd rather it. see a minus one oh, or plus one. three. Hey, this last one's easily the best one. Number four. Or yeah. uh, D. So yeah. what? I agree. Is it this one? The barrel and sherry. Barrel and Oloroso sherry that's 18 years old, 120.8 proof made in Kentucky. Yeah, I'd rather see a plus three minus one. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. What? When when there's a little pressure, a little pressure on the line, a little pressure on the savant, turns into a diamond. It's just really easy to, to rip time, though, with you. No, I know that, because I read chat. 
and I'm a, not a bad person. Now, here's what I'm trying to say right now. When there's a little Thanks, pressure Grant. now, after the same thing happened when you lost to Will on Matt's yeah. stream, I thought. Oh, I just went straight for time in the last one. Clearly, because I because it didn't matter if you got two. Well, if you get two points, yeah, I could get zero. points. I don't think it. Oh no! Rule. Drink something nice to celebrate. <laughs> listen, listen. Hold on. What I want to say was when you lost to Will. Yep. I felt in my heart. The BJ's can't be out round one, and I right. I really thought you were gonna win. I didn't want you to. Came, but I thought came you down were that last win. fucking question. Well, it didn't. Had to get the just, wrong way. No, you, it didn't come down the last question. I you should have also. Yep, yep. Did so, that. what I wanted to say was, I felt the pressure, and I pulled out a niner, and Grease cheated. Right? We can all agree on everything I just said. Didn't he pull out a niner? Yeah, a but bottle. he got five on like just from catching one the bottle. point. Yeah. yeah. So he pulled out a fake niner. We'll call it right. So. Then you guys, tonight, you guys throw those together. You barely beat Bob. Bobby <laughs> had two age questions, which are both worth four points. Yeah, we had one age question. Mm -hmm. He can get eight points off two questions. We can't. See how this works? Fucking fuck. Listen to me right now. What I want to say is, I felt a little pressure on D score. I'm, we're down in the books. Yeah, I got a Babe Ruth. It. I'm calling him a shot. I went Sherry proof on the dot whiskey. Not on the dot. On twenty point eight. Fuck to be on you! The I'm not guessing points. <clears throat> you know what? I'm a chemist. Nope. I'm an engineer, not a chemist. I don't need decimal points, dude. <laughs> Grease did we cheat. We don't fucking use Grease, those. Are you still in here? You fucking cheater. Should have a minimum time, like one minute. That's fair. I mean, realistically, if Sean would have started his, smelled it, drank it, wrote nothing, <laughs> he would have won. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that is due I, I, to I think me. I got one off that again. is due to the first. Like, basically, the first and second one. I got four points out. Yeah, Sean got four points off the first and second one. Drink some Blade and Bow 22. Do it, bitch. Okay. That's not what I would pick, but... I mean, it's not what I'm going to pick. I'm right. Gonna, I'm going to butt chug that cock. <laughs> okay. Oh. King of Kentucky. I literally... You fucking weirdo. I had and I know it's over there. Like, oh, 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 oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was so aggressively sexual and then thought, oh, King Kentucky. King Kentucky. Sean's talking about King Kentucky. Sean's bad <laughs> on that one. Sean's bad. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Half the people don't even know we have King Kentucky. <laughs> oh, King Kentucky, kids. Hey, that was a blast of a game. Thank you for sending oh, that, man. You missed Stanley Wagner Jr. Super Chat, and I'm a good person. You're a bad person, so. What a miss. He's on your team, and I know that. It was a long time ago. Right there, I found it. So I'm late. Why does Dan look like he's going to cry because he's losing? There's no possible way a whiskey board is already over Fair and Dan guess. got destroyed. Is we it? A, yeah. We had a timer. I love the timer, dude. <sighs> so while you were drinking uh, your last one, what I said was, if you guys want to, if you guys want to send us a game and implement the timer, just oh let us yeah, know. just let us know. Uh, I gotta shut you like the fuck the, down. I like the timer because I couldn't do it for Matt's thing. Because I swear to God, every time me and Will would start, you or Grease would be like. Let's fucking yeah! This is, this is you're missing it. Yeah, and I'm not blaming you, but it was grease every fucking time. Yeah, <laughs> but no, no, but you include me I, in that nonsense. So I can turn you off a lot easier than grease. Right. So blame grease. Yeah, like we all did. Like right? I didn't hear a fucking word you <laughs> right, said. Exactly. And I was like, oh, I like Dude, this. You're one, like, you missed a conversation. One time you were like sniffing, smelling, drinking. Yeah. And I said, nor in a normal voice, not a grease voice. I said yeah. in a normal voice, I'm like, hey, grease, did you do this thing? Like, ask the genuine question. You got done, you're like, you motherfucker over here, dick, <laughs> I'm like, bro, Grease has been half naked for three hours, twisting his nipples on a stream, screaming into your mic, and uh, I'm sitting here like an adult. Everybody actually complimented me on how adult I was on Matt's stream for the first time ever. Grease cheated worse than Dan <laughs> on a business trip to Ann Arbor. Okay. Wow, you don't proofread shit. No, I you. wanted to read that out. I knew where it was going as soon as he said cheated because he said it 14 times. Listen, if there's a dude in Ann Arbor with a big beard... Then hell, you know? It is what it is. Justin said even the mute couldn't stop Grease. Yeah. yeah. It, listen, and, and you know what? And I loved every second of it, and he cheated. That's Maybe all you don't say butt chug and cock in the same sentence. You know what? Sometimes you just got to like, that's it. fair, buddy. Like that's an adult. Fair statement. Dan, you were an adult, see? But and then he's hashtag team No, chug. he's your team, and he's yes, still sir. saying I was an adult. Yeah. Which you got to understand. Oh, I he's... lump you in with Grease, though. I know that, night. but that's unfair. You versus Grease. You were both on it. I agree with you, but yeah. it's on what I'm telling you, unfair. I tell you what, you kick Grease out, me and Will score 100 points. 
<clears throat> or or 99%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give we got every question. Give me the same flight. I guarantee I get we're, most of them. We dag on them every question. I don't even, even know. Fucking crazy. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I mean, that's not, you're not wrong, huh? Dan, drink that yellow label behind your head since you lost. Is it the fucking bullshit right here? Because I'm not drinking that. Kessler's. I'm not drinking Kessler's. I almost said McAllen. I'm like, nah. As bad as Grease cheated, let's admit watching Matt mute him repeatedly. I had a blast on that stream. I had an absolute blast. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill that. Yeah, we, have we are. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't think we're getting one of those, but we should kill that bottle. Yeah. Sean held up a CYPB and said, "Some way we have to kill that because it's like probably a third, maybe a little less, maybe quarter." Yeah. You think we got an hour? Yep, an hour. We got four twenty minutes. ADHD oh. almost blew his top over Grease's <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't know what Alec Bradley's are over there. Is there a blind faith? If there's a blind faith, that's what I want. Chino said, is there a Prince Otto? Yes. Chino said, how is it I put down my earbuds and hear you across the room yelling at Sean? That's fair. Well, I was being greased, though. That's why. Tiny Sauce Fiber for Sean to PM me that bum chug video. <laughs> All right. Hit up Tiny Sauce. I chose not to go. What, Bov? Why would you talk about Sean like that, Bov? That's so rude. Trevor should have a standing rule. Winner picks a bottle chug for the loser. I agree with that rule. Sean did it last week, but we made the bet before the the whiskey war. We have like a couple more. We have, I think, two more games right below my foot right now to play. Maybe we get both those games done next week. We just rip both of them. I thought this game would take longer because there was it was so involved, but the timer sped it up like a mother. What time is it? Ten forty. Trucker. Nope. Sean almost got to a forty-five degree angle squatting before he started to feel pain. Yep. Can we Matt. listen? I heard that Grease didn't Matt say on a stream that. Grease is being punished for his uh, thing last time. Hey, will you grab me that Traverse City Barrel Proof? That's by the scotch. I meant, I meant for that to be over here, but it's not. Right in the middle. Dead center. Oh, wow. It's the only one that stands out. Bove check? All right. Fucking Bove. Bove said he wasn't coming to Whiskey Weekend Batch 4 because you were going to attend. That's fair. I said that was very rude of him. Fuck that guy. He didn't say your name. I just made an assumption. Oh. All the bottles behind you constantly rotating. Why? Uh, you know, we, we rearrange the shelves from 10 to 10. The last Prinsado in the hut that we can find. Nope, I'll put it I that definitely way. have one in my uh, chest, too. Second last Prinsado in the hut tonight. There's probably some in your chest also. Tomorrow, there will be one less Prinsado in the hut, too. Will there, Dan? So you can smoke a quarter of a cigar and then just let it go out? I did smoke a quarter of a cigar today. Two of them. I didn't. I didn't no, no, no. The other one's from a different day. Um, I lit that one. I don't know who it's from. I've never seen that sticker <laughs> before, but it said premium cigar in the wrapper. Wasn't, wasn't Zachary premium. Jones, he did not. Oh, Zach, he kept messaging me and telling me to get like a Warzone dub for Sean for Mother's Day. Like a bunch of shit. He wanted me to get you a gift for Mother's Day. You didn't give me shit. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> All right. You know what next Tuesday's stream is? My birthday. But. It's on my birthday. I was yeah. like, holy shit. It's funny as last year we streamed on my birthday. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, Tempest Natural with the four rows of single barrel. Probably is great. You okay? This is uh, 2020 OFBB. I figured I'd just throw yeah, that with a little blind faith. We were talking about it I, earlier, and I found one in so, my, uh, my chest. So don't open that yet, because okay. I want you to try this. Try I bought what? this like three years ago at the distillery before we knew anything about Traverse City. Ricky and I were up on a wine trip, and I stopped by, and I bought this bottle when I was there, right? Okay. I want you to smell this. This is the craziest shit, uh, like, on the planet. Happy birthday, Jamie. She said mid midnight's her birthday. You going to sing it? Well, we're going to have to kill that bottle tonight. Holy fucking death Jamie. if you do. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Oh, no, that night. Not, not this night. Her birthday's next week, idiot. You didn't read the whole sentence. Oh, well, Okay. That wasn't up there when I was looking. All I saw was my birthday at midnight that night. That night. I didn't see that. I like how you I read two I love that you reread it out loud and you were still an idiot. Okay. So, will you turn the overhead on? Also, yeah, just smell ripper. this real quick. 
Well, that's a little high, probably. Ah, eh, they'll let us know if it's loud. Like letting her that's eat. a lot more whiskey than I thought. I didn't want it in that. Thank you. I got another one if you want. There's two clean ones right there. Hate you. Thank you. I was going to put this in there. That's fine. There's two clean ones. Just I wash four of them. Bottle chug it. What is? What year is that? 2020. It's the 18. Or, yeah, the new one. 18. It's gold, I think baby. We're, what, I think we're in 2018 right now? I don't. I don't. You were like, what this year, 2018? Right now? That came out four I days ago? I literally don't know the last time we've ever had a game done that fast. Well, there's a timer. You add a little chess timer, and you give somebody points for quitting, which is what he did. Gave you points for quitting. Um, that was a, I, for real, it was a blast. I mean, to beat your ass, not a big deal or anything. Like, embarrassing amounts. But I wasn't going to say that. Hey, see you guys on Matt's stream in a couple Fridays. Sean won't be there. You can be here. I'm oh, not, I'll be there. I'm not streaming out here. I'm going to a remote location. Oh, no, you're not. I am. No, you're not. Oh, I'm intentionally. Because you want to fuck with me, but I didn't fuck with you. I genuinely wanted you to win. Or I was hoping you would win. Not wanted, but I was hoping. You know what I mean? Maureen, Megan to Midnight, and Gary Franchi will be another year older. Damn. Gary. Happy almost birthday, buddy. Mm, man, I haven't had one of these in a while. Um, Now I have to take on Will and Grease, unfortunately. Now you sound like you. If Will talks like Pooh Bear the whole time, I'll take a little mercy on his dumb fuck head. You know what I mean? So, if I, listen, I'm just going to clap Grease's shit. I don't give a fuck. Ooh, that's good. Uh, Jamie, probably not. I don't plan on doing anything. You know what I plan on doing? I plan on working, hanging out with the babies afterwards. <laughs> now I regret grabbing that streaming. old Forster how peppery a blank face is. You smell this. Bro. What the fuck? Fruit Loops? It's like a three-year-old Traverse City that's been low for a long time, right? Um, Back when the Barrel Proofs could have been MGP. We don't know, but they could have been. Well, that's caramel. Isn't that good, man? It's good. So I, I got it out the other night because I'm like, I need to kill this. It's three years old. And then I smelled and went, holy, dude, think about it like this. Banana fosters immediately on the nose. Immediately on the nose. A little bit. It's crazy. I think Fruit Loops still. I've never right, had an MGP back. like that. Because originally. I yeah, you went a little low proof for that bad. I was going to grab this because I was going to do Tempest Natural. Mm, and you went with a blind face. And then I ended up grabbing a blind face. True. I that Chino, the package is here, buddy. Thank you for sending it, man. It's sitting right there. I need to open it. I haven't opened it yet. But it is all safe and sound. Appreciate it. Tommy said, don't turn into Destination Bourbon and get your ass clapped after talking shit. Oh, wow, Tommy. Woo! Happy 50th. I, sir, I am 30 fucking two. No one believes you. No, they uh, don't. Uh, Taste buds get worse the older you get. It's weird how much better mine have gotten over the past year. You know? Yeah, because you know what happens when, like, uh, Jimmy and Eddie go out and start picking barrels? They're they like, fuck. Up. They don't give a fuck. I don't, give a, I don't think they're doing great. They're just, and then they have their picks, and they're like, fuck, they're great. Yeah, their picks are really good. Oliva V. Melania paired with Bill Vaney with 12 double That's wood. the double wood. Yeah. That's what he said. Oh. That's the bourbon cast. I did not read the second line. I just read the Belvini 12. Did skip the next line. It was like, fuck, that comment's over. Chino, I don't. I don't get the cereal as much. It's so banana-y for me, which is weird because I don't I don't think I've ever gotten banana. It's like banana frosting or something. I don't think I've ever gotten banana on a uh, MGP before, ever. What's up, Sir Rose? How's it going, buddy? It's really red fruity. Robotic, I got nine points against Grease in non-transparent glens. Think about that. I literally told you when you set and poured them out. I was like, that's so a terrible Matt. idea. Matt did too. Yep. Matt told me afterwards too. Don't do I've that. I've been with the same employer longer than you've been alive. Dude, I'm, I'm just telling you, it still shocks me that no one at work knows what I do. I wear our merch all the time. And I just saw someone that retired at like 37 years. I was like, whoa. I'd kill myself. Whoa. Well before 37 years. I think my dad's got 32 in. Something like that. Um, Tommy D., Couldn't we're not. It. We're just not big Elijah Craig Rye fans for whatever reason. Yeah, it's not great. We're just not. I'd rather. I like the Rare Breed Rye. He doesn't. I like it more than the Elijah Craig Rye. That's for true. sure. 
Then Elijah Craig Ride was I, I we just thought it was gonna be so awesome and it's just okay. Yeah. It doesn't compete with the value of old force rye, which Can I think is forward the, on the nose or taste. And not on this at all. No, no, no. So Chino, the problem is Traverse City Braille Proof stuff now is a lot like often around five to seven year range. And mm. like years ago, they used to have twelve to nine to fourteen year single barrels from MGP. Super non uh transparent though. Um, yeah, and you couldn't tell unless when you bought the single barrel, it was aged to hit, and that's how you knew if it was MGP. What's up, Rare Bird? How's it going? Dude, let's talk about it. I'm so happy you stopped by. And then you <laughs> said something in chat. It. Whoa. Okay, Rare Bird has a new book. Yeah. And he's doing a Kickstarter for it. I about that. Yeah, he, talked he, about it he messaged weekend. on Patreon yeah. like a couple days ago, and it slipped my mind. So I'm glad you just said something. Check out Rare Bird's Patreon. Robert, are you allowed to post links in chat, or is just mods allowed to post links in chat? We talk about Daniel. Somebody get he a just link. He bought a James. <laughs> Very cheap. Oh, uh, it's one thirty. Eventually, you get that. Not Vero. too bad. Not too bad. Um. Every time I think about buying a new knife, my wife's like, "I'll kill you with it." You just go, shh, shh, shh. sleep sweet. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta find Robert's thing because I, I want. Right. I can send the link to Brandon. Uh, and then I will say the Undercrown Maduros. I had one the other day. Still pretty good. Undercrown Maduros. Drew Estate. So it's the the gold, like, lion, blue band, dark wrapper. Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to love those. They're still so pretty good. Much. Okay. Let's see. Sir Rarebird. I found it. All right. It, who? Tommy, you're in here. You're a mod. No, Tommy's not a mod. Uh, Alec was still in here, wasn't he? Do we have a mod in here that's not Tommy? Uh, what happened to all those torches you talked about? What torches? You were like, I found all the torches and cutters. No, I found all the cutters. I didn't find any torches. I just want to right. grab the side of this. Tommy, I'm going to send you a link. And I want you to put, put it. Why don't I just put it in chat? Tommy, why the I don't know. You're already there. You? All right. Look, Alex here. ADHD whiskey's here. Grant's oh, here. Oh, shit. My bad, everybody. I just gave Tommy mod for no fucking reason. Great. Okay, I just put it the link in chat. Tommy, you have mod now, so, you know, it's not... I'm not an idiot. Oh, wow. Oh, Sean just removed it. Whoa, Dan did that. There's a link in chat right now. If you guys saw Rare Bird or Red Rare Bird's first book, Rare Bird is doing another book. Go check out his Kickstarter, because he's just doing it right now. It, it just started really recent, I believe. And, listen, dude. Yeah, see, I'm here to protect Zach. If, if you want... A book about some turkey? <laughs> That's a good place to go. Click yeah. that. There's a link right there. Check it out. Go they check out the him Kickstarter. as a historian anyway. of turkey. How about that? Yeah, when the Russells refer to Rare Bird, that's how you know the man knows his shit. <laughs> All right. Man, I appreciate the laugh. Ah. Kelly's got a wrench. Wait, scroll up. I want to read it. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. I'd read that's your amazing. books if I could read. <laughs> and Bella said, his Kickstarter started awfully close to the discussion of the 13-year Russells. Well played. Very well played. <laughs> turkey call for the book. If I do a turkey call, you have to go fucking sign up on Kickstarter. Those are the rules now. Dustin just did it, too. We get a little stereo. A little stereo. See, Sean did a really, really good one. Apparently, Chris Pergoo shits on both of us. Yeah. I said, I, I don't feel like I should have put you and I in the same no, place. That's fine. Hold on, I gotta warm up the gobbler. Wait, do if you do this, does it make it better? David Rubio, congratulations! He said he just left his job after Hell five yeah, years, man. going to start a mobile bartending like business. That. that sounds fun. After working for twenty-five years, I'm ready to be my own boss. I like that idea a lot. Wait, I like this idea—a mobile bartending business. That's a pretty good turkey call. No, 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 no. That's a, <laughs> that's a better turkey call, bro. Nah, that's, Those that's... are the double turkey. I gave you the call the female in, and then I gave you the make baby turkey call. Nailed it. Uh, Roger, we love the Chattanooga ride. Mm -hmm. So good. It's really hard to find, I think, now, too, which Dude, is crazy. Dude, Kelly stepped away for a minute and didn't ban anyone. Kelly, th she must have left her phone somewhere. You know what she did? She <laughs> set it down and walked away. Of course, Paul. <laughs> and the other one is me calling turkey 
I can't believe how easy it is to call a turkey. Turkey. <laughs> turkey. <laughs> turkey. <laughs> like, it's as easy as I don't even use my hands for that one. <laughs> That's the fuck gobbler right there. Well, cheers, Taylor. <sighs> What's his daughter show? was uh, born last night. Oh, Friday. my gosh, dude. Congratulations. Cheers to you, sir. Welcome to the... Hopefully the, she doesn't hate sleep. Welcome to the... What was the correct word? World Busey of Parenthood. It? Daughter, daddy, daughter. Dad, daughter. Yeah, welcome to that club, buddy. Hell yeah. My daughter, like, really likes Dan. me sometimes, and then it's pretty. Dan sounds like an injured dolphin. Okay, that's a compliment because dolphins are extremely fucking smart. So, what's up? Is Magnus here in Michigan yet? Is that a thing? No? Okay. When Magnus comes to Michigan, I swear to God, if there aren't cigar blends and non dickle store picks around here, I'm going to be upset. Dustin want to hear my turkey. Want to hear Trent Chauncey or you don't? <laughs> I've literally heard dogs hurt and sound like <laughs> that. Are these hats live? Well, Justin, I'm assuming you meant to put ass in front of hats, but yeah, we are. <laughs> Barely. I think Barely she just alive. left after the Thousand Island dressing remark. Was We're there trying a to Thousand kill me. Island dressing remark? Did you mention Thousand Island? I know. I love Thousand Island. Y'all Y'all need you need to I know. We were supposed to do a stream with Nancy. She is the busiest person ever. Well, I think she's like, listen, I actually come to find out I don't like these guys. Yeah, I Which get is that fair. too. That's also fair. Um, yeah, she she had emailed us uh, like a month or two back and was like, hey, sorry, I've just been super busy. She's doing a couple like doing a say, lot pioneering of projects, yeah. so very busy. We understand. Miguel Malav. Oh, got that new little bottle. No oh, issues. Yeah, Ryan's the best. Ryan Thank is. you again, Ryan is. Ryan's amazing. We love him. Oh, shit. We well, get to just, hang out with Ryan more and more, and it's just a blast, dude. Uh, <sighs> I just feel that. I, I can't get over that Traverse City pick. I really can't. It's crazy to me. Team day. Oh, this is weird. It's like chari comparatively. It's so good. I get almost like a, a burnt apple on it. I like it. I, if somebody put an apple over a campfire. Yeah. I don't hate that. It's like a charred apple. It's like you uh, grilled an apple. We do keep the old corks. We've got a, a pappy bag that we just keep throwing yes. all the old corks in. Because uh, Dan likes dropping bottles and breaking corks. Oh, not true. And I haven't bottles. dropped a bottle in years. Matt said they moved all their operations to Holland. They already did that? I know they were doing that. Did they do it? What? They did the thing? Still haven't seen a Magnus cigar blend, so that's interesting. You guys add sodas? Not often, Justin. How's it going? Try not to. Listen. Is it summertime? Throw a couple cubes in her? I heard uh, limonade and whiskey. Lemonade. I was so lost. It took me 14 seconds to process a limonade into lemonade. I saw that. That's 14 why I, seconds. That's why I ripped it for you. Straight. You know what I do add? Pretzels. You, those are sales. Fuck, you left no, them not open bad. last time. Really? I'm not eating one. Well, we on a strict diet in two weeks. Till Florida. Oh, daddy's strict, strict. Florida. No, no, no. Okay. I'm lifting weight. I'm dieting. Straight. Florida. Okay. I can't be. You know. We dropped the bloat before Florida. Still hanging there. Uh, that's just fat. I'm working on the bloat part. Buccaneers Augusta? Buck, Buckner's Augusta. What about it? I don't know why I read that as Buccaneers. Never heard about that. Thanks for the sub, Justin. Appreciate you hitting the like button, dude. If you're still here, please hit the like button because you're hanging out. Not that all of you like it. If you hit the dislike button, you can go fuck yourself, too. <laughs> we have, like, four fucking haters who don't have any friends, no hobbies, and no lives, nothing to do with their time. They see a video. They still subscribe to us. They see a video. They click the video. They click the dislike, and then they fucking leave because they need a fucking wife or friend or partner or something. Faith Dimmer. Favorite bourbon to put in coffee. Oh, Jam- fuck it. Jameson cold brew coffee right off that. the rip, dude. Don't uh, even no put whiskey and coffee. No sugar drop of cream. No, no, no. Like no. old granddad. So I don't do whiskey and coffee. No, just go to Jameson's cold brew. Just um, skip the whole fucking blending process. I don't hate throwing in some of the bourbon creams. The, the Taco Bell was like two weeks ago, Joe, when my family was gone. All right? Don't be fucking calling me out like that. What? I, I wasn't on diet when we went and did the bullet pick, bro. I ate as much canes as I could fit in my mouth, Right? It was fifty-five dollars. <laughs> there were four of us, so that was your order. I had him <laughs> split it up. Both has my gift pack from clapping your shit a couple weeks last week, and he's holding it off because he's sending me those nuts again. And I Bucky's, swear, to, Bucky's nuts or whatever, bro. Those nuts show up. There's no diet. 
There's not a diet. I won't. I refuse. Is that normal Murray Hill Club? No, Which this is a special, that? special release. Is that the high proof one? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is. Hit this like if you're Canadian and in a social club and hate your life. So it's 112 proof. Um, I like this one more than the other uh, Murray Hill. And Dan probably will always go towards the cigar blend. What? These. I said I like this more than the other Murray Hill. The special no, the cigar one. blend's way better. Same as and Dan always goes cigar blend. Um, okay, Abby, listen. Dots win pretzel war. I would... Now, here's the thing. Mm. We haven't had them all. Not with whiskey. Dots, the all the pepper and well, the, the seasoning seasoned. they put on yeah, there. they're seasoned. Like, it'll make any whiskey really, really hot in the finish. It just burns with the pepper. So these are just nice, salted, good pretzels. I like... Now, if we're talking pretzels, no whiskey, I like a nice honey twist. A butter twist? Yeah. I like a nice butter twist. A little bit uh, more... Butter braid or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Those things are good. Um, Brew Did you maker. officially start your diet again? Have Yesterday or today, I no, think. No, no, The day we got back. What day we get back? Saturday mm-hmm. night? Friday night. It's Tuesday. We got back sat- Sunday morning. Saturday night, yeah. So Sunday, I dieted. Monday, I dieted. Tuesday, I dieted. That's Two three, days. That's three in a row. That's three in a row. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It, today's over, buddy. I drank whiskey. I haven't done anything but eating healthy food today. I ate chicken breast like a fucking man. Oh. Richard, we already said no. We haven't tried that. So, I appreciate the soup chat. Not necessary. Um, email Wait, us. what? Barton, $200. Oh. It's a Barton rash. $200? Would never have guessed that from the name. Email us you do at not bourbon have to send junk. You a $200 bottle with you. Email.com. He can we just send us a sample. Fuck. You're not going to say he's going to send us a whole fucking bottle. Chill. He said, I'll send you one. Sample. Didn't say that. You're adding shit. He didn't say now, you mind. can email us if you don't give a fuck, but don't feel like you have to. Dan, have you been biking? Yep. Really? Twice. Twice this year. Okay. Yep. Two, uh, two three times? Mine's the two? show. Well, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear no. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Both times I went, Sean had his bike, but his bike is currently in the shop. That's true. There you go. Did you invite me? Yes. When? Old James invited. I didn't invite you. James invites everybody. You know James sets these things up. He did invite me. I don't. I know he did. No, I feel Because you it. said... Maybe I literally responded with "That's a hard no from Sean." It was like a Thursday or something. I believe you responded with "Gotta mow my lawn," <laughs> something like that. Uh, I had something going on. Yeah, of course. For real, he sat at home with Gabby and watched TV. Which I mean, listen, that sounds great too. I'm not blaming you for the fucking chilling. There's a koozie in there for Sean. What the fuck, Bo? You guys I'm anything not with Wilderness giving Trail? him anything. So July seventh, we're gonna be doing a Wilderness Trail pick. July twenty first, but that was close. That's the seventh. You and me do this every time. I don't know how you and I, both, both of us, got the word July 7 in our brains for this. We're both wrong. I swear to God it's not the 7th. I swear to God. 21st. Buddy, I'm so sure of this is crazy. What are you guys thinking of Party Source? It was so cool, man. Party Source is great. It was beautiful. I loved it. I bought a very expensive bottle of Compass Box down there. Richard said, I will send one whole bottle. So he told you. You, you don't have to do that. Does not feel like you need gmail. to do that, Richard. Com? Also, thank you for the super chat. Okay, July twenty first. <laughs> I why the hell you and me have both? Done, I did it to you, which just, is how you got the seventh, and now we then we both did it, and then I fixed mine. And I you just didn't. told Opperman the seventh too. I was like, yeah, seventh. Jeremy Sears YouTube ashtrays. They're so fucking. My where's Jeremy's at? It's over on the. Oh, there's cigars in it. It's on the other table. It's hundred pounds. It's amazing. It's expensive and fucking incredible. We do need um. We I need, love that man. Hey, well, I gotta find oh, we email. need to talk to him. We need I, to, uh, gotta, I know. I need to talk to him because I miss him. I know. I was saying that um, I told him we could either do something alive. We can rip alive. Yeah, we should. Or we can just well, get I'd together just and smoke out. cigars and yeah, hang out. I'd rather just talk to him. Talk okay. to him. We can do a live too, but I'd rather also have the phone How call. can numbers be so... So I do numbers all day. So it's what true. happens is I just turn it off and just... Can numbers no. be so hard? For, okay, but If I can't thing. put it into a spreadsheet at this point in time, I'm not going to do it. Um, the reason numbers are hard, partially, I'm not American. not fully to blame here, but partially, is we have day jobs with like deadlines and and shit to do, and then we have the channel with like projects going on and stuff like that, and then I have like children who have like dates for things. Sean and Gabby literally do something every weekend somehow. I don't. I just told someone at work this. I was like, so me and Gabby. Last year, like halfway through summer, like, why the fuck do we make so many plans? Like, the summer fills up. 
I know. It's very annoying. And then, like, it rolls around. And you did it again. And it happens. You're dumb. It doesn't happen, buddy. It's Reel dumb. it in. It doesn't happen. Some of it was channel stuff. You do. Okay, that's fair. We had a good spree there. We had a things. good spree. Too much of a spree. I'm a, a month little of honest. just too much. <laughs> if I drive to Kentucky and I'll drive my truck into the biggest fucking <laughs> cement pillar I can find at speed. I swear to God, I told Sean Chino. and Chris and Brandon on the way home, I literally said, I'm <laughs> fucking done driving to Kentucky for a solid month and a half. He We're flying that. to Yellowstone. I'm not fucking doing it again. Okay. I can't. I'll bash my fucking face in, dude. Unfortunately, he's driving, so I'll die. Chino, <laughs> I love you. I'm wearing your shirt that you sent me because you're a generous Damn, person, and I love you. Not like... No, nope. We have to do Chino because you're here. We have to do your gift box right now. We're opening it right now. He's been here all night. I know, but I know what's in it, and it, right now is a good time. I, he always gives me shit for how ADHD I am. Okay, I know what's in here partially. Here, do you need a knife to open that? I need a good knife, yeah. A sharp oh, okay. I'm going to use a sharp knife because I'm not a... Bear. Here, let me check it. That was a little... Backside. back side. A little scary. Don't crash your truck. Your insurance rep thanks you. <laughs> Bro, hear me out. Cheech is throwing out the, the old liquid IV. If you guys are going to get one, I'm going to say watermelon. Even Alex wrong. You're not going with a pear, huh? Oh, I caught a it. A pear is more expensive it's, than it is, normal. Was it to a stick? Yeah. Whew. Our discount code gets you 25% off. Use Bourbon Junkies at uh, yeah, checkout. Hey, if you're going to drink liquid still, IV... But you can get them for a dollar a stick if you use any, or if you get any other flavor other than pear. I'm going to be completely. It's really great. But. This is full transparency with chat right now. You can get it cheaper at Costco. Mm-hmm. By about 30 cents for a box. So if you don't hate supporting us, it's nice if you. If Costco you, doesn't have the good flavors, though. Now, this is the thing. Way more flavors through you can, on the, online. The acai berry, the You can save guava. almost a fucking dollar at Costco, or you can uh, support the channel. It's up to you. Oh. See, Joe Sullivan said, I'm ripping watermelon liquid IV right now. Liquid IV is a fucking it's a lifesaver. <sighs> It'll make you right. Okay. You going back? is your springtime care package. You have three cents. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? said, it'll make you right. You just have three sample bottles labeled a Blue Note 9-year, which we've never had. A Kavalin. Let Sean open it first. Hey, Chino, what the fuck? boy. You know what, Chino? We're not doing this now. <laughs> F Costco. This. Dude, watermelon's life. Um, lo- watermelon's you, you like really the guava. Good. Guava is very good. Strawberry. The guava's not as, like, sweet. It's more savory, I guess. I, I don't, don't know. know. I like the guava. That's not how you say that word. Guava. No ranch with pretzels. That feels oh, like such oh, a fucking Faith. Wisconsin thing. Oh, what did you just say? Faith, where are you from? Where are you from? All right, Chino, don't look. How the fuck did he pack those? Well. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Chino sent the only... Ooh. The, the last Caval. I was going to say the only Cavallin, but... He also sent us this Kavala, which we've never had before. Jeremy's been busy. Yeah, so, I, listen, so have we. I don't know. There's been so much shit, I haven't even had time to call him. Okay. Kavala! <laughs> Distillery Select. He says that. Chino, thank you for doing that, man. ADHD Whiskey said, I sigh every fucking time Sean says, I sigh very. So, it's acai, but no one fucking says it like that. People are worried about Dan cutting, cutting towards himself. Typical. Yeah. yeah. You know. Line of fire. One time Holy I opened shit. Sean's. Shit. Yeah, I didn't realize these were bottles. I thought this were no, samples. they were samples, brother. You sent a blue note? We've never had blue note, and everyone has. There's asked an actual note on sure. there. It says BJ's. Oh. Okay, hold on. There are samples. Oh, it's so cold. It's very the cold. Samples are what I wanted for right now. Uh, Ronnie, this is the Agent Ore Neat glass. Have they restocked on these yet? Yep. There you go. There's a link in an link? old video of ours. No idea. All Good right. Luck. We might have a link. I don't it's know. In old st- it's in the if, Stag Junior. It's in our most recent Stag Junior video. Yeah, if you just go to that, click the link, or just go to H. Noor, get the you, neat glass. There's a discount, right? And on our link. We might have a discount. It might be 10%, 15%, maybe. Okay, I've been really excited. I'm remember. glad Sean's here, because I had just drank these at the bottom. Nine-year blue run. 
Okay, Redwood Empire, Haystack Needle, 14, 14? year. <gasps> They're so cold. That new new. And this too. Yeah, we can warm these Is up. Is it the same one? 105.5? Yes. Ooh, we each get one. Yep. Uh, Pacino, thanks for sending this shit, buddy. Fuck. Appreciate it, man. They're out Bro, we on just talked thing. about if we could see one of these, we'd buy it. Mm-hmm. We probably went and got it. Dude, the 12th. Wow. So look how cold it is. What does that mean? <laughs> bubbles are just hanging out. What's bubbles mean? Uh, so more proof, more slower bubble rise. That's also a cold little, myth. Yeah, bubbles myth. will also hang out in it's cold a wives liquid tail. like that. Slower. Tail from a wive. Thicker. Thicker. After next week, Dan will have a discount code for AARP. <laughs> Just for you, you old fuck, Zachary Jones. Just fun about out Clyde May's 12-year cast strength, Alabama style, sipping in honor of y'all. Is um, that a score pick? That's MGP. That, yeah. Um, uh, bourbon Blind, I don't like that. That is uh, Bourbon Blind gave us some of that in Texas, Blind, and we liked it. Oh, really? We're like, why the fuck do we like it? And he's like, oh, yeah. it's not their normal shit. Doesn't do their shit. Which is why we like the pick. Age North still sold out. Oh, they sold shit. out again. Well, they okay. did restock. My bad. Richard, appreciate it. You can just tag us. You just do at Bourbon Junkies. We'll probably see it. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for your super chat. Now, I might have a Clean Glen somewhere. Here. Oh, we have those? This is probably... Okay, it's not great looking at <laughs> this. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. Yeah, it's, I mean... Okay. It's 11 o'clock. Redwood Empire Haystack Needle, single barrel, age 14 years. Uh, Chino, what was the finish on this one, buddy? Thick. Jesus Christ. Alec, we didn't see. Uh, there was there were people in the humidor talking to the guy in the humidor. So I don't know if it was Nick or not. But he was whoever was in there was busy Very. trying to answer people's questions. Yep. I'm going to be honest, that Prensado Hitting. with that Traverse City is so freaking good. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> I know you meant, buddy. All right. I don't know if this is out of the old fuels. Probably. Dude, this thing fucking eats fuel. Come to find out if you buy a triple flame, it uses all of the fuel all the time. Damn, dude. No, Agenors aren't on our site. This is not a finished whiskey. They do just single barrels now. What the fuck? It is, Cody. Um, Alpha Squad Bravo, another YouTube channel, gave that to us. as a, They called it a Gessler? gift. Yeah. Gift. Dude, that smells, smells sweet. amazing. It smells woody in the best way. It's, that, it's, not, it's not like rhetoric sweet oak. But it's got that hint of sweet oak, red fruit up front. If I blind guess the nose, I'd say 12, 13 years, but it's 14. Okay. So. Just because it does have the, the nice, rich, caramely it's oak. jammy. Nose. Hmm. That's not finished. I don't know if it's, it's because so it's sweet. Um, a little cold. It's about, like, it's so syrup, though. Oh, it's so. It's, it's like blackberry yuck. jam. I like that. It's oh, homemade blackberry that. cobbler, dude. Oh my gosh! Just jam, not cobbler. It's not bready. No, no, no. it's got that. It's that. got that sweet crisp on top. No, no, cobbler's okay. not bready. A little bit. There's too much sugar. It covers oh, up yeah. the bread. You but go. you get the texture yeah, of the yeah. bread, right? A little toast, but kind of. That's fucking. That's that slaps. What's the proof on that? 105. Don't drink it. 105. I'd guess higher than that. Dude, that's amazing. That's so good, man. Thank you for sending that, dude. That's the first one we've had. That's really good. Fuck. Cody White. Got a buddy from Stevens Point. Don't know where that's at. But Nick named Stephen Point's Nick named Kessler. Oh, he just he drank just that freshman year. Black oh, Blacked no. out, got double black. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> classy, classy, he said. Ouch. What's up, Bourbon Approach? How's it going, buddy? Ryan Egan, I purchased my first barrel pick from the channel today. I appreciate all the hard work behind the scenes, too. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate, appreciate you it. appreciating it, man. There's a lot of there's work. so much time in, in shit that goes. Dude, there there were hours that just went into trying to launch those the last two days. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I appreciate you reaching out. We did open the Redwood. 
That's what Roger. That's what we're drinking, buddy. Is the redwood, the fourteen year redwood that uh, Chino sent us. You did nail it, dude. Chino. <sighs> okay. As Sean says, nailed it. Okay. I'd like it to be known. I started the entire nailed it thing. Before Matt, before Sean, before everyone, I said it. Now, did I get it from a movie? I'm a 99% sure I did. Who? No idea. Copyright dreamer. I'm making sure it says nailed it. Fuck it. I'm making sure it says fuck it. Nailed it. This is pretty. Dude, I the Kavalon bottles are cool. I love that the Kavalon bottles, like those, that's like the other one he sent us, the port. I love that they're that shape. It's yeah. very, like, curtainy, like, opera housey what it feels like to me like fancy so this is a the single slabs. grain it says well, they all are buddy they're malt oh are they that's what malt means i get that single malt yeah single grain i didn't know they were all single malts is that a thing it's i'm i'm being serious right yeah now. i'm trying to think through this if i've ever heard of a blended cavalon i don't think i've ever heard of a blended okay. malt cavalon because they don't really make a lot of, like, low-end Every shit. time I have it, I'm like, Texas or Taiwan? Fair, where are we at fair, here? Fair. Um, there's a movie called Nailed clean. It. There's a whole show on Netflix called Nailed It. I started before that oh, show. Oh, yeah, that's the, that that's the bad baking one. Netflix, nailed It. Netflix is supposed to be paying me for that. I haven't got a check yet. That's where we're at. Have you watched that show? Yeah. Okay, so my boss at work, her daughter. It's not real. It, they they right. give them way less time. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. So it's even worse. Mm. My daughter, my daughter, I have a daughter. Thank God, I said my daughter, and I, I get one. that. She's my boss's a year? <laughs> daughter was on Master Chef Junior, so she's been on um, also like the the big white guy with the bald head. He does like baking shows. White I'm guy sorry. Bald head. Uh, yeah, I normally he's very 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 famous. She's been on his show too. Anyway, Dan smoking a Prinzato. So good, and I have a uh, blind faith. Dude, I, I might move Prince Donald's to my, like, number one AB cigar. I'm, I don't know. What? I feel it, be, and I'm going to say why. Versatility. Okay. The, everything. Coffee. Yup. Whiskey. Yup. Water. Kintsugi. Yup. Coke Zeros. Yup. Kintsugi. No, not at all. Kintsugis are for people. I, I'm not that light cigar guy, <laughs> right? Like, I'm a man. Like, I'm a need. Chino said, Sean, I sent that as a consolation because you should have beat Will. That's like Dean Dan. Um, he should have. Duff, yeah. And he fucked up. What's Duff? Wait, no. What's Duff? Is it Duff? Okay. The yeah. guy that you're talking about. Oh, no, no, it's not Duff. It's not Duff. I, isn't Duff from the British baking one? No idea. Not Duff. I don't, because I don't recognize the name Duff. It's an Duff American Goldman. dude. Duff Goldman. No, it's an American dude. Okay. Someone write Duff, quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds like Duff. If I tag you, Mojo, how would wrong. you make any money figure it out? That's a good point, Richard. But we, but you don't. I, hey, it's Kyle. Richard. What's up, bud? He said he's sipping a 2017 WW four baby Ellie born Friday. Cheers, BJ's. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, he sent me a picture of her. She's adorable. Cheers, Cheers sir. Congratulations, dude. I hope you're. I hope you're enjoying your time. It just. It just gets better. Swear to God. That's good. Somebody just sort of liquid IV with our code. Who was it? Lone Wander. Thanks for doing that, buddy. Appreciate that. Hopefully it's watermelon. Oh, my gosh. Dan Barber, my daughter, and I are having our first live bourbon night. Newbie cigar suggestions. Um, Alec Bradley, American Sun Grown. Oliva V Connecticut's, too, are good. Yeah. You want something real chill, mm -hmm. lower nicotine? Like, yeah. you don't need any fucking super Lajero. None of that. <laughs> Stay away from things that say Lajero like on that. Would die? Um... That is good. The Oliva V Connecticut's really good. Uh, the Lance, <laughs> if you can find the Coyoles, the Coyoles from Alec Bradley mm -hmm. are so chill and go well with so many whiskeys, dude. It's an easy pairing. Um, that's hilarious. The I almost said lot forty. The Project Forty, not Maduro. Also oh, yeah, very the very chill. One? Yeah, that's a super chill cigar. Yep. Night Angel. Stay safe, buddy. Stay safe and uh, come back and. I'll see you probably Thursday, I'm sure. I'm assuming. He what? doesn't want to admit he's wrong. On fucking what, bro? Bo, what the f Bro, I swear to God, as soon as I see Bo, I'm going I'm to hug, hug him. Hug him. You're going to kiss him. And I'm going to pick him up. And then you're going to fight him. And I'm going to pick him up. No, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to pick him up and squeeze him. I like it. Trevor, asking Alec, 
What's your best AB cigar with cash strength whiskey? Blind faith, not even a question. All right, moving on. It's I mean, not even a question. Yeah, it's not. It's not. I can. You can say any, any. Um, cash strength whiskey. Blind faith. The Nika Piros and the the shorter. Those those ones. Those are got. really peppery. Yeah, those are very peppery. Yeah, you need to balance it out with something strong though. Okay. But but I don't think that because the other Nika Piros we normally get are the the longer ones. Well, we'd love a nice Nika Capiro Lancero. Mm-hmm. The Diamond, which are no longer oh. made, but those are so good, man. Yep. It wasn't Duff Dameron. Damn it, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Abby, you're right. It was Andy Bernard from The Office. He said nailed it all the time. That had to be where it came from. I watched every episode of The Office ever. Had to be. Literally had to be. Watch the live streams with Father Time. They answer the cigars for beginner's question every time. It's okay, man. It's fine. We're here to hang out. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we, we're past doing whatever we're going to do. We're just here. Ding, 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 ding. Mute your mic. Ding, 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 ding. Only I get to talk right now. Alex says. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> now nothing. <laughs> Nothing's working now. Sean definitely thumb fucked the wrong button. Anyways, Alec good. Bradley himself. Dude, how, why is it so much fun to call him the wrong name? Why? It doesn't even make sense how much fun You're it is. You're an a-hole. Alec Rubin from Alec, from Alec Bradley himself says, Dan is actually right. Our dog. Blind faith. Nailed it. Um, So we would probably rank the Makers Limited as F-A-E first, and then the SE4. I might like the RC6 more. Dan puts it like dead last. The RC6 that. is bullshit as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Comparatively, uh, com- it, it's not bullshit whiskey. It's really not, especially if you like Maker's Profile. Yep, it's good whiskey if you love. If you're a Maker's guy, you're gonna love all of them. I'm excited for the FAE 02. The FAE 01. That's not. So 02 is gonna be the no, the second release. I bet it's not. What? They've already ready? said that they're doing two this Touché. year. So, anyways, the FAE 01 is the best one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they haven't done more than one. Of the the finishing series of their wood finishing. Yeah, they had already announced that they're going to do the FAE O one okay. in the spring, and then the O two in the fall. You know what? Let's just make a thousand limited series a year. Why not? This is why nobody compliments me. I just realized it. You're an a hole. I'm not an asshole. I'm just a lot. It's annoying. Oh. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's extra. Yeah. Like Alex said, I was right, and I had I I've had to party on it. Yeah. I'm just used to it. Because you guys don't tell me I'm right very often. I'm just I'm just used to it. That's very rude. People are like, how do you deal with that asshole? Yeah, and then off screen, which nobody sees. I'm going to start fucking vlogging everything Sean says to me. <laughs> now, we will get canceled. But you will all also understand, it's not a one-way street here, Chief. It's a two-lane highway. You know? That kind of works. If it wasn't, it wasn't Duff, bro. It wasn't Duff. And it, it's a guy from now. You want to finish your fucking thought about that, though? About what? Oh, the MasterChef thing? Yeah. So, the Nailed It thing? So she was talking, I was talking to her about the Nailed It thing because they have all the experience on Full reality circle. cooking shows. Yeah, it's all fake. Well, it's not all fake. But uh, don't ruin it for everyone. Cassandra was, my ba- my boss, was yep. saying, she goes, so Is here's your boss. Like, she was explaining how they do it and, like, how they would line it up. She goes, the stuff that they show them making, right? So, like, the, you know how in Nailed It they start with a. Oh, yeah. Like, Hey, here's a cake. Make the cake. Jacques Pierre makes right. it, and it's like eight hours. She literally goes, some of those things that we've seen on the show would take multiple days to make. And she goes, the time that they give them is very real. 45 minutes. Right. She goes, but the problem is that took the not the not professional chef. That took the actual professional chef probably two to three days. I'm like, I thought it was like a few hours different. She goes, oh, no. Oh, no. She goes, it's days. Days, though. Bro, now, like, the beginning shit is probably, like, you have 20 minutes, they had three hours. On one of the shows she watched, she goes, the time limit they gave them, you literally could not actually make, like, whatever they were making. She goes, you couldn't make it, and it, it wouldn't solidify in the time they gave them to make it. Good luck. Good show, though. You're going to make some play. Right. 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this actually has to be in the oven for four hours, but we got you, you got one. Figure it out. Yeah, it's definitely oh, Duff. It's fine. It's not Duff, man. You guys are wrong. Ooh, I'm sorry. rugged gentleman. The only I, I've never even heard of Duff, bro. The old League Bravada number nine with an E.H. Taylor single barrel. Oh, listen, everything. I need all, to get another League. I haven't had one in a while. I thought you were going to say I need to get another E.H. Taylor single barrel. 
Almost everything goes well with those. Well, almost I'm, everything. I, I don't know Santa Claus, so, I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to get another one of those. The uh, Leva V Melanios, we like them a lot. They're fantastic, man. If you find a Maduro, those are even better. Yep. One of the greatest judges on Nailed It and made my son's fir- fifth birthday cake. So, Bove is, like, weirdly kind of famous. Do you know this? No. So, Bove works in entertainment. Okay. So, he knows a lot of people in entertainment. Because he sets up, like, big fucking events. So, because of this, he goes to big fucking events. Mm-hmm. And people, like, it's, like, Bove has this really cool, weird position that's fucking awesome. So, he knows famous people. Jamie said, my good friend got kicked off Ink Master for not being mean enough. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, my boss and her daughter, when she was on Master Chef Junior, five, 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 Tristan. they went through like the interview process or whatever, and then yeah. they went into the show. In my boss and her daughter picked on week one, they said that girl will win because of the per- like all of the shit, and that girl ended up winning. Figure that out. It's weird. Yeah, could be luck. Also, could be the personality, the backstory. Because you got to be interesting. That's the whole point, we, right? We always watch um, Hell's Kitchen. I love Hell's Came down Kitchen, the two, I and I go, Hell's well, she's going to win. Well, she she's a grown-up one. Was she better, though? You didn't eat her food, though. You're a hater, bro. Yeah, but she was the more... The, the other girl had won more competitions and, like, gotten better accolades okay. through the entire okay. thing. And then lost the fun. Yeah. yeah, and it was like... So that girl um, was, like, a little younger, and the other girl was, like, a mom. She's, like, I think early 30s or something like that. The other sure. girl was, like, young, like... Or maybe mid twenties. Okay, it was like there's no fucking way they give it to her. Yeah, she's, she's wearing a pink wig or purple hair or whatever. I was like, there's oh, no fucking way. What? That's great. Eagle Rare seventeen or Dan? I'll take the Eagle Rare seventeen. So, my bad. She was on the show Cake Boss. I think that's my bad. I was remembering. <laughs> I was remembering a famous show, not a person. And that, you know what? That's my bad. That's my bad. That's a hundred percent my bad. That's my bad. I apologize. You know what show is better than all the rest of them? Now Hell's Kitchen's amazing. The F word's really good. Yeah. If if you can't if you can get a little deep into that shit, the F word's really good. The British version was better. That's what I'm talking. I'm oh, talking okay. About the they British did an American version. version. Oh, I've never seen the American version. Not as good. Not nearly as good. The they had like James May came on. Yep. He made uh, scrambled eggs for a chick who got pissed at him. He went and like threw him on the table. Anyways, it's Buddy. Yeah, it's Buddy. Buddy's the, yeah, that's it. Anyways, my bad. My bad, dude. Fuck. Anyways, what I wanted to say was the greatest show is the British Baking Show on yeah. Netflix. That's 100%. the best one. Yeah. It's yeah. organized incredibly well. Yep. It's very fun to watch. It's, it's easily consumable. It, the last couple of seasons, they've gotten more Master Chef-y. Okay. So the one. They changed their judges I was shit. like, oh, that chick's attractive. Bet she makes top three. She did. Okay, that's profiling, and you're a bad person. Now. I was still right. Well, we're canceled. Fuck it. So what I wanted to say this whole time... <laughs> I, I'm i just saying they fucking are definitely you're, setting You're, up. like, implying that an attractive person can't just be the best cook. No, 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 that's fine. She wasn't, though. You she was, know. like, constantly at the bottom, and they kept saving her. She's making it, like, limb by limb. So... I love yeah. that show, man. I but do. I haven't watched the newest definitely season. the most real of them all. The Because the, it's not, like... A but, big cash prize. They, they they don't get anything at the end. No, they get something. They get like a cookbook or something like that. It's nothing. No, seriously, it is nothing. Okay. Look it up. They get an award, mm-hmm. which means a lot to them because it's... An, it, here's the thing. You have to think about it like this. You might not get anything for like being on a patent, except when you go to a new job, you can say, I was on this patent. They go, oh shit, all right, cool, right? Yeah, but they're home chefs on that show. They're not professional hey, chefs. after that chef, they ain't home chefs. You know what I'm saying? They're uh-huh. all trying to be real, like, well, I shouldn't say real. They're all trying to be professional <laughs> chefs. Fuck, that was so demeaning. They're actually trying to learn how to cook, bro. Like, well. Some of those motherfuckers can make some shit for being home chefs. Yeah, dude. it's like all the, the master chef people. Yes. It's like, all right, you're not a home chef. Right. Settle what, down. Dude, when, uh, when you a watch. A blind girl won that. When you watch master chef. Hey, you got to reel it in. She might have been the best one. Fuck, dude, you're a bad person. Listen, Sean, just. Tr- <laughs> Listen, what I'm saying is. On MasterChef, when you watch it, and they go, I'm a home chef. I cook out of my kitchen. And then you, like, they show you their kitchen. Yeah. And I'm like, no, you fucking don't. You just <laughs> you just filleted a salmon? Like, fucking Gordon Ramsay was impressed. You do not cook out of your fucking home, man. There's no wait, way. Wait, wait, Do you think 
taking the skin off salmon. You've not something? seen Gordon Ramsay fillet a salmon? Yeah, it, I know how he. Very does impressive. It. Okay. Have you seen adults fillet a salmon, buddy? Yeah. Not impressive, for the most part, right? Okay. Have you not watched them fillet salmon on MasterChef? One of the greatest episodes of all time. I guess not, bro. It, let's say, let's just hypothetically, ten adults, six of them. Swear to God, just chunked up a fucking fish into cubes, dude. No, bro. You, <laughs> you got to understand their time, though. It's yeah, way yeah. more stressful. No, no, that's fine. It is way more so stressful. So when I worked at Lalonde's, they were like, go ahead. I watch. Be like, I don't know what I'm doing. They're like, you buy it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you get good real quick. <laughs> um, Gordon Ramsay filleted a fish in front of them. I don't know what it was. It may be an Atlantic salmon, really large fish, right? Okay. And he said, this is how you do it. You need, like, let's say X amount of eight fillets or something like that out of this fish, whatever yep. it was. Oh, yeah, they got cut in. The, the number bit. he picked was almost zero waste, Yeah. right? Bro, these oh, adults shit. went back with timers and started <laughs> chopping up fish like they were Chuck E. Cheese cutting cakes, bro. <laughs> I, like, I swear to God... Three of them brought up salmon that were in fucking sushi chunks. <laughs> and he goes, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, have you ever watched that show? Which one? Um, Beat Bobby Flay. No. who's Bobby Flay is so familiar. Who's that? He's an iron chef. Ah, I know. Okay, yeah. I know who he is. The old guy. Nope. He's old as fuck. No. Okay. <laughs> we have not rugged. I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to look that I'm up. Look. Who Bobby the Flay name is? is too familiar. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I know who Bobby Flay is. Okay, he looks like the evil guy from The Mask. Go ahead. He's not, but he looks like it. Okay. Yeah, he's got a weird face. Dude. It's like he's, he looks like he wore the mask and it didn't come off. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just saying he does. Swear to God. <laughs> I'm right, and that's all that matters here. Yeah, forties. I probably. No, he's in his fifties. You guys are crazy. I don't know about that. Your mushroom risotto is fucking awful. <laughs> All right. Anyways, oh, I've never, never made a Flay. risotto. Me neither. Uh, delicious, but no, there's though. a great show called Beat Bobby Flay. Okay. So it's like two usual like uh, industry chefs go on there. They compete on something, and whoever wins gets to make their dish against Bobby. Like Does they have Bobby to, have to make the same dish? Yeah. Okay. However they want. So okay. it just, you know, if you say whatever fucking dish in the world, he can put his own spin on it mm. and do it however he wants. Okay. And you can do it however you want. Okay. Um, but That's kind of cool. He's really good. Right. I well, mean, yeah, yeah, of course. He's an Iron Chef. Yeah. So Iron Chefs are pretty much good at fucking anything. Okay. Because they're like, here's your four ingredients from whatever, make it. What is, wait, I didn't realize Iron Chef was a real title. What? I knew like I know about the stars, yeah. the Michelin stars. Yeah. I know about like so Iron th- Chef is like a huge fucking competition. Oh, that you go on there and you face the other Iron Chefs. Oh, so it's just pros on pros. So shit. they just give you so think of like chopped, but with like good ingredients. Oh, that's kind of they cool. give you okay. ingredients like that, and you have to make big fucking dishes okay. like three uh, against appetizer. other actual yeah. legit. Okay. Yep. See, that's, wild. See, that's the show that's interesting because not a single fucking liar on that show. Went to the camera and said, I'm a home chef. That drives me fucking nuts. Man. Yeah, Morimoto is the Iron Chef. Oh, I know who that chef is. Morimoto, Weirdly. Yeah. Um, oh, I've watched that show 100%. Yeah. I didn't... Okay. They need to make another season of Final Table. It was Netflix. That's, that's the cooking show right Table. there. The Golden Toke. How do you say that word? Touche? It's close to 2K. I'm not even going to try. Um, the so, pay. the Final Table was like... Super high level industry chefs okay. in, working in teams against each other, dude. They fucking like threw out some wild ingredients at them, and they had to make dishes like fucking crazy. People are doing like cool. uh, like gold leaf raft shit, and I was like, "What the fuck's happening right now?" Like wild like dishes. Like yeah, there are people plating with like chopsticks and stuff. Oh, and that's shit. how they make okay. it in they're their in restaurant. It, in it. Okay. Oh, they're in it. Chef's table, final table. I don't remember what it was called. Matt spammed octopus. Ooh. I think that's an octopus, a pink one. How does Dan not watch Food Channel? She said portly, but. What does portly mean? Yeah. Kelly, how fucking dare you? Oh, wow. I like how a whiskey cigar channel has turned into a discussion on cooking shows. It turns. Hey, it Anything is, you want to talk about? what it is. Hey, Power Keeper, you throw yeah. out there, son. We'll talk about it. Okay, well, no. Hold on. Fucking Kelly's comments taking up room. Let's see. No, Don't I'm scrolling dare. up. 
Guy's Grocery Games? What? Guy Fry? Fieri? Yeah, Guy Fry. Uh, Got it! What's up, Kelly? Fucking Portly. Portly. Dan's mad. Took your rent away. Portly my ass. No, I did that for the safety of our baby channel. Seal. Oh, oh, what did you just fuck. say? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, where was that? Fucking where? Uh, You're banned right forever. Mojo. <laughs> Mojo, I know you've been here for a long time. You're fucking out, bro. You're out. Dude, Ugly Delicious is fucking tits. I'm, bo- I'm, I'm banning people. What the hell's his name? Um, oh. I can see his face. I can't think of his name that does that. Ugly Delicious. He's got... Uh, he made it on noodles. That was his um, first restaurant. Momofuku. Uh, well, I can't think of his fucking name, though. Oh, my God. I can think of his restaurant name, but I can't think of his name. Okay. David Chang, thank you. What? Oh. <laughs> Adding it back. I'm giving her a mod back because she doubled down. I'm giving it back because she said it's grown-up version of Husky. She didn't even reel it back. She just said, hey, you dumb fucking idiot, you're fucking Husky. And I appreciate I appreciate you doubling down, so I gave the wrench back. Ugly, dis- Ugly Delicious is great. It's a TV show? Yep. Okay. It's on Netflix. Oh. Dave Chang goes around, does a bunch of <gasps> cool food. I know who that is. I yeah. listen to him on podcasts. I like him. He's yeah, younger. He's guy. on a lot of stuff. He's on he he hangs out with comedians a lot for some yeah. reason. I don't know why. Um Yeah, he talks about knowing a lot of people he knows uh, Bert. from food. He knows yeah. Bert. From food. Him and Bert have hung out and done podcasts together, and that's how I know who he is. Um <laughs> uh, that and the other good one that we watched was salt, fat, acid, and heat. It was like the four ingredients you need for a good dish. Like, those things need to be balanced. Great no show. No pants she, tonight, legs. She goes around the world and does different things. You're a fucking savage. Somebody said, rockin' husky rustler jeans. Fuck that, Kyle Schmidt. Dan, if, I think you're thinking Ro Choi. Ro, fucking bro. Oh, his name's Roy. Roy? Choi. Am I? Am I? Oh, look at him. Yeah, Anthony Bourdain did a lot. The No, no Reservations was awesome. I didn't ever watch that show. It's I know fun. that people were very upset. What's my favorite blood type? There. You know, I like a nice AB positive. It's hard to come by. Super good, though. What's your favorite blood type? Who said that? Somebody said you were the make-a-wish bouncer when the kids stayed too long. Which is one of the worst things I've ever heard. But I will say, it was kind of fucking funny. Aiden. <clears throat> well, pre-read this. <laughs> there we go. Sean is that guy who sits in the corner of his friend's wedding and gets drunk while talking about how love is just chemicals and life is bullshit. <laughs> I say, you know, people. Oh, that's fucking funny. Ooh, power keep is AB positive. A lot of people are AB positive, apparently. I thought that was the rare one. <laughs> I think O's the rare one. Nope. O's the universal one. What's the universal? O negative. See, I was close. What's up, Kelly? How about that knowledge? If you're O negative, you're a universal donor. I think O positive. Is the universal Kelly, your guy doesn't even know right now. One of those two. That sounds really good, Chino, except I don't really like blueberries, man. Like, if you throw some raspberries on there or strawberries, I'm in 100%. Nick, you serious? You don't know what happened to Paula Dean? She ate a bunch of butter, and then she got racist and went to prison. Uh, no, I don't think she went to prison. She did. Oh, no, she That's got... Martha no, Stewart. Martha Stewart murdered somebody and went to prison. Nope. Insider trading. Fuck. Um, <laughs> Paula Dean. Damn, I'm going to prison now for like, what is it called when you uh, say bad shit slander. about people? I'm slandering two people. Yeah. Both very successful women. Yep. One likes butter. The other one likes murder. Nope. Insider One trading. likes saying the N word. That's and Paula. Got a little canceled. Paula got her butter out and said some racist Ooh, shit. Ooh, Jamie, you're not wrong. The Jiro dreams of sushi. Great. No, okay. I know what that one is. That's crazy as shit. That one's fucking wild. And that restaurant, dumb. Bullshit. Oh, my right? goodness. The, so the best sushi I've ever had in my life was in a restaurant like that in New York. Or New York, New Orleans. We sat down. It's only at, like, the bar in front of the, the chef and his sous chef. And it was just like. Oh, you're, in New, you're near the one. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was our anniversary dinner. So, like, we sat down. And they were just like, here. Like, the menu is this much. There you go. You, you get one thing. Would you like dinner or not? That's what you order. Yeah. I'll take two dinners, please. Pick one. Yeah. And they just start throwing stuff out there. It's like, good. 
And then he was like, all right, well, we're through, like, appetizers. We can add uh, more nigiri on, like, what? It's basically sushi. Nigiri? Yeah. Raw fish? Yeah, on top of rice. Sashimi is just uh, raw no, fish. they're both fucking disgusting. Nigiri. Why don't you just added rice to the bottom of it? Yeah. Them? What the hell? And they were like, well, we can add it, like, a la carte. I was like, we'll take three more rounds. <laughs> oh. Pop that baby on there. Okay. It was fantastic. Did they walk around with a cart? No. Okay. Do you know what a la carte means? Yes, I do. Okay. But you saying that reminded me of an experience I had, which is why I asked you, because I didn't know if it was a cultural thing <laughs> or if it was an experience I had that you didn't have. That's all. That's why I asked. Promo, cigar, a promo code for Cigar Club is Bourbon Junkies. Yeah. For customs, I think 30% it's 30% on your first month if you do the, the Normal regular box. box 3, 5, or 10 now. Drop the 10. Yeah. That's real. And then uh, I think you get 20 or 25% off for customs. 20. 20. JP, at, wait, relax on that dumb shit that you just said. Fuck. Oh, I love sushi. Sean does Don't not tell know his shit. What are you talking about? Yep. Sean knows less than everybody in chat, I'm minusing fine. everyone else in chat. Does that make sense? No. Like, instead of, like, everybody on top of each other, because, I mean, you're really intelligent, you're the opposite. Oh, I'm on the bottom. Yeah. Like, you're the dumbest one. Yep. Right. I'll a uh, cart. I'll a uh, cart. Okay, can I tell you about my yes Chicago experience? Ricky and I go to Chinatown. Don't recommend it. Anyway, okay. Went to a fish. You went to place. Chinatown in Chinatown. Yeah, we went to Chinatown in Chicago. Supposedly one of the bigger Chinatowns or some mm-hmm. shit. Hmm. Walk into a fish market. Damn near fucking puked on the floor. Smells like garbage. Yeah, but like that's. That's where, like, real fish is at. Oh, disgusting. Smelled f- like fucking raw, nasty-ass food, right? <laughs> just did, man. I'm just telling you the fucking truth. That shop, specifically, I didn't say the name of the shop. The shop we walked in, you smell fucking horrible. Then we go get Chinese food. We're in Chinatown. you got to go to a Chinese restaurant. Okay. Craziest shit I've ever been to in my life. I've never had another experience like this. Okay. They bring you a menu. Can't read a fucking word. Waiter. Doesn't speak English. Cool, man. Do you in have... Chinatown. Orange chicken. <laughs> I just want some American shit, bro. So then, you know how oh they, this is. Oh, my God. Now listen, so I'm not were, cultured. Yeah. I'm sorry. Anyways, I not a lot of us are cultured in that culture anyways. No. That's not a common culture in Michigan, right? So anyways, how they handle appetizers there is they walk around with food carts. Okay. Filled up with appetizers. They walk by, stop at your table. You, you take them. You physically, this is like. So is it Chinese or Japanese? Tons of years ago. Chinese 100%. Okay. You take the plates off the cart. Yeah. And then when you take them, they have a checklist of what's on their cart and they mark what you took. Yeah. We took so much shit. I have no fucking idea so what it was. So in Japan, um, there are restaurants that just have conveyor belts that run around. Yeah, I've seen videos And you grab the plates of off. Yeah. So like that's common there. Right. That's why I asked. So it happened and it was fucking crazy. Now. I think I had, like, <laughs> some fucking sesame chicken or something like that. Mm-mm. Which one, though? I want to read it. Nah, I won't really read not. it out loud. Okay. <laughs> Lone. <laughs> it's got, uh, you know. A lot of people are saying that's dim sum. We, what's, what's dim sum? What's that called? Whatever you're describing. That's a dim sum restaurant? Oh, that's a normal thing? Yeah. I've only experienced it once. Oh, it's like tapas. Okay. Zachary, I'm in on that. Zachary Jones. Okay. It is like tapas because you just pick what you want off the cart. You yeah. eat it. Now, the now this, some of the appetizers we have are good. Some are mediocre. I had some fucking form of sesame, orange, some bullshit chicken. It was fucking incredible, dude. Okay. Well, okay. Engineer. I got to derail you here a little bit. Engineer to DAB. Went to Northwood in Midland. Met my wife at Oscars. Oscars is closed. They gone forever. Yep, gone gone. They don't have dim sum in Michigan. Probably like Ann Arbor, Grand uh, Rapids. Yeah, if you went down the Ann Detroit Arbor, maybe? there would be more like tapas. I don't know if they'd have a dim sum. Restaurant we don't there. have a dim sum anywhere near us. Yeah, like we we have more tapas restaurants, like like small plates restaurants. Dim sum uh, isn't, isn't. It's not tapas. It's very different though. Okay, like the experience is different because we have like so like wine is tapas. Yeah, right. You order plates, whatever. This was here are two egg rolls on a plate. Take you don't plate. order apps there. Yeah. They walk over and they go. No, 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 no. You are a default racist. Don't even try. No, I didn't. I'm glad you caught yourself. I did. I stopped 100%. I hard stopped. Woo. 
Ooh. I pulled the engine brake and everything on 15 that. years old? Yeah. Dan's favorite. Why not? Okay, I do love a nice Panda Bove. Nice Panda Express. Got some good noodles. I like the noodles. Man. I like the noodles a lot. Every and time I we get like their the rice orange. is drier than fuck, and no, I hate stop it. Stop getting rice. The noodles are I good. I love rice, though. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I do, too. That's but what we did uh, the other there. weekend when Aaron and Katie were in hibachi on the, the Blackstone. You have a Blackstone? Yeah. At your house? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting you never made me food on it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, gosh dang it, Dustin. I can't read any of your guys' comments. We're at the point of the night where nobody's comments can be read anymore. Everyone has a fucking check. Dan Sean, if you enjoy Kavalon, then you have to embrace the Asian culture, bros. Fair. Listen, I clearly love a nice Chinese buffet, right? Chino? Rice sucks. You're just wrong. We just bought Costco you had, rice. You got to get better rice. Rice can be 25 good. 25 pounds. It was like $16. My gosh, 25. <laughs> yep. You know all the uh, the tapadors we had? Since I've got the, yeah. the Audu, I've moved everything in there, Put rinsed rice. all those out. They're now full of rice. <laughs> I'm good for the year. Went to Dim Sum in Florida. Got something there from their Dim Sum taco. I can't believe you read it. Matt, I'm, that's Matt. Matt's not a pre-read. Matt's never a pre-read. pre-read. It's a Stephen you King of fucking whiskey You pre-read too, everything at midnight. I, it's literally. It's 11.45. But what you guys saw on White Owl Grape. Never sorry, heard of it. First it's, time it's just the, wondering if you do see this, Spartan. I don't know what White Owl Grape shadow. is, buddy. Why does Sean's arm look more? Mu- it's not. No, no. It's like look, look, the shadow right there. Oh, you told Alec about your Blackstone. That's interesting business. Have a lot Bro, to talk to you. Blackstone's life. Tommy D said, get off Asian talk. I'm getting pissed at your lack of culture. Tommy, <laughs> you wouldn't have it if you didn't live there and also have a partner from there. Right, Tommy? If you lived in Michigan, you would have no Asian culture. Because What's you live in, in a shit Chinese ass buffet? state, bro. Nothing. What do you want? Tommy, teach me something then, bro. Teach me something cool. Like, I want something interesting that I can say at parties. No, don't do that. Dennis guy who goes to you Japan are going to be KFC. fucking offensive as fuck. No, no, Tommy literally knows all the Asian Yeah, yeah, cultures. I know that, but he's going to fuck with you because he knows you also don't know. Fair. Tommy, throw it out there. Let me read it. If you're not paying $3 per pound for rice, it's cheap rice. Well, he did say it was from Costco. Uh, yeah. White owl grape is a blunt cigar. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I've seen those. Dude, they come in the little um, zip pack or, like, tear packs at gas stations here. My God. I've seen the white owl on the wrapper. No, I have never had one. I bet they taste fantastic. I do know what the wrappers are used for. I didn't realize that was the brand. BK name. Meetup in Deven- Denver. I almost died when I said Denver. <laughs> JP said, do you still get vaccinated if you have high-proof bourbon running through your veins? <laughs> I did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes the bourbon doesn't seem to fix it. I don't know. Could I don't know. Um, Just opened the Green Spot Chateau Montaliana edition. Very good. I think that's my favorite one. I'm not reading Tommy's out loud. I wouldn't recommend you do either. No, mm-hmm. no fuck, no fucking way. I said I can me. say some very offensive shit in Japanese. That's not. That's Asian. all I know. You're not Tommy. You're not teaching me Asian culture. You're trying to give me say things that'll get us canceled. Uh, uh, we don't have a lot. Dude, of if Asian I go to South Florida, viewers. I'm not getting Asian food. I'll feed you all the Asian food. No, he's gonna f- no. I'm going to South Florida. I'm he knows Cuban where it's food. at, bro. But I'm saying, like, Chino's the guy. Okay, that's fair. Like, he's going to hook us up. That's fair. Like, it's not you and me walking around being like, let's get Asian Jerry, food. Jerry, I've tried to sell Dan on going to Korean barbecue. What do you mean you're trying to sell me? I'm in. We just don't have one up here. Yeah, we got to be in Arbor. Right. I'm in, a, I'm in on a Brazilian steakhouse, though. In Arbor. We have those up here. Oh. The one in the city is good. So you just sit there and just cook and eat and cook and eat and cook and eat. It's great. We've tried to, Ricky and I have tried to go to one or two of those, and they were closed both times we were on vacation. We don't have any of those up here. This is the problem. The FDA is trying to ban them. They, I thought they did ban them. I thought the FDA said no more flavored cigars or some shit. Um, I thought that was flavored Vape? vapes. That's but that's gone. back now. No, no. It's well, back now. Not legally, right? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's back now. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan is so in. I know. You guys I was waiting for that. Such bad people, bro. In an arbor, just fucking. <laughs> Y'all got Korean barbecue? No. I love Korean barbecue. Down state we do. Not here. Dude, you don't know what you're missing. I have a feeling because it sounds amazing. Oh, there that we go. Sense. I was like, like, wow, really? At fucking midnight? Really didn't move much. But... They're proposing ban on flavors. Oh, okay. I thought they already ran Weird. that shit. I don't know. I do like I Viennese too. Flavor. Why are they banning them? What's wrong? I mean, what's different about those? Than they sm- they sell fucking cigarettes. What are we doing? 
You're selling literally, you're selling cigarettes. Why can't you have flavored cigars? I, I have no idea. Chris, I'm not reading your comment, but is that true? Thaw? Well, fuck me for saying that. Fuck me for saying that. It's faux. And I swear to God, it's faux. Fo. Did you say fa and you're a white person? You're dumb. Well, I mean. Is that how you pronounce it correctly? How do you say Fa. Ethiopian was an experience. See, there's a lot I don't of know that I, I like Indian like that. food a lot. I like um, Asian food a lot. Yeah. Good uh, Indian Mexican food. food a lot. I am a man so of here's culture. The problem. My palate Bad is Bad Indian culture. food will oh, make you never want to eat Indian. Your shit. Yeah, you're just like, Literally. what the hell is this? Good Indian food? You're like, I'm in. I'll scroll up. Alex said something. Take this. Chris Buzalencia, how you doing, buddy? He Apparently, said. Oh, well, there goes. The mouse oh, is just it's taking a having a shitter. fucking fit today. Oh, it was on there. Chino apparently knows how to cook Asian food. Oh, Come shit. In. Oh, fuck. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to Chino's. Hell. Here's okay. something for you to learn. Chinatown isn't usually most mostly Chinese food. It's all Asian food, especially in places like Houston well, we or Vegas. We went to a place that had fucking literal Chinese food. Yeah. But here's... Hold on. Scroll up real quick. Okay. What are you looking for? Chris Buzalensi said flavors appeal to children. The cigars. Oh. I thought that's why they got rid of the vape was because they were uh, they were... Pushing it to kids because it was like cotton candy, sour patch yeah. kids, gummy mango. Worms. It's bitches. like pre workout. Yeah. yeah, put that shit in your body and see what happens next. When you're 16 on pre workout, you might literally kill somebody on accident. <laughs> Swear to God. David Rubio said, "My wife's Cuban, and Sean, the food is so good. Nice a Cubano sandwich is so freaking good. Yeah, never had a real Cubano, but I know what they are, and they yeah. look fan fucking. Have you not seen the um, the chef uh, movie with? Uh, yes. Yep. I somehow I know what you're talking about. Yes. The director of Iron Man, the hell is his fucking name? John Favreau. Yes. Okay, uh, yeah. So he learned to cook for like that show. The movie, he, he does that a, truck thing. Yeah, he yeah. does a show on Netflix. Yes, with, with the guy that taught him how to cook. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, uh, that movie's great. He's in the back of that truck. He's got a daughter. That's the that's hey, the I got weird thing is, is kids don't smoke cigar. Kids smoke cigarettes now. Kids vape. That's it. Kids vape now. I, th- th- there's no kids going to get a cigar. That's so weird, man. <laughs> I'm not eating chicken feet ever, buddy. I know you're not messing with me, Ross, because I it was. Yeah. I know it's an option. There's some stuff, I'm buddy. Just, nope. You're gonna have to trick me. You gotta trick me. Tell me it's calamari. That's the only way I'm eating. I'm it. good on that. That's the only way I'm eating it. Oh, flavor cigars got mixed in with menthol. Jeez, oh, Pete's man. Hey, get it. Why are menthol cigarettes a thing? Get it untwisted because of people like James Lepard. Get it untwisted. If you're gonna sell cigarettes, you have to allow all the other shit. I feel like you have to. Or stop doing the cigarettes, too. There's way more Children. kids selling or smoking cigarettes than smoking flavored fucking cigars. Cigarettes are on the way down. Like, I, way, I, way down. I know they are. Yeah. But I'm saying, like... I like how we're sitting here smoking cigars and like, fuck smoking this shit. Well, like, the problem Wildly is... better, though. We'll with, throw that with out there. C- cigarettes, you have a ton of fucking chemicals. You yeah. inhale them into your lungs. There's a lot of problems that we all fucking know about. Now, I'm not saying everything else is fucking healthy, right? Drinking whiskey is not even fucking healthy. Fuck it. But, not in our level. you know, everybody has a little vice action somewhere in their life, right? I don't know. Gambling, cigars, whiskey, weed. Is weed a vice? Yeah. It is? Yeah, 100%. Okay. I don't know that's, like, addictive, though. Uh, we did do, go to Cafe Du Mans. We had to finally find a time that it wasn't lined up around the block. It that's was crazy. just, like. That's how you know it's good, though, right? Uh, it's just the most famous one. Ah, okay. Like, a lot of people say there's better beignets in New Orleans, right. but, like, that's the most famous one right. is Cafe Dumont. Okay, this is the problem. Bentley going, Dan, you're wrong here. Kids unwrap their flavored cigars, fill it with weed. I'm not wrong. I said they don't smoke flavored cigars. They vape. Now they just put weed in their fucking vape pens. If they want yeah. a blunt, they can use a non-flavored wrapper. This is the problem. You can get <laughs> rid of the flavored shit, and they can unwrap non-flavored ones for a dollar at the get. You can get a fucking black and mild that's not flavored, right? I'm assuming, maybe. Bro, you can just get a roller. Right. And this is just, the crazy part, it'll man. Just automatically roll hey, you. And you know what? You, you know what? Sick of weed. You know what they're gonna do if you don't ban? If you ban all that shit, is they're just gonna eat it, and that's how it's gonna work. Are guns a nice advice? It's crazy, man. I mean, I would say no. I don't know, Rose. Did you send me a link to an eight hundred dollar knife, knife, and then I bought a hundred and thirty dollar one because it seemed cheap as fuck? Because you sent me an eight hundred dollar one. Yes. Right, Josh said I bought a shit ton of cigars when I was sixteen, but they were for weed. Dude, here's the thing. Now kids vape weed. That's the thing now. Yeah. Or eat it. I'm not saying nobody does. Nobody smokes blondes, but 
Edible. Listen, in, in Michigan, weed's legal now, right? Yeah. At, at what age? 21. 21. Smoking's now 21, too. Every, all smoking. Yeah. yeah tobacco's 21. Yep. Yeah. So here's the thing. People are already doing all this shit. It's just all, bro, it's all the fucking same now, man. It's crazy. So the French cafe across the street from Cafe Dumont. Um, Guns yeah. Are definitely a place. And then there's one on the block down from there. That's the haunted one. That there was a no, it's a real thing. Then we went on no, a I'm tour. No, I'm laughing at you. I'm sorry. Um, so it was like so. Cafe Dumont's here. There's a French restaurant, and then on the opposite side of the court, there's like a giant uh, courtyard with like a like a little. I don't want to say like. I don't know. There's a statue in there. There's a whole story in okay. it. But the one across there is haunted, basically. Oh. So like a guy gambled his entire family fortune away, hung himself upstairs. Oh no, it's thing. haunted. Okay. Every. Okay. Uh, place has been in there has failed. The only place is the place that's open right now, and they say it's if you get turtle soup, you go there. I can't remember the name of the place, but they have if a you private get turtle soup. You have to go there because it's one. Of, it's like if the you best, want turtle if soup. you want turtle. Okay, okay, yeah. But they have a, a private table in the back that they serve every day in honor of that guy for him, and they're still doing great because they they had a, uh, a a seance and they said that that guy needed to be honored. Even though he was a shit tin, he was, he was not a good guy. Damn. And no. so they have a private table in the back for him, and they, they serve it every day. But nobody's there. No one's they there. Put it's food just there. for him. They put they make extra food. Yep. They put they, it out. They for serve him a spot at the table every day. They take it away for him. That's not creepy. Yeah. Okay. Set every um, day for him. Uh, hey, they still in business. I, uh, that's fair. I just wanted to scroll up. Oh no. Is it? Oh, it's dead, dead, huh? Yeah. Nope, it just worked. It just worked again. Oh, shit, you got shit open. I don't know. I scrolled, and she was like, fuck you. Yeah, you got her on the table. Oh, it just shuts it off. We junkies, Mike said. No. Let's see. All right, no. Gun, li- listen, my balls are in a... F- oh, my gosh, Mike. Oh, uh, well, now green is flavored. That's the thing. Listen, man. It, we do be illegal everywhere soon. Right? It just is. It just is going to eventually be illegal everywhere. We're in the prohibition era of, of marijuana, honestly, and eventually it won't be. And the amount of crazy, um, revenue that Michigan's got, yeah. like they watched what Denver was doing. There's like, right. they're printing money for Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, there's Lots of places. A lot of places are like, all right, we were, I mean, in the second half of it. Sure. And still it was like the millions and millions of dollars it's putting into the yeah. economy, which is weird because it's not federally legal. No, but it's taxed. But you can't put your money from gains on the sale of marijuana into a federally backed bank. An insured bank, yeah. Because it's not federally legal. Yep. <clears throat> but they tax it. Here's the other thing. Oregon made LSD, fucking mushrooms, acid, yeah. everything legal. Yep. Everything. Because it combated the illegal drug use. People can, just hey, stopped doing it. Can we talk about this real quick? Because I'm not saying I'm on board. I just want to see how it turns out in one state. Um, That's all I want. We, you know what this that. is for me in my head? This is a great test, right? Let's see how it rips. It's kind of like weed was in Colorado. See how it rips. We're going to tax it. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll, we'll the rest of the country will react accordingly. <laughs> like, that's what's going to happen. If everything goes well in Oregon, next year, five states, nah. everything's legal. No. If everything goes very poorly in Oregon, well, D.C. is also, mushrooms are legal in D.C. or two now, right? Bro, this is the thing. Places are legalizing a bunch of shit. Like, it's <laughs> it's crazy, man. I have a DMT vape pen. Figure it out. Right? This is the fucking thing. You can just vape everything now, bro. It's crazy. Jamie said everyone in Denver was offered 1333 back in check from the revenue of weed. We all voted to give to the schools. Oh, good for them. Interesting. When is Michigan making hair? Oh, my gosh. I, Oregon did, I think. They made everything legal. I don't know about that one. They made everything legal. Oregon legalized all drugs, and maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. D.C. legalized a bunch of them. I feel like that's them. not real. Bro, I think they, Everything's legal. I thought they legalized acid and LSD. Okay, that's wildly different than, like, meth and heroin. I mean, like, you know, I don't know. All drugs should be legal. Adults should be allowed to shorten or extend their lives how they see fit. That's an interesting perspective. Now we're moving from the food portion of the stream to our illegal drug portion. Next is unsolicited medical advice. Stay tuned. Hey, we'll get there. 
Like, oh, I mean, Tupac, I'll tell you guys about Doge. Fuck. I'm you know just, what I mean? <laughs> I was just going to say, like Tupac said, it's not a war on drugs. So uh, it's just so the police can bother me. DM, okay, this guy's name is DMT Phone. Decriminalized and legalizing are different. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yes. Oregon did legalize mushrooms. Baltimore legalized prostitution. Oh, yeah. There was also like a weird um, circumventing of the law in like New Jersey that you can get away with prostitution for the longest amount of time. In New Jersey? Yeah. It was how... Which makes sense. There's a lot of prostitution. It was all how things were done. I don't know. There was a, some like shell a game that they did. And they, yeah, they definitely had a loophole that they were operating a it's business crazy, that was prostitution. Um, saw the mythology bourbon out here. Just thought of you, Josh Delcher. I had a little bourbon junkies moment in the aisle at Applejack. Listen. No DMT. If you find mythology whiskey. Now, I know that we're deep in a conversation that has nothing to do with whiskey. And I don't, I'm sure mythology would not appreciate <laughs> being attached to the conversation. How about anab- anabolics there, Dan? Steroids? Yeah. Fucking send them, dude. Oh, that's you give stupid. me some anavar, put it in my butthole, dude. Wait, no, anavar is an oral. That's not what they told me. That's an oral. Like, that's baby steroids. <laughs> no, no, no. Anavar's good. Anavar's good because it, uh, it's not toxic to your liver. Yeah, it's Supposedly, also a, ba- it's a baby steroid. I mean, John has. Hey, um, this is unsolicited. No, he, that wasn't Anavar. He started on that. No, no, no. He started on, um, it's a different, it's not an Anav. Anadrol? Anadrol. Anavar? No, what was he on? He wasn't on Anavar. T-ball. No, that's, that's real drugs. That's real steroids. <laughs> Uh, Kelly said something about um, like LSD being good for your brain or something. So there are a lot of studies that show micro dosing, yeah, mushrooms and things like that are beneficial. Um, Don't know. Dak talks about it on his podcast where it's like so it helps like especially people when they're like old. It helps you like um, separate body and mind. Interesting. So you accept death basically is how it's done. Shit. So they're doing with old people. And Fuck, to prepare them? Yeah. That's, I, I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel so about that. So it just helps you uh, come to the fact that, like, death is inevitable. Hey, can we talk about something fucking terrifying? Go ahead. Have you heard about the the big crunch? I, no, it's not inappropriate sexually or anything like that. Okay. You talking about the and death universe. of the universe? Okay. Okay, so you've heard of the big crunch? The, like... So... The, so I just learned about this literally last night. Okay, go ahead. Great time. You know what good good time to learn about the end of the fucking universe is? Yeah. After bottle chugging whiskey and going to bed at 11.30 p.m. So anyways. Or I'm what? excited to hear about yeah. this. Yeah. Your pseudo yeah. physics. No, about the no, no. no. Very I, I, I looked it up. I wikipedia it a little bit because I heard these words. Is this a havala? Yeah. The havala. <laughs> Vaping Eric said whiskey. I micro Oh, right. All right. No, buddy. thank you. Listen, here's the thing, dude. I, for real? People have talked about microdosing cannabis, mushrooms. Yeah. Lots of things in really small doses aren't harmful to your body and do benefit like your outlook and your attitude and your in your general life. You're just a happier person. Come to find out. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is it? it smells sweet. Have you tasted it yet? Nope. That's fucking fantastic. It's not finishing anything, huh? Oh, From Chris Jeanette, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. So, um, go ahead. That's good, man. What? Yeah. No, no, don't worry. You 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 do your thing. Right. No, no. So it has been. Okay. Well, that that part is. Yeah. I just learned about it. I okay. had never heard of it before. So the idea of the big crunch in like a really simple version is basically the universe expands yep. till it can no longer expand, and basically it's like a rubber band. So it gets so far, and then it just that. Yeah. And you splat, right? Everything fucking folds in on itself. Nah. This was the accepted, um, like, physicist and space people and scientists agreed on this a while back. Okay. Thinking this is a realistic theory in a way in which the universe could end. There's a new one. It's way worse. It's <laughs> fucking way worse, dude. Dan Sean is there more Asian influence in the hut than you've had before? <laughs> Probably. But, uh, I mean, technically, yeah. Dude, that's actually really good, man. <laughs> uh, Bove, dude, you're n- literally, you're not anywhere near the first person I've heard say that exact same thing 
about their kids with seizures. Yeah, the uh, CBD fucking, oil is a big one for fucking it. Fucking crazy, man! It's crazy to me that with as much actual evidence as there is on kids and seizures and CBD Dude, oil, we're gonna come back to this. Uh, Michael Gibson, just like racing, there should be an unlimited class for sports where all peds are legal. I agree. Just thinking about it. I agree. Oh, baseball. Be they should just put it in wild. fucking baseball so people watch it again. Move the walls back. Baseball. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Let what? They're not hitting each other. There's no kind. It's a literally a no contact sport. Pitches are faster. Home runs are farther. People run faster. There's cooler catches. Uh, so I'm revitalizing America's pa- past. I'll right come now. back to it. Why? Uh, because it would be bad for like pitchers mostly. Like the the faster thing, they've already proven that like. Throwing so fast, like overhand, right. like it's just, it's just throwing, fuck you up. Yeah, it's just throwing people's arms. cure that. This Not is really. the problem. No, no, it doesn't fix your tendons. It can certain yeah. ones. Um, who was just talking about this? There was a doctor talking about these certain steroids which strengthen your tendons. They found tendons in a man who was on a lot of fucking steroids that were so big they were genuinely didn't think they were tendons. Okay. Now the guy That's probably dies soon. Yeah. But we'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Listen, if it's in baseball, we'll figure it out. So anyways, what I was going to say was, so they got rid of this. I don't think they got rid of it, but they don't accept the, the what did I call it? The crunch theory. Yeah. Now it's the rip theory or the mm. big rip or some mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's fucking terrifying. I don't like that theory. That expands so far that eventually. Yeah. Everything expands. Yeah. Everything eventually tears itself apart from something. Every cell eventually comes apart so much that everything's just a singular cell. I doubt that. This is the accepted theory. And there's okay. really smart people thinking about it. I disagree. I mean, you can, but you That's and me fine. aren't that smart. Yeah, but... Um, Bro, the science behind this shit is in fucking sane. That's the crazy part to me. It's not like you and me had too much whiskey and we're like, how do you think it's going to end? And I yeah, went, that's fine. I bet it falls apart and you went, I bet it claps itself. You know what I mean? It's people like that make Elon Musk look like a fucking idiot that come up with this shit. NDT just explained the theory. Troll up. Real okay. Quick. What are you looking for? NDT. Why? Who's NDT? I don't fucking know. He said NDT is. just explained the theory. That's why I didn't know if there oh. was a better explanation of it. Um, yeah, not for billions of years. I know. I just like, it's interesting. Hey, congratulations, Alexander. Um, I would say, but that's not how... Gravity works. Nope. So that's that's what they figured out. They figured out over time expansion fucks with gravity and time. Okay. All of it. Space time's fucked. All of it's fucked. Okay. Over now, like they said, billions of years. Yeah. They find that it's changing time. Oh, okay. So over a kajillion million f- fucking billion years. Yeah. It changes time in such a way it doesn't matter anymore, bro. It's fucking crazy. Rip theory is due to oh scroll up. There was somebody kind of explaining it. Probably smarter than me. Rip theory is due to exponential increasing speed at which universe is speeding away from Big Bang. Gotcha. The okay. interesting thing was on the clap theory, as I keep calling it, which yep. is the crunch theory. Crunch. They thought that once it crunched, it would Big Bang again. It could. They thought that it would cl- it would hit and then it would go poof, and explode. Yeah. And make a whole new thing. Yeah. Which is fucking crazy. You two guys who don't do any drugs weighing in on doing drugs. Hey. <laughs> um... Nope on gravity. Gravity is the weakest force. <laughs> Macro doses of LSD. They actually think all energy stops, not everything gets ripped apart. Is that in the rip one? The rip one was everything separated. Dude, eventually we will see. Jared Lesher. Oh, my gosh. Just got back from seven hours of traveling. No idea what I just walked into. Grabbing Good luck, out, buddy. Good so it's also fun. Good luck. Because you can also think True about, Jamie. like, everything that we can see. Right. Right. Long we have no time. idea how big the universe right. actually is. Right. So, like, the same thing could have happened uh, 12 right. billion years Fair, yeah. away. And then all of a sudden, we're it's seeing, heading in. Yeah, yeah. we're going to see each other. And then, like, we can now see right. 20 billion years right. that way. Yeah, it's fun. It's crazy, man. Yeah, there's there's lots of theories. So, quantum mechanics will tell you the, the multiverse theory, too. Dan should be a physics teacher, Ross said. <laughs> he said that. I'm not reading the second part of his statement. <laughs> Go ahead. Except Wait. for gutter alcoholics. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Can I get crunched? All right, Mike. Damn it, bro. Spartan, I'm glad you're having a good time, buddy. Not the rip one, just a cold dead. Oh, there's a different one where the universe just dead stops. That's interesting. I have not read about that one. Like it uh, eventually fills its space. That's crazy. Well, I mean, 
You're talking about shit that's been going on for billions of years. How will we ever know? Matt said, this is literally my podcast idea in real time. Drinking whiskey, repeating super smart news articles. Whiskey, we pee, podcast. We should do a show together. I'll show you. I wonder if that has anything to do with the timeout earlier. Who had the great idea the other day about us doing podcasts while we drive places? Um, was it Mudkip? Yeah, in Twitch it was chat? Mudkip. Mudkip and Twitch chat. We're chilling. And he's like, you guys should just podcast while you're driving places. And it was like, holy shit. We could bring this setup so you wouldn't hear the car. Wait, David Little, the Redshift screwed the Big Bang Theory completely. No, it doesn't. It it uh, goes along with it. So Redshift is you you observe something moving away and the wavelengths slow. Like they get smaller as they come back. So you go from visible down. So red's longer. It, if it was coming towards you, be blue shift. So... Obviously, uh, redshift is moving away, so I, I that supports the Big Bang. Obviously, uh, string theory is one degree separated from religion. I don't agree at all. I think the string theory can actually be re- like tied to all well, that. I didn't mean that as a pun, but it could be tied to religion. <laughs> um, I think, dude. Okay, speaking of religion, hey guys, don't get fucking crazy on this. The clockwork theory in religion is one of the most interesting fucking theories in religion to me. The like- idea that God exists at one point in time. Oh, not necessarily right yeah. now. Just at one point in time, a God existed, and then he said everything, and then he walked away and left it. And now it's all playing out. Now this it kind of disproves free will a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, which is the shitty part. But I, the theory, when you start looking into, it, is fucking super interesting. That he said it all. He or she, the the God said it all. It all unfolds now as it was set. There there nothing no can be changed. It's fucking crazy, man. It's really, really interesting. I believe in free will, but I, l- I really like reading about that theory when I was in college. Things are fun. Fuck. Josh, I got the hell bear. Corey, you got a mythology? It's so fucking good. We're not in a simulation. Um, I don't know. Who's a like really smart guy? Elon? Nope, other one that lives right now. Neil deGrasse Tyson. There's oh, only yeah. Only like two or three. Yeah. Stephen Hawking passed away. Uh, that's so existential. Well, it, I took a lot of philosophy classes, so that's why. So, um, the, one. um, I studied that I'm in seminary to become a permanent deacon. Now that theory yeah. is great. It's a fantastic theory. It, there's a lot of people who don't believe in free will. So that theory holds, can hold true to a lot of yep. people. We got to call a night. Thanks, Thanks geez, for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate Thanks you for being man. here. Appreciate you, sir, for dropping links, being a good mod. Um, <laughs> God would be an absentee landlord at that point. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. Pretty much. Well, in theory, not really because he's controlling what happens in the future, whereas your landlord left and said, fuck it, right? That's kind of the difference. Um, Power Keeper, yeah, that's, see, that's my, I don't believe in that. I don't know, man. Not having free will kind of seems shitty, huh? But um, what was the scroll up real quick? Stop saying. Tan, stop saying Oregon. People don't like that. What is it, Oregon? Yeah. The Oregon? Like, an, like a dick is an organ? Like an organ. <laughs> like your Oregon. T- origami. A uh, little bit farther, a little bit farther. All right, we're good. Oh, the um, Neil deGrasse Tyson shit. Oh, yeah. He did, and I'm not going to explain it because I will fuck it up. I bet. But it was a TikTok, so it's like one minute long. And he explained why he used to think we were in a simulation and no longer Oh, does. yeah. It's super fucking interesting. He basically said that if we were in a simulation, it's a TLDR. Ooh. You can look his fucking TikTok up. He'll explain it to you better. He basically said if we were in a simulation, there would be like basically different states in a simulated environment. Mm-hmm. So at some point in time, there was a planet full of, let's, we're just going to say people, mm-hmm. who had to create the simulation, right? And then he said, so that would mean we're either, that we haven't created a simulation that we know about. So we're either the only people who have never figured it out, or there isn't one. And he goes, but we are trying to figure it out, kind of, right? He goes, so I don't think currently we live in a simulation. I think that they could, though. I mean, that's kind of interesting. What is better than roses on a piano? What? I read it all loud. I'm sure that's a sexual innuendo that he's about to finish in our chat section. I had to take his mind away. We're in a simulation in a simulation. <laughs> so that was what he said was the first people who started the simulation, there would be other simulations under that. Everyone would create a simulation. And then we would be the f- only people so far who, who have, haven't figured out how to do it. It's really interesting. He's smart as fuck. Two lives in Oregon. Fuck. There you go. Knew it was. I knew something was coming. Jonathan Finkel actually said that. Look, a lot of people did. 
I knew as soon as he said a flower, I'm like, it's going to tulips. A hundred percent is going to tulips. <laughs> JP said someone called Kelly. Yep, ban everybody. <laughs> ban everybody. So we're in the Matrix. Maybe. Uh, found Elmer T. Lee single barrel local liquor store. What would be the reasonable price? At this point in under time, 80. Wild West. 80 or 100 under. bucks. 80 or less. I wouldn't would I pay 100? No, but that's probably a reasonable price at this point in time. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it, I would pay 80 because I haven't seen one in two years. But I paid 80 one time for one bottle. Back. Even if we can't prove for a simulation, the simulation creators program. I know, Josh, but the idea is like, it, wouldn't it be crazy to think that that means there's civilizations before okay, that Gino. created it. That's the crazy part, bro. Dan didn't tell you that on Twitch. Bro, I knew it was going to be a sexual innuendo. Bro, because I got to wake up in five and a half hours is why. <sighs> Dan's finally got to go in the office for one No, time. I don't. Fuck. Ricky's gone in the morning, and Luna gets up between 6 and 6.30 every day. Is she uh, coaching? Yeah. Yep. She goes in at 5.30. And Luna gets up at 6 or 6.30. So those are my options right now. This is so philosophical. I love phil. I love philosophy. DeGrasse Tyson is also a presumptive simulation idea. Still based on human. Listen, I'm not. Okay. He's a really good fucking, or he's really intelligent, and he's fun to listen to. He might be the most intelligent person with a person. Oh, Chino. Blue note. Cork just broke. If we were in a simulation, they wouldn't. That cork wouldn't have broke. Nailed it. What? Alexander, that's a, uh, that's a. Uh, uh, there's a name for that. Because most because people are so involved in themselves, I can't remember what it's called. People are so involved in themselves they don't take the time to consider that other people have thoughts and lives and what shit going on. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a synthetic cork. Josh, how much is the Mythology Best Friend bourbon? It's really good. It's really good. Uh, We've got bills to pay, Liberty. Everything is a scam. Oh, that was Tommy. Or that was Tim's stream today. They're talking NFTs. Oh. And Tim NFTing shit. Encourage JD was trying to explain not to do it to Tim because he said it was kind of a scam because as an investment, NFTs might tank someday and those people would lose money. That's fake. Yep. It's a fake cork. No, the glue just failed. Bad. And Tim was like, it it's not a that. scam, like, if people choose to buy it. And he's like, in, in that world, everything's a scam. Pokemon cards are a scam. Baseball cards are a scam. Is that Dickel? No. It's in Memphis. It smells good. Thanks for the content, guys. Keep it the good work. Thank you, Bill Miller. Where's Dickel? Tullahoma? Tullahoma. Oh, that's sweet. A little nutty still. All Tennessee's a little nutty, though. Yeah. Oh, that's good, though. Dogecoin is a scam. Dan fell for it. Fuck. I said it had terrible fundamentals. Dude, it tanked like 50% after. It's not a 50 cents. was on there. Well, he fucking yeah. trashed it. Well, on there. He owned so much. He said he was the first... Man with Asperger's, which he's never said he had before. He was the first man with, or first person with Asperger's ever to host SNL. But it was the first time he ever said that he had Asperger's, yeah. which is kind of weird. Like, so there's a spectrum of people who are hyper intelligent, right? Yeah. That they can't communicate. Let's pretend he doesn't. Yeah. I don't know if he does or not. I'm assuming he does. He said he had it. I'm assuming he is. If he doesn't have it, yeah. he's still so fucking smart that when you people talk to him, it's like, all right, man. Cool. What do you want me to say? Right. Yeah. Him and Rogan, you're up here, right? You're down him and here, Rogan have done multiple podcasts. He's so fucking intelligent, Asperger's or not, yeah. he's awkward about his, how he speaks. Yeah, crypto is super volatile. <sighs> yeah, all of it is. I just I watched a great TikTok the other day. It was like your grandpa was like, "What you need to do is you put like six to seven percent of your paycheck away, uh-huh. and you'll get you know this right." And then it over was time, like, yeah. And then your parents were like, "Yeah, stocks, right?" And then it was like. Gen or whatever See? the millennials were okay. like, oh yeah, we're on this, and then we'll get so many percent the next day, and then Gen Z were like, I just made hundred and fifty percent of my crypto yesterday. <laughs> right, what the right. hell are you guys doing? And now NFTs Reynolds, and shit, for that bro. Willard, Will DJ Coin, <laughs> dollar dollar bills, yo. Willard said, 
They don't even diagnose Asperger's. Is that true? Did they not? Um, it, Elon if, might be an alien. If you're super I'm high functioning, it can go. It's pretty much like you just got a weird personality. I know, but the doctors not. That's interesting. Uh, if you don't go, then well, that's no. the thing. If your parents, don't you watch you. Parenthood. Well, he figured out how. Romano. Well, he had to figure out somehow that he yeah had it. Yeah, I mean, there's no way he went on there and said he had it and doesn't have it, right? Like <laughs> ADHD. Elon is definitely guy sent back from the future. I agree that he. Listen to him on Rogan, the way he communicates, the way he takes the time to think about his responses, because he's so much smarter than Joe. Yeah. Joe's not an idiot. He dumbs he's it down. He's so much smarter than Joe that he has to, con- he computes a response as to how Joe will understand it, and then he says it. It's fucking wild, man. It's he so interesting it. to yeah. listen to. He's so, Listen, whether you like the guy or not, he's fucking smart, and he's put together really incredible teams to do cool shit. So. He's sending people to Mars. For sure, in your lifetime, that's happening. Right, uh, yeah. right. No, no, and and it might be semi normalized in our lifetime. That's the crazy part. Yeah, it might be like a he was planning the fucking trips on Rogan, based on when the planets are moving and how they move. Yeah, you have to. And it, I know, but he's already got it done. Yeah, he goes. So we're gonna so, be. But allowed. it's like a, it's a known time frame when you can do that. I know, but he's so close to sending people there. This is where he's at. Right? Okay, yeah. So he literally tells Rogan, he goes. So we're going to be able to get this many people in this yeah. many months to March, and then we got to wait one or six months, and then we can do this other thing. Yeah, it, bro. So when so you close, always yell crazy. at me about like thinking about the Backwards, end, and yeah. Right. So for that, you have to start at step eight. No, but he's already at step six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the crazy part. Oh, then you have to be at thirteen. Well, so he's already you, at step seven. You have seven to then. know when. Um, so like normally they will like launch around the moon and stuff like right, that. Yeah, yeah. So like. It has to be in a certain orbit for sure for each of the planets to but be in alignment. Think about it like this: Let's pretend Elon was thirty and goes, "Let's put people on Mars." And somebody said, "You're a fucking idiot, right?" How old Elon? I don't know. Forty. In his Forty-two. In his maybe fifty something. God. Um. So he goes when he's let's say twenty. He goes, "Let's put people on Mars," and everybody goes, "You're fucking dumb." And then yep. he goes, "I'm gonna land rockets on fucking floating platforms in the ocean." Everybody goes. And no, you're not, right? And then he did it, and he keeps doing that crazy shit. These, like, the ideas he Chris, comes you're right. Up with, he has a whole team. But, no, no, uh, but it, he it's put those enough teams an together. Idea. Like, he, he's not doing all the math and, like, figuring it all out by himself. Like, that's not real. I mentioned earlier he puts he, together incredible teams. Yes. So he he's still hiring the best of the best to get shit done for it. I get that. But he is thinking so far ahead on a lot of shit that he is also well off to be able to hire people to be like, hey, well, let's do this shit. I don't even know if he does. I genuinely think he comes up with an idea and goes, let's do it. Yeah. And then he goes, who do I have to hire to do it? Yeah, but he's a billionaire. He can just do it. True. Well, buddy, if you and me had a bill, we ain't getting to Mars. You and me both. We're getting drunk, though. We're dying. Right. It would be a great time. No, no, no. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> We're dying on 500 Earth. 500 by me. What's the deal with that stuff? Can't find much info or views. Dogfather for 500? Never heard of it, buddy. That can't be real. Branson, never heard of it, man. That is that is a different part of Elon, too, is he's willing to fucking send his money places. That motherfucker started SpaceX. This is the crazy part to me. If Sean and I were billionaires, I swear <laughs> to fucking God we wouldn't have started SpaceX. Or we wouldn't have started fucking the tunnel place. Oh, yeah, his underground. We wouldn't have started Tesla? You know what we'd be doing? Fucking chilling, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. Having a good time, having seven houses, living wherever the fuck we felt like that week. Like, that's what a billion does for you. No, you, you fund research. You can. I'm not funding research. Why not? Ah, just fuck Better man of mankind. Yeah, fuck it. Yep. Yeah, I'm dead soon. Yeah. Right. But you're a bill. Elon took the betterment of mankind of, let's get the fuck off the planet. Yeah, that's fine. That's insane, bro. So Bill like, Gates went, let's make computers. No, no, he's done a lot for, like... For sure, humanitarian shit. Yeah. Not, let's move planets, right? Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, but he inspired the technology to do all that. Now... Uh, that's uh, That'd be really interesting to know for sure. What? Bill Gates. How much of, like, that tech is used for any of Elon's His projects? Impact? Honestly, any of them. Like, it's computing? Not, yeah, no, no, but, well, Bill Gates isn't the computing guy. I he's know that. He's the Microsoft but, guy. But he has... Launched Microsoft. True. Which that's what I'm interested led in. Led the digital revolution. I know I'm kinda interested to know how much 
Because Bill Gates got to be involved in a bunch of shit that we don't yeah. know about too, right? Yeah. So every piece of tech is pretty much based off of. What might be too now. What he started. Right. Like he is the root of all technology, basically for us. Well, I mean, Steve Jobs. Yeah. There. The other Wasiak. people. Who, who created electricity? Because that guy deserves credit now. Well, I. Elon. Like, nope. Be like Tesla. Tesla. That's what I yeah. meant. Yeah. That's why his girl is Grimes. Oh, hey, she, they're, they, that's why they probably work together, though. They're both crazy, man. Dan's the Elon Musk whiskey tube. I agree, Zachary. Oh, yeah, that's why he's getting divorced. Apparently, he was Ooh. on Epstein's uh, flight logs. Who? Gates. That's okay, the whole thing. I thought you meant Elon. That kind of fucked some shit up for me. Because I really look up to the fact that Elon Musk is trying to make everything better at the same time. <laughs> and you said that, I'm like, he's a terrible fucking human being. Apparently, everyone's on his goddamn as, flight as logs. As but as Elon and Rogan are, we're fucking good, buddy. <laughs> Rogan was just not rich enough at the time. He no, Rogan, down. nah. Rogan showed like, me like, what the fuck I'm is busy, going bro. on? I'm busy. Bill Gates stole Apple. See, told you. That's true. No, this is all very factual. True, it's true. I hate Apple. We all know this. Yeah, no one likes. Fucking Apple. hate Apple. Bill Gates stole it. Did he do better? Yes, in my opinion, yes. <laughs> Elon doesn't have eight kids. He has. Elon had a baby pass away. I think. And now he just had a kid. I know that. I think Fucking Elon sad. lost a kid. Could be wrong on that. I hope I'm wrong, but I think he did. Spartan, uh, what is our go-to celebration bourbon right now? Oh, lost it at. was Wild Turkey. We killed it. We got to kill a Lost Profit 22 um, here. I think soon. like the Pirate Bottle. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Also G to the M. I mean, it's just shit that we can't replace at this point. Uh, King, Kentucky. That can't be real. Philip yeah. Rivers has 20 kids? Yes. No, uh, it's really, I don't know if it's 20, but it's like 12 or some shit. Okay, guy at work has got 10. Is he Catholic? No, he adopted like five of them, I think. That's different. Philip Rivers had 12 kids. Like, pumped 12 in. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> oh, God damn. shit. Google says seven. Elon has seven kids? I mean, what does it matter? I, I don't know how that man comes up with as many ideas as he has. That's well, what I'd like to know. He's fucking that much. <laughs> he's fucking. He's like, we got to get to Mars now. <laughs> Yesterday. He said that they're going to be able to. Did you Have you seen the Neuralink shit? No. Talk about crazy ideas. No. They put Neuralink. So Neuralink is Elon's baby. Oh, Neuralink. Neuralink. You said Neuralink. Neuralink. Yeah. Neuralink. No, like, link. Ner- you said Neuralink. Neura? Like, link. on a bar. Neuralink. Ha. There you go. Do you know what that is? Yes. You see the monkey? No. Oh. So they are making advancements and whatever, right? All uh-huh. the time. Well, fuck, blah, blah. well, of course they are. They put it in a monkey. They let this monkey, like a chimp, play this game. Yep. And it was like a memory game. Yep. And so the monkey's moving a controller to hit. He's got to move a controller, and when he moves the controller, he's got to hit these dots on the screen. Okay. So he moves, they teach him. He moves the controller. He hits the dots. Already impressive, right? They take away the controller with Neuralink now over time. Mm-hmm. They take away the controller, and the monkey with Neuralink can move to the dots with his brain. So that's where we're at. Yep. It's fucking crazy, man. It's, there's, this is all on video. You can't even fucking This is going to be Rise of the Planet of the Apes. No, because uh, he's not. Elon's like hyper scared of AI and hyper scared of all this shit people taking over. Thank God. Yeah. Or it's a facade. He's like, let AI kill Or that, us all. or he's AI. Yeah. He's helping create it. Yeah. Secretly. From the future. From right. the future. That Damn it. Sense. It's like Dragon Ball Z. It's like Android uh, 13 and 14, or whatever the fuck they were 17 called. 17 and 18. There you go. Oh, cool. Try again. <laughs> they were both teens. <laughs> it's like them. They came back from the future. They were and then badasses. 19, and then sell. And then Goku and Gohan were fucking trunks came from the future. Yep. Oh, bro, I got to watch that show some more. I miss that shit. He didn't take his heart pills. Oh, I miss that shit so much, bro. Trunks was <laughs> such a bad bitch. ass, dude. Fuck you. He came with a sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you bitch, though. Oh, damn, bro. I'd do it for banana, too, Matt says. <laughs> Matt, you, dude, this whiskey is the most banana-y whiskey I've ever had in my life. You're still on that? That's MGP. No, I drank the rest of the shit. I drank oh, a little of that, drank a little cork? of that. I broke it. You broke that out. We're even. One for one. Okay, so where's your cord? Threw it in the garbage. What? I said I was going to kill that bottle. Didn't realize we were that. It was. It's a little heavy. I literally looked at you when you said that. I was like, not tonight. Mm-hmm. 
we quitting I thought you were being a tomorrow? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Rep, uh, Alexander Bravo. Hey, did you watch, hey, real quick, did you watch Johnny Bravo? Because on Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network, that was Thank the you, shit. See. Gohan is a bitch, small Z. Don't uh, get it twisted. Shut your fucking mouth. He became that, one. Yes. The fact that you guys referenced DBZ makes me like you guys 10,000 times. Old. He should have been the best. He literally was for a short period it's of time. Chi-Chi's fault. Yeah, that's true. She's kind of a fucking asshole. She wanted to be smart. She was an asshole. Sent him to university. When when we got to a Super and they fight the cat, Beerus. Yeah. And, and Gohan is chilling, reading books. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, bro, uh, you killed Goku. Yeah. You're one of the only ones. You made Piccolo look like a bitch. And so did a lot of bad guys. Yeah. But not a lot of good guys, right? No. Fuck, man. You know Krillin. I... Krillin. It always comes back to anime. Bro, Eventually. Krillin, Krillin was legit. Like, he's the anchor. Yeah. He's the moral support no matter what. He'll die for the team. Even in the movie. But he's going to die for the yep. team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of the, hey, can we talk about how one of the greatest parts of Dragon Ball Z ever is the first time the big dude from Namek comes and you realize that Goku is a mother. Fucker. Oh, yeah. He comes back and saves everyone. Yeah. And he, that, this, I can't remember his name. The big dude, the fucking it's giant. Ginyu. Dude. Okay. He no, comes. No, that's the, the, the guy that turns into a frog eventually. Okay. Yeah. The big dude that comes from Namek early Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. He comes and he beats the fuck out of everyone. Piccolo's dying. Krillin's dying. Everybody's dying. Nappa. Nappa. Yeah, yep. Go. Goku comes back and makes him look like a fucking child. Yeah. And then you realize... The show. I know, but it's the, like one of the first times it really happened. It's Rocky, over and over. No, 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 no. He loses, then he wins. No, because he never lost to that guy. Oh, he loses all the time. All his all his friends were dying, and he was late getting back. Yeah. He loses, he wins. Oh, bro. That was one of the, my favorite things, because it was the first time that they show Goku showing up and being like, I got it. I got it. He bro. literally looks at Krillin and goes, thank you. And no. then he goes... Kadoosh! This is how we lose everyone, everybody. right here. This conversation. People love. We already lost everyone. They're um, already gone. This is. How do you not talk about Super? Where him and Frieza were Super's together. Great. Super's great. Super's good. Him Super's and, good, but but Super's more like predictable. Okay, Aiden. I don't think I know. Uh, he said uh, we missed his last super chat. That's Sean's fault, dude. My bad. Usually we can't read yours. Viewer activity just says that. Well, there's one. Scroll up real quick. That's great. What's up, Busey? How you doing, buddy? I heard Busey's going to what's your weekend. Okay. I had a guy say I reminded them of... I got to fucking... Oh, you're going to read it. Yeah, you can read it. <laughs> I had a guy say I reminded them of data from Star Trek recently. Kind of a thing with autism. It's called... Autism spectrum disorder now, by the way. Oh, is all autism called autism <laughs> spectrum disorder? Or are there still names for certain types like Asperger's or no? They get rid of it. Sorry we missed it, buddy. New movie next year? All right. Eric said if we all lived in the same place, none of us would go to work in work. That's true. That's 100% accurate. Not a chance. Dan, Super Saiyan's only predictable because they take like three episodes to get to it. That's true. Yep. Now, I'm not saying there's no filler. I'm just saying. Ugh, so much. Naruto's they marketed. Got, Naruto's got way more filler. Fuck that show. Well, they would do, like, entire seasons of filler on that show. Which is the problem. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. When they're fighting the big tree. Oh, yeah. And they did a full three weeks. Full season. On fucking, uh, who's the guy with one eye? Well. Their, their, their mentor, the whole Kikashi. show. Kakashi. They did a full three weeks on Kakashi's backstory, and I'm like, motherfucker, yeah. he's been here for eight years. Yeah. We know everything about him. Yeah. Show me the tree fight. Yep. Get Sasuke back. Bring his brother back. Fuck it. Nope. Get Kakashi going. Naruto's got 14,000 tails <laughs> on his fox now. Fuck. Keenan <sighs> Ludman. Have you guys had any of the Foundry Distillery Brewing Distillers mm-hmm. collab yet? They're distilling a... Breweries, war, and no. then releasing bottles the next few years is probably fun, worth a flight to try. Have not. No. I'm not. Listen, Keenan, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I am so uninterested in drinking something from Foundry at this point. I will yeah. pull the Kesslers off the back shelf. And <laughs> it. I swear to God. It's all autism, technically. Asperger is outdated. Oh, okay. Term. All right. Okay, listen. Are we talking about Pokemon? Elon no. did use the, the that term. 
Now, if that's outdated, I'm glad Wait, that you told us. I'm going to a Naruto th- Naruto themed ramen shop in Orlando Bro, this week. That's gotta be I'm great because so that was in. his whole thing. Every time he came back to town, he eat all the ramen, like eight bowls of ramen. Yeah. Okay. So DBZ did it with the Gohan Piccolo shit. Same thing. No, it wasn't as bad. No, yeah. no. The Gohan. They Piccolo got the cell. Filler... They got the cell games, and then they were like, "Listen, we're gonna go back." I agree with you. It's not as bad as three weeks of Kakashi at the end of the fucking universe of the show. Yeah. They had the fill in what's his fucking nuts of the story. Who, the guy, on what show? The, the, the guy that wasn't uh, Madara, but the other guy. Oh, so this is why it was so cool. So they had to bring his yes. entire backstory, and that's why that filler Dude. was there. And you know what but the, they did the other fillers that were bullshit. The whole filler of them under the um, infinite, whatever oh the fuck that fuck, thing was. Yes. It was like a month long bullshit. Yes. This is that was problem. just bullshit. I know. I, I'm sure that's all in like the manga or whatever. Yep. I'm not, I'm, but look, at, I'm not trying to read. I'm trying to watch, <laughs> right? I already have to read the subtitles because your voices sound stupid in the American version, right? Bam. So I have to read the subtitles. So if I have to read already, <laughs> just put the cool shit in, man. Fuck! It's like Stephen King made a movie with subtitles on, but then wrote a worse <laughs> fucking book. Like, oh my gosh, bro. When Gohan was little, yeah, but the it was that's how you watch Gohan get stronger and more powerful and like. Watch them grow, right? That yeah. Oh fuck, man! I gotta. I do want to catch up on Super because I'm way behind on Super on Dragon Ball Z Super. It's hella done. Well, I know it is, but the the weird thing was with Super it was the first time that I'd ever I watched the movies. Oh yeah. And then Super just goes through the movies through their episodes. Yeah. Kinda. But then there's a bunch of non movie Super Dragon yep. Ball Super. So my problem was I watched the fucking um, Barris movie. And then I watch it happen again. The Dragon Ball Z god shit. Yep. Hey, can we talk about the best part of that whole movie slash fucking... Battle of the Gods. The, but the best part of the movie... Resurrection and, of F. And the series in yep. Super was when you find out that... Uh, what's his assistant's name? Weiss. When you find out Weiss is a motherfucking it's badass, when you find that out, it's yeah. way cooler. Charles Hilger. I'm running a little late tonight. What's up, buddy? Gentlemen, I'm just waiting on my new riff pick. To process, if you got hey. charged, you got yeah. one, buddy. That's how. Um, when Beerus, when you find out that Weiss makes Beerus look like a little bitch. Angel. That's one of the greatest parts of the whole fucking show. Yeah. Because you're like, Beerus is the strongest fucking <laughs> being the in the great universe. Saiyan man filler was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Did you like the Boo we, series? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love the Boo series. That's when they start merging and shit. Yeah. That's when you get, uh, was uh, it Go Trunks? Go tanks. Go tanks, bro. If that motherfucker wouldn't have fucked around for 45 minutes in the little <laughs> hyperbolic time chamber, he'd have killed Boo. Uh, no, he fucked around a little bit too long and then got eaten. That's what I'm saying. If yeah. he wouldn't have fucked around, they'd kill Boo. 100%, without a doubt. I think it is one long. Just do it. Just do it. No. Just do it. I'm just going to fold them back underneath. <laughs> you, dude, if I wear a mask, it like combs it. It's perfect. <laughs> I just need to wear a mask. I just saw one. Oh, it's still looking at me. <laughs> Is it over here? Oh, yeah. There's just one hair. I need a mask, dude. Somebody there. give me a mask. I'm going to wear a mask in the mornings and then go about my day. Because it, it combs it down. It looks better that way. I swear to God. You work from home. Gogeta kicking some ass. Bro. They kind of, you know, it's a bummer because they kind of fucking wasted Vegeta too a little bit. That fucked him up. He's supposed to be stronger than the next I arc. heard that. I heard that he finally is stronger than Goku. So he went... So I don't know if I like that. Because they did uh, Super Saiyan Blue, which was the, the new new. And then he went, like, Blue 2. So is Blue past God? It's supposed to Blue be. Blue God? Uh, blue 2 is supposed to be past God. Okay, so Blue 1, in theory, would be God. Yeah. What he found with Beerus. Yep. So blue found, 2 would okay. be verse... I'm going to watch this shit all night. Fuck work. What's his fucking name? Who? The, the one that they fight in Super. The, the tournament one. I can't think of his I haven't name. seen that. Oh. Well, they fight him. He goes blue two in that one. Oh shit! But uh, oh, because they have a tournament uh-huh. and beer is in like free. Uh, they can't he's fight. watching shit. Can't yeah. Fight. Yep. yep. Okay. And then they go uh, fucking Ultra Instinct is above that. Interesting, dude. Yeah. If my daughter's boyfriend Naruto runs anywhere, I will literally <laughs> fucking end that relationship. Know that right now. Now, if my son does it, it's acceptable. I'll beat the fuck out of anybody that makes fun of him. But if my daughter's boyfriend does it. <laughs> Bro, we got to talk. Hey. Oh, cut, I've been playing it. Fortnite with Holden lately, and it's so funny because now he watches Fortnite on YouTube. 
He talks so much shit. Bro, I oh. played Fortnite with you. It's so much it's fun. It's so bad. So Sean's like, I'll build a fucking beer. Yeah, My we're sp- all on the ninth story. Bro. You're down at the fucking floor. Did you, good shot, though. Did you, did you, yeah, good <laughs> shot. Can't build for shit. Also, where you at? Can't edit. Good shots. Yeah, you said you would fucking outbuild. Oh, Holden outbuilds the fuck out of me. Holden looked at me. I swear to God, this is real. Holden's inside playing. I'm out here playing. I go, hey, what are you doing? He goes, I'm I'm only one with him. We're playing fucking duo arena together. He literally goes like this. Second. Blah, 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 blah. I go, what are you doing? He goes, just talking to your wife. I swear to God <laughs> he said those words to me. I swear to God. Like, what the fuck? What did you just say to me? That's mother. That's your mom. <laughs> I'm your dad. Night, Jay. Night, buddy. Hey, Bo. Night, bud. I have a, hopefully that all goes well tomorrow, man. Fortnite? Dude, there's tons of people that still play Fortnite, man, right? Um, lot, tons of, like, well, preteens, kids, and teenagers play Fortnite. I don't know last time I played it. They still host FNCS. It was just at DreamHack. It's still a big deal. Nick just played DreamHack. Um, Epic made in Fortnite in the last year. Woo! Nine yeah. bill, eh? It's, it's still apparently doing fine. See? Good for them. Yeah, right. So anyways, so then we're playing, and him and I, he always tells me he can 1v1 me. I said, you can have my truck for free if you 1v1 me in there. Clap his shit. I'm just better at aiming. I'm worse at everything else, but I can aim better, so I beat him. So I chase him around with a shotgun and a scar, and I fucking beat him every time. But he literally starts building. He goes, I go, get down from there. He goes, I'm cranking 90s, bro. Swear to God, he said that to me. I go, this is one of my favorite moments, like, in his age so far because he's getting to the point where he can kind of talk shit, and it's fucking hilarious. He literally kills me the other day. He goes, dog water, literally free, zero (laughs) earnings. I'm like, what the fuck? No, he did not. I swear to God. I swear on my life. Because oh, he, he watches watched, so many Fortnite he watches videos. YouTube. Yeah. And like Cypher BK and all these guys say this shit. Oh, uh, literal dog water. Oh, uh, <sighs> so, bro, it was so funny. Oh my gosh, it was so funny, man. All right. J Fire, what is your fucking issue, bro? <laughs> You've been on this fucking reptilian shit for a year now. That guy's name is Jiren. Jiren? Jiren. Yeah, he was the, the one that was the, the bad guy in Super. Jiren. In the little tournament thing? Yeah. Wasn't that tournament for the universe or for yeah. the whatever planet one didn't yeah. get exploded or whatever the fuck yeah. it was? So I started that tournament then because I remember that part of it because whoever the main guy was was better than Beerus. Jiren. Jiren's the guy. No, no, the guy running the tournament. Was that Jiren? Oh, no, it's like the, the, the Omni old, guy. Yes, exactly. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Ed Jiren? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. What time is it? Oh, my fucking goodness. Oh, I'm going to regret this in about an hour. I have to wake up. All right. I love you guys. Thank you guys for the support tonight. Thank you for the love. I used to be a professional Counter-Strike player. My best year. Wait, Eric, is that real? I'll clap your shit, Eric. He won't. No. No, he won't. He's never played the game. Literally. I played Counter-Strike? Me and Levi and Brad used to play it. Okay. Literally play gun game with him. I bet he makes it to two. Oh, I love gun game, man. It's so much fun. You remember Nick Mullins? Yeah, I yeah, I know Mick. Best Counter Strike player I've ever met in my life. He's pretty good. Uh not even He played me, Brad Levi, three V one at one point in time. About scumped us. And Levi wasn't bad. It was Brad. It was bad. But I didn't realize that Nick played in tournaments and shit too. I never knew that. Did you know that? Levi was okay. Yeah, it was pretty good. You and Brad were fucking dog water. Yeah, Counter Strike, I was never good at. Yeah. I'm way better at aiming now. I don't know why. It's weird because when I was younger, you would have thought I was better. Dog water? Not anymore, but it was. Now, I'm the best Valorant Counter Strike player I ever met. Eric, do you play Valorant now? Oh, I'm kind of interested in this conversation a little bit. All right, go ahead. We got, we got five on. more minutes. We got, no, I'm not going we five. Got, uh, we got two more eight minutes. more minutes. My team beat a team with Ava. Eric, do you play Valorant? Do you play any games now? I think you're like super old now, right? Why? Because he's Team Sean. He always gives me shit, so I got to give him shit. Why? Okay. Right. Fair. Damn it, Tommy. <laughs> I had the power they did. Tommy, I got you. I'm going to get you a wrench, dude. Don't, don't worry. Here, Chino wants you to drink some of this. Chino, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> Eric, do you play any games anymore? Apex? Fuck, hey, Maverick, what are you doing, buddy? Fuck. Listen, I heard they released an arena thing that's a lot of fun, though. I wish that uh, Warzone would 
Fortnite did a Fortnite has paved the way with um incredible VRs. ideas, tons of ideas. Yeah, arena is a really good idea. The the constant revolution of the game is so what far. they've done. Yeah. It was like where they were at to where they are now, and like constantly improving or getting worse. Where yeah. like where the meta is, but they constantly change they've it. Done a really good job. It's a really big thing. They've done events incredibly well. Yeah, they've done tournaments incredibly well. They've done. It's actually way better than VR. The arena is. I need to watch some of the arena because I've I've literally <laughs> well, had there's Eric. <laughs> I, I went through three, three wives since then. I grew up. That's funny. Um, I I've heard nothing bad about the arena shit in Apex at all. I heard nothing bad about it, which is interesting because people love to shit on Apex. It's just a thing. yeah. Yeah, man. I've heard. Well, I've heard I mean, it was that flavor of the month, bro. That like shit was it. huge for a week. Yeah, huge. Yeah, I'd give it a month, maybe. Solid Dude, month. it was There's bigger than Fortnite and Warzone. There's still people grinding hard. There are, but not. It Quick. didn't get picked up. Rick James. Rick James. No, no one picked that shit up. It was uh, well, nobody stayed. I know, but if there were any big sponsors that got in and like kept it in and yeah. like made tournament a thing or did anything like that, that was shocking. Um, a little blue note. Yeah, I saw That's that. That's good, Chino. Um, but if there were any big players that got That's into really uh, Apex and like kept it around, put money into it, right. it'd still be here. No, but, it's still. So here's the thing: it's still. It's still here. There's still so things Apex for it. Still, the problem I didn't is, realize Apex pays Nick and Tim, those guys for ads. So they go back and play Apex every few months. And it's fine. W- when they do, like, new seasons and shit. Yeah. That's why I'm surprised I don't see more of those guys playing Arena right now. But, like, I, I just feel like um, investors really lost right. their fucking shot at making that happen. Right. Like, if it was pushed more, like, more tournaments, like, if there was a dream hack type event for Apex, right, it would right, have been right, a thing. Right. But well, that's not... Bro, that's the crazy part about Warzone. Is none of that shit exists for Warzone right now. Yeah, but it's Nick but and Warzone, Tim fucking streaming well, it every but day. But also, Warzone is keeping itself alive right now without Every that big shit, streamer right? that was Fortnite has moved to Warzone pretty much at this point in time. Well, a lot of those streamers blew up on Warzone. Though. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, like, Nick and Tim right. are... Nick Huge. and Tim blew up in Fortnite. Yep. And then just carried it to Warzone. Aiden sure. moved from Fortnite to Warzone. Yeah. Aiden wasn't big, though. I mean, he was winning tournaments Tur- and shit. No, for sure. Really good, but yeah. not, like, famous. Dude, I didn't even know who Aiden was till Warzone, then you showed me the Fortnite video. The fuck? Yeah. It's crazy, man. All right, All right Anyways, guys. Love hey. you guys. Warzone did save Call of Duty. Fuck it. We will be back here in a week. We will. Ish. Fuck. It'll be my birthday. I'll be 32. <laughs> Wait, fucking you quit. Some bitch. We'll do a giveaway next week. Yeah. Steve, well, it is time to watch some shrimp on Twitch real quick. TLDR. Tommy found a shrimp Twitch stream. Nope. All right. So it's amazing. What like to say, if you're still here, hit the like amazing. button. If you haven't, great. Love you guys. I will see you in a week. Don't end. Rob C, probably King Kentucky or Lost Profit. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. He said he never gets to watch lives. He had Send one it. question. Send it. Send it. Send it. Aiden. <laughs> Please send it so I can say <laughs> what I want. Aiden, you're fucking funny, buddy.